a voice as loud as thunder say marine bondage a sign against my life yeah! in the name of Jesus Jesus Aha, 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 aha. Something is happening here already. The power of God in the name of Jesus. Move. Open your mouth, open your mouth. That's why you are here. Tonight is tonight. name we pray hey. <laughs> I have not started praying yet hey. <laughs> I have not started praying yet I do pray as a sister over there she started with aggression immediately she started with aggression her treasure began to come from the waters then she relaxed and I think went back to the water again this is, not, this is a serious matter. Some of these things have been held for years. You want to take it back? Violence is the answer. Can you shout this loud and clear? Marine yokes! Upon my life! Pray! In the name of Jesus! Jesus Jesus Aha 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 Yes continue Don't negotiate This is not a night to negotiate This is not a night to negotiate Open your mouth open your mouth open your mouth Jesus Louder, louder. Louder, 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 louder. Louder, you are you are winning, you are winning. You are winning. You are winning. Continue. Jesus name we pray uh -huh. that's better see what is happening now things have been taken out from the waters passports wedding gowns presents yes yes 
Yes. Things have been taken out from the waters. They're coming out. They're coming out. Matanda kaya bo shende rabo sopola. Ribo sopila katanda kaya bo shanta. Say my blessing in the water. Come out now. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, Makatenda Sapola Kaya Boshanta, Ribo Sapola Kaya Boshanta Raba. Yes, 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 Makatera Boshanta, Ribo Saponda Kaya Ba. Open your mouth and open your mouth. Tonight is tonight. You possess it, possess it, possess it, possess it. Aha, aha, possess it. Tonight is tonight. Yes, yes, yes. Possess it, possess it, possess it, possess it, possess it. Jesus name we pray Amen. beloved beloved more things are coming out more things are coming out you say you don't know why your business is not moving the water powers have caged it but now it's coming up from their gates Amen. father I pray anyone in the garden of this place tonight dedicated to the waters I command the dedication to break. Break, 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 in the name of Jesus. That is the first person. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Say, water serpents. Water scorpions. Can you shout it loud? I signed against my life. Can I hear you shouting it again? Your voice is not loud enough. Yeah! In the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray Amen. say this with boiling anger Pharaoh of my father's house assigned to pursue me into the Red Sea many people have already been pursued into the Red Sea can I hear your voice roaring like thunder 
Is that the loudest you can shout? Die by fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray Can you close your eyes And say this louder than whoever is around you That every base of the enemy Inviting me to demotion Can you say that loud Scatter by fire In the name of Jesus In Jesus name we pray Can you raise up your right hand And say my enemies enemies. Hear Hear the word of the Lord I command your base to catch fire In the name of Jesus Open your mouth and decree In Jesus name we pray Close your eyes below With violence and with fire Especially if you love your destiny And you love breakthrough Shout this loud and clear Base of the enemy See my destiny. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Jesus. Jesus. Something is happening already. Thou power of God. In the name of Jesus. Move. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. That's better. Making good progress. Base of the enemy. A sign against my life. In my place of birth. Can I hear you shouting this too? Catch fire. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Batala kaya bo shempera bo kopola ma. Paribo sepande kaya bo shentera ba. Aha, continue, continue. Yes, yes, in Jesus' name we pray. David said, I was looking after the sheep, and a bear and a lion came and caught one of them. 
So they landed on them, tore their mouth open, rescued the lamb from their mouth. Please, this prayer, don't joke with it. Say, satanic lions. Can you shout it loud? Catching my breakthrough. Can you say it again? I tear your mouth in the name of Jesus. That's right. Jesus, Jesus, open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Yes, Jesus. name we pray <laughs> that's good that is good uh, some people here today uh, certain things we have been pursuing for years after tonight's prayer those things will begin to pursue you <laughs> sir supervisor strong man <laughs> at the base of the enemy In the name of Jesus, the supervisor, Makate Sete Yabo Shente Rabakayaba. Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Aha! Uh -huh. That's it. Continue. 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 In Jesus' name, we pray. The base of darkness swallow my virtues. Vomit them by fire. In the name of Jesus, command the best of our death. Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Say, best of darkness. Mocking my prayers. Can you shout that loud? Let your voice be louder than that. Yeah! In the name of Jesus. 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 
Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Now you need double anger to pray this next prayer. The Lord said, as many as who pray these prayers from their hearts, they will be pleasantly surprised. Please don't joke with this kind of prayer. If you are sitting down, stand up. This is not a prayer you pray sitting down. Can you shout this loud and clear? Stop on pursuers! From the base of the enemy! You are a liar! Dead. In the name of Jesus! Jesus name we pray thank you Jesus now also as we pray this prayer there are some who have come here with all kinds of infirmities again there will be a separation and the infirmity will vanish you will shout this loud and clear you will shout the name of Jesus as loud as a voice can carry you say Jesus And I shall be healed. Can you say that again? Let your voice roar like thunder. Your voice is not loud enough. In the name of Jesus, call upon him tonight. Jesus heal me and I shall be healed heal me and I shall be healed something is happening already yes makate sepela kaya bo basanta Daribo soponde kaya bo shantera ba, balakatanda kaya bo shantera bo sopola ba, ribo soponde kaya ba. Aha, aha. See what is happening now, Jesus. In Jesus name we pray That person check your body now Once the evidence has disappeared Masika pota la kandera bosandia Owners of evil Lord In my heart Carry your Lord In the name of Jesus Jesus, Jesus, aha, 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 shake it off, shake it off, enough is enough, Jesus, Jesus name we pray 
<laughs> this prayer, please, don't negotiate. Don't negotiate at all. Shout to the way I'm going to shout my own. Powers! Injecting me at night. Don't joke with this prayer, beloved. Can I hear the sisters here shouting? Sisters, your voice is not loud enough. Brothers, let your voice roar like fire. Everybody together now. Dad! In the name of Jesus. 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 Receive your deliverance. Receive your healing. Receive it. 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 Makata sopola kaya boshanta. Ribaba piali katandaka. Let her go. Let her go. In the name of Jesus. Let her go. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence now. That's right. That's right. That woman over there, check the evil swelling you brought here. It has vanished. Father, let the owners of evil load in the head, in the eyes, in the chest, in the womb, in the legs, in the intestine, the kidney, in the liver, in the heart, the bones. Let every owner of evil load begin to carry their loads now. In the name of Jesus. Carry your load. 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 Every owner of evil load. Carry your load. The owners of evil load. Carry your 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 load. In the name of Jesus. Let that be silence. Why this surgery is now going on? Father, I'm praying. For all those whose moods, thoughts, attitude are brought in infirmity. Father, I ask for forgiveness. And I pray, O oh Lord, that by the power in the blood of Jesus, wipe the iniquities away. In the name of Jesus. Thou power of infirmity. Thou, thou power of infirmity. Silence now. Why the owners of evil load are carrying their load? Sapling. Sapling. Remove your rope from the waist. Remove your pin from the heart. Remove your evil band from the head. From the head. From the head. From the head. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We enter into another realm of prayer. And don't joke with this prayer too. The Bible says, as soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. Strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall fade away. And they shall be afraid out of their close places. Can you shout this loud and clear? Strangers! I sign against my body. Die! In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord.
Masetaki Aboshenda. Oh yes, something is about to happen. Open your mouth and declare it. Yes. Shout 
Shout hallelujah. With a very loud voice. Loud voice. Very loud voice. You will shout this way. I'm going to shout my whole. Holy Ghost fire. Kill my blindness. Can I hear you again shouting it? Your voice is not loud enough. Let your voice roar like thunder. In the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. In Jesus' name we pray. <laughs> okay. Now, this prayer. Please concentrate. Power of discernment. Shout it loud. Look at me now in the name of Jesus. Power of the summit, look at me now. Power of the summit. Look at me, 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 look at me. In Jesus' name we pray. The Holy Spirit said we have not started praying that prayer yet. When you start praying the prayer. All of a sudden, you feel as if you are not in this building again. But you will notice that your leg is lifting up from the ground. So it's important to concentrate. Anointing of the sun, man! Look at me now! In the name of Jesus! Raise up your right hand. Say, my father, give me the eyes of the eagle. In the name of Jesus. Say three times. Say, my father, connect my soul. 
to the telephone of heaven in the name of Jesus say it three times too Say, my father, illuminate my heart with the Son of heaven. In the name of Jesus. Shout that three times too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now with a voice that is louder than anyone here. Say, my fire electrify my brain with the oil of heaven in the name of Jesus. Say it three times electrify my brain. Say, my father, set me on fire for you. In the name of Jesus. Shout it three times. Say, my father, incubate my imagination. For uncommon wisdom in the name of Jesus open your mouth and declare mm -hmm. now with a voice that is as loud as thunder my father let the hammer of your power break my yokes now in the name of Jesus three times the hammer of your power let it break my yokes now in Jesus name we pray can you shout this loud and clear? Fire! From heaven! Incubate my life! In the name of Jesus! Peter Satalakayaba! Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, put your mouth, oh, put your mouth, oh, put your mouth, oh, put your mouth. Receive it, 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 receive it. Jesus. Jesus! Aha! Look at what is happening over there! Open your mouth, sister! Open your mouth! Don't be afraid! Don't be afraid! Fire! Receive it now! Jesus, Jesus, open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. That's why Jesus brought you here. We are here for serious business. Aha, aha. 
Continue. 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 Don't be tired. Don't be tired. Don't be tired. Yeah, that's it. That is it. That is it. Bakapotera bo shentera ba. Riba sapanda kaya bo shentera ba Santa. Yes. Yes, shout it. This is not a death to negotiate. This is not a death to negotiate. Fire from heaven. Fire from heaven. Incubate me now. Incubate me now. Yes. Makata setende kaya bo shanta. Riba sapende kaya bo shanta raba. Something is happening here tonight. Jesus. 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 Aha. Don't keep quiet. Don't keep quiet. Don't keep quiet. Aha. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Don't be afraid. Receive the fire now. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Raise up your voice like fire and thunder now. Say, my father, visit me tonight. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. With violence and with fire. We are not here to negotiate, you can see. There is no negotiation at all. With fire and with power. You will shout this loud and clear. Flying wickedness. Hear the word of the Lord. Fall down and die. In the name of Jesus. Something is happening already. Bopata Santayaba, the river Saponda Kayaba Shenteraba, Jesus. Aha, in Jesus' name we pray. Can you shout this loud and clear? Fly, wickedness. In my heavens, fall down and down in the name of Jesus. Pata Santa Lakaya Boshanda. Aha, 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 aha. This is not a night to negotiate. Somebody must say this loud. Basenta Kaya Boshentera Bakopola Baraba. In Jesus' name we pray. Something strange. It's already happening in somebody's compound. By the time you get home from this meeting, that dead bird you are going to see there, anoint the bird and burn it. Say, wings of flying witchcraft. Catch fire! In the name of Jesus. Jesus command our wings to catch fire
Jesus name we pray Wicked powers of my father's heart Fly in the heavens Fall down down In the name of Jesus Oh yes, yes, aha, 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 in Jesus name we pray, aha, your benefits that have been picked up by these flying birds. They have dropped it for you now. Let nobody's voice overshadow you. Blood of Jesus arise in your power. And you shout that loud. Scatter every wickedness above my head. In the name of Jesus. 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 Scatter it. Scatter it. Scatter it. Thou power of God. In the name of Jesus. Ooh. Aha, aha. Thank you, Jesus. Something is happening here. Yes, 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 yes. Jesus then we pray he looked at the woman in the basket he said this is wickedness fly witchcraft hear the word of the Lord fall down and down in the name of Jesus that's right Jesus Jesus Yes 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 Aha, 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 aha. Yes, 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 yes. Jesus name we pray this next prayer if you pray and you lose your voice but the miracle happens you have made a good bargain but if you keep quiet it is a sad matter there are men and women who need to pray this prayer really hard flying power stealing my virtues In the name of Jesus. Yes. 
Yes. Yes. Say tonight, I draw the battle line with the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to draw that battle line. I draw the battle line with the blood of Jesus. Yes. Aha, aha, aha. In Jesus' name we pray. So every power harassing my life. I single you out. Can I hear the sister saying this? Mm -hmm. Let the sisters roar like thunder. Let the brothers roar like thunder. Aha. Everybody together now. And the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare it. Sing with them out. By the blood of Jesus. Aha! Thank you, Jesus. Aha! Single them out! Jesus name we pray now that you have singled them out you will now shout this louder than anyone around let your leg be praying it let your body be praying it because all shakeable must be shaken serpents and scorpions of infirmity In the name of Jesus, that's right. Command them to carry their load. Makatenda ya bo shendera bo kosempela ba. Ribo sopola kaya bo koshendera ba. Masikata ya bo shendera bo kosendera ba. Carry your load by fire. Jesus. In Jesus name we pray There are at least 21 persons here The problem you are going through now Was an attack from the dream that manifested in the physical Immediately we begin to pray now The power of God will fall upon you You may not be able to stand on your feet But don't worry That floor where you are The surgery of the Holy Ghost will continue Father, in the name of Jesus, every stranger of infirmity in the body of anyone, in the blood, in the brain, in the breast, in the chest, in the womb, in any part of the body, you the stranger, hear the word of the Lord, lose your hold now in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. 
receive it 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 in the name of Jesus Say by the power that dried the river of Jordan. Can you say that loud and clear? Say it again. River of infirmity. Dry up in the name of Jesus. It's happening. Aha, aha, aha. Receive the touch of heaven. Receive it. 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 In Jesus name we pray. Aha, aha, aha. It's wonderful. The powers that have been manipulating your menstruation. Look at what is happening now. There is a volcanic eruption happening in that womb. Yes, there's a power God coming upon you. Thank you, Jesus. Wait for that touch where you are. As the wind of the Holy Spirit blowing. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. A sevenfold amen. 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 Yes. Aha. With that hand on your head now. Let your amen be terrifying to the gates of hell. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Mapata sitali kayaba. Every program infirmity. Every curse of infirmity. Every yoke of infirmity. Every power of infirmity tormenting anyone here by the stripes on your body, I command them to dry up. Receive your healing. Receive it. 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 In the name of Jesus. Of untimely death. Yeah! In the name of Jesus. Somebody should open the mouth and pray this prayer. This is not a prayer to negotiate. Every infirmity that is unto death. Lose your hold. 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 Lose your hold, 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 lose your hold. Aha, 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 aha. Makatende kaya bo shente rabo sopola bakaya ba. Bada katanda rabo sopola kaya ba. Bakatende rabo sopola kaya bo shente rabo. De katende rabo soponde kaya bo shanda. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. This is why you are here. Jesus, Jesus, aha, 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 
Ajá, 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 ajá. In Jesus' name we pray. Every part that wants you to run mad, let the arrow go back to the center now. In the name of Jesus. Aha. All the wombs that have been carried away to covens. Hear the word of the Lord. Right there in the coven where they carry you. I recover you back to the owners. Come 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 back to the owners. Makapota Satila Kaya was shendera. Aha. Yes. You will now shout this loud and clear. Owners of the Lord of Infirmity. Right now. Carry your Lord. In the name of Jesus. 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 Thank you, Lord. 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 This is not a night to negotiate. This is not a night to negotiate. This is not a night to negotiate. Command them to carry their Lord. Amen. Father, we cover the signs and wonders with the blood of Jesus. Affliction shall never rise again in the name of Jesus. Now with anger in your voice. When I say anger, I mean anger. Can you say this loud and clear? Any power that eats my existence. Please, oh, you need to be angry to pray this prayer. Can I hear you shouting this loud? Your time is up! Die! Amen! Stretch forth your two hands now towards this altar again. Father, let the anointing of prosperity the anointing of uncommon breakthroughs. The anointing of wholeness. Fall upon this hands in the name of Jesus. Every infirmity program in the spirit realm, I command them to backfire. In the name of Jesus. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. The Lord will perfect everything that concerns you. Silence, beloved. Silence, beloved. There are seven sisters here, completely written off by worldly doctors. Right there where those seven sisters are, the power of God will fish them out. And that which they say is not possible for them shall become possible. That's number one. That's number two, three, four, five, six. That's number seven. We we'll expect your testimonies in a few months' time. That person over there at a prophet claimed to wash your head with water, claiming that he wants to give you good luck. What he had done is to wash your virtues away. And a wicked fellow he is, because he not only washed your own virtues away, he wash those of your children away as well. Right there where you are. The power of the God of Elijah is falling upon that person. And your virtues are being restored. Something is happening here tonight. Something is happening. All those virtues that were collected in the dream 
right there where you are recover those virtues now in the name of jesus something is up over there recover them 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 in the name of jesus something is happening here thank you jesus thank you jesus somebody down there is eating a spiritual jackpot because the lord said that which you have lost in the last 10 years has come back to you now thank you jesus thank you jesus makato sate yaboshende rabasando dalakapora katanda aha you that person over there a strange personality entered into you through an evil wind and since that evil wind blow you nothing you touch has prospered at the count of seven that evil wind that blew into you shall blow back to the senders one two three four five six seven Thank you, Jesus. 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 All dust. Listen to me, beloved. All dust. Close. All good, good dust. Closed by witchcraft forces against somebody here has been opened by the power of God. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Now, with a voice as loud as thunder, pray these prayers. It is dangerous to keep quiet. It is dangerous for your voice to be low. It is dangerous for you not to put out your bucket when the rain is falling. Can you shout this loud and clear? Any power. Assigned to disgrace me tonight. Die! In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and declare it. Something is happening again over there. In Jesus' name we pray. Within the next few minutes, the volcanic eruption of the power of God shall flow upon this place. And I want you to pay attention and pray the way you've never prayed before. There is someone here. Every altar erected to change your destiny shall catch fire tonight. And every power that has been pushing you pushing you to the way of loss to the way of loss pushing you that has been pushing your helpers away wherever they are gathered the lion of Judah shall tear them to pieces in the name of Jesus say pass waging war against my prayers you are shall be exposed and disgraced in the name of Jesus. They shall be disgraced. They shall be disgraced. They shall be disgraced. They shall be disgraced. Let your voice roar like thunder. Raise up your
battle hands the devil in. As you wear your battle gown and fight now. The first prayer I want you to pray. Please don't stop praying until I stop you. God of Elijah and Elisha. Make me a carrier of your fire. Can I hear you shouting this loud? Somebody ought to shout this loud. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and decree. Carry the fire, carry the fire. Carry the fire. Make me a carrier of your fire. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. This particular prayer will release spiritual missile into the camp of stubborn enemies. Say, Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise! Destroy the headquarters of my problems. In the name of Jesus. Destroy the headquarters. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Open your mouth. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus, then we pray. You now call on heavenly surgeons. Heavenly surgeons! My life is available. Visit me now. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, it's up, please, up, please, up, please. In Jesus' name we pray. So every judgment of untimely death. Upon my life. Gloria. Back fire. In the name of Jesus. Yes. This is not a night to negotiate. Don't negotiate. Don't negotiate. Yes. Ben. Yes. Ben. Yes. Ben. In Jesus' name we pray. Continue, continue, continue. Jesus. Yes. Jesus name we pray three more prayers but you need violence holy violence you also need faith violent faith to pray them whether the enemy likes it or not I shall not serve my enemies in the name of Jesus.
Just bear me. In Jesus' name we pray. I want to counsel all of you who are here particularly if you are below 30 to pray this next prayer with violence in the presence of those who think I am nobody I want to pray this next Oh God, oh Lord, oh Lord, promote me by fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Mistakes of my ancestors. As you say, I want to bala me blocking my glory. Don't beg it, you know. Can you shout this loud? Blood of Jesus, wipe them away. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Let I be silent. Please don't say anything until I ask you to speak. Tendale Kayabo Shanti Ribola Cassetta, Le Catenda, Le Capota Sata, Le Caibo Sata. You the power, a war at Para of Get and Lose. Upon this sister, the power of get and lose upon this brother. You cannot stay there anymore. For it is written, that the strangers shall fade away. They shall be afraid out of their close places. Get out now. in the name of Jesus. As the first person. Get a loose spirit. Depart. 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 Silence. A dark again. Something is about to happen to two women. Immediately I make this pronouncement. The strong man assigned to trouble you. Shall release you instantly. You may not be able to stand on your feet, but they shall release you instantly. Those special arrows that is already in your body prepared to make your children turn against you prepared to make your children turn against you it's coming out now and going back to the center I separate the arrow from your body as the first woman, that's the second woman. Silence. Silence. The yokes of night disturbances and sleeplessness is broken. Break for the name of Jesus.
the yoke of inherited infirmity. The yoke of witchcraft sponsored infirmity. Your time is up. Be broken. 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 In the name of Jesus. For he himself bore your infirmities and took away your sicknesses. Every infirmity troubling your destiny from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. I bind them and I cast them out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Stretch your right hand towards this altar. Father, let your fire fall upon this hand. Let every yoke of the enemy be broken. Let every infirmity jump out of their hiding place. And go back to the senders. In the name of Jesus. With that and now. If you have any infirmity in your body, smite it. 21 times shouting go back to your senders in the name of Jesus go back to your senders in the name of Jesus and do it very aggressively the soldier angels are here already let's go Thou power of God in the name of Jesus. Move. Move. Yes. Do it well. Do it well. Amen. Amen. Begin to check your body now. Do what you could not do before you got here. Check that pain. It has disappeared. Check that part of your body. The organ is back in position. Check your body well. Do what you could not do before. Put your faith into action now. That's right. Check your body very well. Yes. If you check your body and you find out the Lord has healed you, don't allow the devil to put it back. Find the way very quickly to this altar now. Don't waste time. Find the way quickly to the altar now. See what is happening all over the place. Yes, don't be afraid. It's gone. You are surprised. Don't be surprised. It's gone. The power of God has touched you. Find a way to the altar. Very quickly. Don't let the enemy put it back. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Can you shout this loud and clear? Finger of God. Can you shout it louder? Alas! Write my name in the book of blessings. In the name of Jesus. Write my name in the book of blessings. Jesus name we pray say every witchcraft power cutting the wings of my glory in the name of Jesus Open your mouth and decree it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In 
Jesus name we pray can you say arrows in the hands of the strong man can you shout this love I sign against my life back fire in the name of Jesus the arrows in the hands of the strong man I sign against my life back fire back fire back fire back fire back fire back fire in Jesus name we pray raise your right hand to the heavenlies father these hands that are raised to the heavenlies let the destiny change in power the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ fall upon these hands in the name of Jesus use this hands to disgrace every plantation of the enemy use this hands to put to shame every handwriting of darkness in the name of Jesus I'm going to count one to seven smite your head aggressively it's a form of destiny deliverance your head is a symbol of your destiny as you smile that head, shout fire! Get yourself ready. Let your voice be the loudest as you do it. Something is about to happen. One! Smite that head well. One! Two! Three! Four! Five! Six, seven, aha, Ben. Every serpent power in the head your time is up depart now depart now depart now depart now in the name of Jesus now your chest your chest let your fire be the loudest one two eight three four five six seven Your stomach. Something is about to happen there too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to get angry in your spirit as you pray this particular warfare prayers. Say sacrifices. Offered to idols to dry up my favor. Can you shout it loud? I want your voice to be louder than this. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. A louder amen. A Jericho destroying amen. Before acting childishly and he grew up. Many Bible characters played games with God. God called Moses. Moses said, Yes, Lord, but I'm not able to do this work. Lord, I can't do it. I'm in fear and I'm afraid. I have this problem. I have that problem. I have this problem. I have that problem. Moses gave 11 excuses why he would not work. But one thing about God is that God does not welcome excuses. 
God wants us to perform the task he has asked us to perform. We need to grow up and stop being childish. Adam also played games with God. Adam. Adam. Played oh, games no. with God. Adam, no, oh, no. Wow, wow. We he played the oldest game in history. Oh no, wow, wow. We he told to be to Which is blame shifting. Blame shifting. If you, see, if you didn't cause this, I will not be this. If God has given me a different husband, I will not be like this. If, if, if I have been born in another family, I will not be like this. No one grows spiritually until they learn to accept responsibilities for their actions. Not accepting responsibility for your action is childishness. Cain knew what offering God wanted. He decided to bring the wrong one. He was playing games with God. Jonah was a grown up man, a prophet. Was in a ship trying to hide away from God. Was playing game with God. Peter even played game a little bit. Until he came to his senses. I want to pray for somebody here. That may the Lord convert you to his champion. Make you an eagle in the marketplace. An eagle wherever you go. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the training school of the Almighty. Qualification number one. Put away childish things. Grow up. Become mature. One of the greatest signs of maturity. Patience. Patience. Once you find impatience in your life, always in a hurry, in a hurry to get everything done. You are still a child. If you are concerned about somebody talking against you, somebody was just insulting you directly to your face. And you are losing your temper and fighting. Childishness. Somebody who comes to the house of God and refuses to participate in anything that will move the purposes of God forward. It's childishness. Make up your mind. Paul said, when I was a child, Paul, I, I thought as a child, so, but when I became an adult, I put away childish things. May the Lord make you an eagle in the name of Jesus. Rise to your feet now. And all eyes closed. In case you are here tonight, and you are not born again. You have an opportunity to surrender your life to Jesus. Just see what I'm going to say after me. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Who said that short prayer with me? The ushers, the counselors who meet with you, you can take our number from the screen. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Is there anyone here tonight who will say, Father, make me a spiritual eagle? Make me an eagle in the place of prayer. Make me an eagle in the place of 
evangelism make me an eagle in the place of working for God shake away spiritual laziness from my spirit man. convert me to the kind of person you want me to be is there such people tonight if you are in that category I want you to raise up your voices like fire and like thunder make sure nobody's voice is louder than yours Oh God, Allah! Make me one of your eagles. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and decree it. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Lay your right hand on your head now. Can you shout your name loud and clear? Daniel Olukoya. Hear the word of the Lord. Arise and shout. In the name of Jesus. Arise and shine. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, Thou power of God. My life is available. I Overshadow my life. In the name of Jesus. Them we pray now. Listen, that is a prayer that one of our fathers in the Lord taught us to pray many years ago, and it's still relevant now. Oh God, arise. Let me not be replaced with stones. In the name of Jesus. Let me not be replaced with stones. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. A louder amen. Please bring up. Open your mouth like fire again. All day. All day. And give me my portion. In the name of Jesus. Your portion in the name of Jesus. Oh, arise! Give 
give me my portion. Give me my portion. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Say, so, oh day, arise and curse any power stealing my portion. Stealing my portion in the name of Jesus. Any power stealing my portion, let it be cast them in the name of Jesus. <laughs> I wish you could see what is happening now. There is confusion in the heavens. That's right. Raise up your voice like fire again. Every wicked power in the second heavens that is representing my family. Can you say this with? Hot anger. Uh huh. It is sacred. Yeah! In the name of Jesus. Ah, 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 ah. Open your mouth, beloved. Something must happen. Something must happen tonight. Post secretary of worship. Yes. Enough is enough. Believed, 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 believed in the name of Jesus. Aha, 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 Every rod of affliction from the second heavens break in the name of Jesus. Break the rod of affliction in the name of Jesus. Masika chaya bo shenteya bo kolama. Ribo sapande kaya bo ko shenteya ba kaya ba. Matela ba ko shenteya ba ko shente. Riapala ka shenteya ba. Yes, 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 yes. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Break the rod of affliction. 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 Any problem 
that wants to kill me. In the name of Jesus, kill the problem. Let the problem die. In the name of Jesus. Let the problem die. Let the problem die. In the name of Jesus. Satanic anointing. Oh, son! Transfer their arrows back to them. Sisters, now say it loud and clear. Brothers, shout it louder than the sisters. Say it with only anger. from my life by the powers of the night. I will repossess you by fire. In the name of Jesus. Whatever they have stolen, repossess it. Polygamous witchcraft. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Stretch your two hands forward now and let your amen be super dynamic. Within the next few minutes, some transactions will begin to take place here. 
Listen. What some people have lost for years, as I pray now, will be put right back in their hands. As I pray right now, the power that has stubbornly refused to give way for you for your breakthrough shall be completely cancelled. As I pray now, the terrible battles you have been going through and people have been laughing at you. All of a sudden, there will be a change. As I pray these prayers now, all those things that are yours, that the enemy has been playing around with, you shall repossess them. You shall repossess them. You shall repossess them. You shall repossess them. And then, the agent of reproach assigned to pursue you shall cease from pursuing you and they shall pursue themselves thank you jesus father in the name of jesus father in the name of jesus we thank you because you are the king of kings we thank you because you are the lord of lords father i decree right now that every destiny robber every blessing robber every breakthrough robber that has stolen from your people right now let there be a recovery and as many people as are saying amen now let them possess their possession possess your 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 possession Possess a possession, 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 possess a possession in the name of Jesus. By the power of the God that answered by fire, every challenge the enemy is bringing away, let the challenge be scattered now in the name of Jesus. I'm beginning from now. Let good news begin to locate you on every side in the name of Jesus. As many people as are here today, and wicked powers are toying with your destiny. I bury those powers now in the name of Jesus. Maseka Tenda Yabo Shenta, the river Saponda, in the name of Jesus. Everyone hearing my voice now, right there where you are, right there where you are, let your angels of blessing begin to locate you. Be located by your angels of blessing. Let the angels locate you right now, right now, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I pray that anyone in this meeting and already your life is going through an evil pattern. I command the pattern to die. Now! In the name of Jesus. And whether it is convenient for the enemy or not, you must receive your deliverance today. In the name of Jesus. Right from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence. And the violent Ticket it by this. Oh God, Allah! Use me to change my family history. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray now. Now, power God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus. Aha! Aha! Jesus' name we pray. Shout 
God is Lord and kept every curse in my bloodline. Can you shout this Lord and clear? Die by the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray like that. And the enemy has denied you your rightful possession. You are possessing them now. Say, ancestral Pharaoh, let my family go in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Be released, be released. Be released, 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 be released. Ah, 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Please pray with reckless violence. Satanic dedication of my family. Pray! In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and break that satanic dedication. Break the dedication in Jesus' name. We pray. Uh -huh. I'm making progress, sisters. Shout this with, a, with your loudest voice. That pursued my parents and is now pursuing me. Can I hear the sister shouting that? I want your voice to be loud and clear. 
your voice is not loud enough, my sister. <laughs> Brother, snatch your voice, roar like thunder. <laughs> Everybody together now. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Oh yes, today is your day, this is not a day to negotiate, there must be no negotiation. Masete kaya bo shente la bo popo la ba, banna kanta la bo sopo la bo koya bo shente la ba, rapo la katende ya Jesus name we pray. Everybody shout this after me loud and clear. Anything buried by anybody that is dragging my family down. Can I hear you shouting this? I want you at the front to roar like thunder. Everybody shout it loud and clear. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Jesus move in Jesus name we pray so where is the Lord God of Elijah All right. and increase my speed can you shout that loud and clear in the name of Jesus, open your mouth and decree it. In Jesus' name we pray. Any power that wants my family to suffer, <laughs> let your voice roar like thunder. Let your voice roar like thunder. You are a lawyer. In the name of Jesus. Oh yes. Something is happening here this morning. Master Katela Kaya Boshendera Ba. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. My Father, release unto me the angels of power. Do you understand that prayer? One single angel dealt with 185,000 of Sinakirubu soldiers. One, one, one. Said, My Father, release unto me the angels of power in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to say, That's right. Release unto me the angels of power. Jesus name we pray Amen Say inherited battles 
Connect me from my destiny. next one. Say every battle against my sunshine. Sisters, can you shout it? Sisters, is that the ladders who can shout up? Brothers, can I hear you worry like thunder? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Angels of war. Say that loud and clear. Pursue those who are holding what belongs to me. Recover them for me. Angels of war. Pursue those holding what belongs to me. And recover them for me. By fire. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. You are breaking through. You are breaking through. That's why Jesus brought you here. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Documents of darkness. My information. Can you say that again? Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus name we pray this next prayer is also for three times make sure nobody's voice is louder than yours powers 
cursing my future. Please don't joke with this prayer. Can I hear you shouting it loud? What are you waiting for? Die! In the name of Jesus. Bakapote seteni kaya boshanda. Ribo soponda kaya bosha. Makantenda ribo sopo. Lali katende rabo sotoa. In Jesus name we pray. Open your mouth and pray it again. Yes. 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 In Jesus name we pray. Open your mouth and shout it again. In Jesus name we pray. Everybody shout this loud and clear. Arrows of witchcraft in my body. Can you shout it loud and clear? Is that the loudest you can shout it here today? Come out now! In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to declare it. Salt to my today. Makapola kaya bo shende ra bo sende. Mokasetende kaya bo shende ra bo kopola bara ba. Badaka sopola kaya bo shente ra ba. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Aha, aha, aha. It's coming out, it's coming out, it's coming out. The one in the head, the one in the chest, the one in the stomach, the one in the legs. Out, out, out. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Every witchcraft padlock assigned against my life. Is that the loudest you can shout this particular prayer? Shout it with only anger. Bro! Break the padlock in the name of Jesus. That's right. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Receive the torture of the power of God. Receive the torture of the power of God. Receive the touch of the power of God. Receive the touch of the power. Receive the touch of the power of God. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Every agent from the coven in the body of anyone now catch fire. Catch fire, 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 in the name of Jesus. Catch fire, in the name of Jesus. Say every invisible chain. 
binding my hands. Great! In the name of Jesus. Break the invisible chain. Break it. Break it. Break it. In Jesus' name we pray. I clear my goods out of every witchcraft we have. In the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray any power calling my name in the coven let me hear the sister shouting this prayer is that the Lord that the sisters can say and let me hear the brothers shouting it loud and clear you are a liar in the name of Jesus. That's right. Deal with that power now. By the power in the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Every plan of witchcraft against your life shall be shattered into pieces. In the name of Jesus. Every evil bird swallowing your virtues, the bird shall be arrested. They 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 shall be arrested. In the name of Jesus. Say witchcraft curses upon my family life. Jesus. Yes, come on, he causes to die. Which God causes along my body line? Yes. Kill the curses. Master Poco Telakayaba.
Masopatali katanda yaba. In Jesus name we pray. Uh huh. Very good. I want you to increase your aggression. Every coven entertaining my case. Can you shout it loud and clear? Catch fire! In the name of Jesus, set them ablaze by the power of the Holy Ghost. Set them ablaze. In Jesus' name we pray. <laughs> this is wonderful. Oh yes. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Allah! Kill every satanic prophet assigned against my life. In the name of Jesus. That's right. In Jesus' name we pray. Bondage of my father's house. Bondage of my mother's house. What are you watching for? Yeah! In the name of Jesus. That's right. Jesus name we pray eyes of darkness assigned to monitor my life we die in the name of Jesus open your mouth and begin to pray Masati Lakatanda in Jesus name we pray power taking my name to the coven die with the coven in the name of Jesus open your mouth and begin to declare aha 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 in Jesus name we pray oh God alas overthrow the wicked in my life in the name of Jesus command the wicked to be overthrown overthrow them overthrow them aha in Jesus name we pray Every altar of darkness walking against my moving forward, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Deal with the altar of darkness. Jesus name we pray so every power challenging my moving forward you are a liar in the name of Jesus something is happening here this morning the power of God in the name Jesus move in Jesus name we pray every satanic wind blowing against my prosperity backfire in the name of Jesus that's right thank you Jesus thank you Jesus Thank you, Jesus. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Say, oh God of favor, appear in my life. In the name of Jesus. As for the favor of God, appear, 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 appear. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Every charm walking against my life catch fire in the name of Jesus. Set the charms ablaze. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Jesus name we pray eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood hear the word of the Lord you shout it with anger Death! in the name of Jesus Open your mouth, don't be afraid. Masse Kapola Kaya Boshendera Bokonta. Aha, aha. Yes, be released. 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 Aha, 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 aha. Then we pray. Every sickness sponsored by witchcraft. Hear the word of the Lord. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Something is up over there. This is not the death of Nebuchadnezzar. Masika pola kaya bo shendera bo konte Aha, 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 aha. Thank you, Jesus. That person that you have lost your sense of smelling, begin to check it out now. That person that came out with breathing difficulties, breathe in and out now. Your breath has been released. You, the spirit of goiter and arthritis, and the spirit that is troubling the bones and the burning feet. I cancel your power now. In the name of Jesus. Every problem with the heart, the one with the blood, the one with the breast, the one with the intestine, the one in the liver, the one in the intestine, the one in the kidney, the one in the bladder, that problem, bow to the name of Jesus. Bow to the name of Jesus. Bow, bow, bow. Jesus. Bow to the name of Jesus. Bow to the name of Jesus. You, the spirit of cataract, the spirit of 
convulsion on epilepsy, the earache, the spirit of exhaustion, the spirit of fatigue, the spirit of heart enlargement, the spirit of glaucoma, the spirit of shortness of breath. That body is not your tabernacle. You have no right to stay there. So lose your hold. 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 In the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. It is written. You shall lay your hands on the sick and the sick shall recover. Father, it's not possible for us to lay hands on everyone physically. But right now in these hands that are stretched forth, let the anointing for total deliverance, anointing for complete healing, anointing for moving of the power of God, fall upon these hands now. Fall upon the hands. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now lay that hands on any sick part of your body. Lay it there. Immediately you lay it there, the electric current of God will begin to flow into your body. Yes, there is the power of God coming upon you. The power of God in the name of Jesus. Move. That's right. Yes. The hour of infirmity in the head. In the breast, in the brain, is shifting out. Yes. Masekaya boshende rabokonde. Ribo soponde keya boshende rabakapola bakanda rabosanta. Yes, be released. Aha. Every pronouncement of satanic doctor upon your life, every clinical prophecy issued against you, I cancel it now. I cancel it now. I cancel it now. I cancel it now. I cancel it. 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 Be cancelled. Be cancelled. Be cancelled. In the name of Jesus. Begin to check your body now. Check your body now. Do whatever you are not able to do before. Check your body. Whatever you are not able to do before, do it now. If you can't bend, bend. If you can't see, see. If you can't hear, hear. Continue, continue. That's right. If you can't use any part of your leg, body, begin to use it now. Something is happening over there. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody has been healed from an incurable disease. Yes, that smell of death and the spirit of death that has entered into you is getting out of you now. That evil swelling in your body is being melted away now. You, the plantation of darkness in any organ in anybody's body, be uprooted now. Be uprooted. Be uprooted. Be uprooted. Be uprooted. Be uprooted. We are put it. 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 In the name of Jesus. This evil rope tied on your waist, squeezing your womb whenever you get pregnant. That rope. Is broken now. Yes. Those legs that have been captured and taken to witchcraft meetings and the legs are behaving as if they don't belong to you. Right there where you are. The power of God is coming upon you. And that yoke is broken now. In the name of Jesus. 
You will not shout this with boiling anger. So every power that wants me to die, you are a liar. Die in the name of Jesus. to shout this. It is not an advice. It's a commandment of the Holy Ghost. 21 hot times. Shout it with fire and with power. Even if you are not feeling anything, say shout it. Say, sickness! Go! In the name of Jesus, shout it 21 times. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Go! Get sickness! Go! Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Let somebody shout your loud and clear. My Lord! Disobey every satanic regulation. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. name we pray every program serpent serpents in the chest serpents in the womb serpents in the backbone serpents swallowing pregnancies serpents swallowing blood I address those serpents now by the power in the blood of Jesus for it is written that as soon as they hear of me they shall obey me strangers shall submit themselves unto me the strangers shall fade away and they shall be afraid out of their close places. Let the serpents now begin to depart and go back to their senders. In the name of Jesus. Silence, beloved. Let the serpents go. That's right. The serpent of infirmity under the armpit. The serpent of infirmity in the heart. The serpent of infirmity in the head. The serpent of infirmity in the intestine. In the kidney, in the liver, in the womb, in the legs, the serpents of infirmity. That place is not your habitation. 
Loose your hold now. Get out of that hiding place by the power in the blood of Jesus. That's the first person over there. That's number two. That's number three. That's number four. That's number five. That's number six. Check your body now. You find out that infirmity that you brought here has completely vanished. But we're still praying. We're still praying. I see a brother over there. They have been blocking your way all these years. But there is a command from heaven that they should let you go. And your way is open now in the name of Jesus. Aha. Say dark chains. Let your voice be loud. Your time is up. Pray in the name of Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Dark chains. Your time is up. Break. Aha! In Jesus' name we pray. Let me silence. Perfect silence. Maseka tenda la karabushe. Ribasia le cantanda. You, that person over there, that you have been taken into the forest when you were having some troubles and you thought you were looking for a solution. But they just mounted more problems on you. Right there where you are. The power of God is coming upon you. And the problem the enemy has arranged against your life. is being separated from you. As a person over there. Father, anyone in this service now. Being remotely controlled by evil powers. Let your power go to such people one by one. One by one. One by one. Wherever they are. And begin to break the hold of this evil control. Break. Break. Still going on. You that woman over there. I command the spirits of your dead mother to come out of you now. In the name of Jesus. Yes, that's the power of God coming upon you. Everybody will shout this loud and clear. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Allah, advertise your power in my life in the name of Jesus. Then we pray. Silence. There are some incisions between the two breasts of a woman here. Some incisions. The incisions have been troubling your destiny. Fire is coming upon those incisions so that they can let you go. Yeah, that's the power of God. That's the power of God coming upon you. Yes. Things are happening here today. The power sitting on your document of miracle and your letter of miracle i see them be uprooted now thank you jesus say strong man of financial embarrassment Damn! 
in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Baseta la kaya boko shentera basa. Daria poli katanda rabo santa. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Thank you, Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Every power assigned to put me to shame. Can I hear you saying that? Let your voice be louder than that. Let your voice be loud. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Lay your right hand upon your head. You will now shout this louder than anyone around you. My head be lifted up by fire in the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray every wicked grip upon my life lose your hold in the name of Jesus let's begin to command the wicked grip to be loosed uh -huh. lose your hold the wicked grip in Jesus name we pray Holy Ghost fire destroy garments of reproach in the name of Jesus let the fire of God destroy the garment of reproach in Jesus name we pray my stubborn enemy receive the arrow of shame in the name of Jesus yes in Jesus name we pray say any grave power any grave power holding my testimonies scatter in the name of Jesus deal with the grave powers in Jesus name we pray every opposition to my laughter Clear away in the name of Jesus. In Jesus.
Jesus name we pray every plan of witchcraft against your life shall be shattered into pieces in the name of Jesus every evil bird swallowing your virtues the bird shall be arrested they 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 shall be arrested in the name of Jesus eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood hear the word of the Lord you shout it with anger Jesus open your mouth don't be afraid aha aha yes be released Say this with boiling anger from my vineyard yeah! in the name of Jesus. That's right. Masseka Tentica Nabo Ribo Sendica Barica Sependa Kayabo Shantayaba. Continue, continue. Something is happening. Something is happening. Yes. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Uh -huh. Seeking for the help of other enemies. To fight me. Can I hear the sister shouting it? Sisters, I want you to be more aggressive. Brothers, let me hear you roaring like thunder. You are Jesus.
name we pray. Wind of God. That will make my children excel. Be activated now. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Something is happening as I pray the prayers. Jesus name we pray. The powers holding me down from getting to the next level. Can you shout it loud? There is a woman who needs to shout this prayer. What are you waiting for? In the name of Jesus, open your mouth, open your mouth and pray. That's why you are here. Jesus name we pray everything that has been wounded in my life can you shout his love receive divine recovery in the name of Jesus Receive divine recovery. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, year 2021 hear the word of the Lord you will not swallow any of my blessings in the name of Jesus Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Us behind Lucia Killers. Arise! Fight them! In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Name we pray. Power of the God of Elijah. Envelope me now. In the name of Jesus.
Jesus name we pray anything in my life acting as a ladder to the enemy can you shout that loud your voice is not loud enough be wasted now in the name of Jesus command them to be wasted Jesus name we pray eaters of flesh drinkers of blood in my environment what are you waiting for in the name of Jesus in your environment makate setenda kaya bo shendera bo ko santa ribo sopole kaya bo shendera bo santa ya ba yes the one in your environment Jesus name we pray so powers postponing the days of my miracles I need somebody to shout that loud let your voice be louder than that there in the name of Jesus postponing the death of my miracles die in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray the powers behind vampire spirit in Nigeria your time is up die in the name of Jesus open your mouth and pray against them thank you Jesus in Jesus name we pray eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood in my place of work in the name of Jesus Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, blood of Jesus. Can you shout his love? Write a new story about my life. In the enemies. Seeking for the help of other enemies to fight me.
Can I hear the sister shouting it? Sisters, I want you to be more aggressive. Brothers, let me hear you roaring like thunder. You are alone. In the name of Jesus. name we pray wind of God that will make my children excel be activated now in the name of Jesus open your mouth and pray that prayer Something is happening as I pray the press. In Jesus' name we pray. holding me down from getting to the next level can you shout it loud there is a woman who needs to shout this prayer what are you waiting for Death. in the name of Jesus Oh, put your mouth up, put your mouth and pray it. That's why you are here. Jesus' name we pray. Everything that has been wounded in my life. Can you shout his love? Receive divine recovery. In the name of Jesus. Receive divine recovery. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. 
for this year 2021. Hear the word of the Lord. You will not swallow any of my blessings. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. In Jesus' name, we powers behind ritual killers. Arise! Fight them! In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Name we pray. Power of the God of Elijah. Envelop me now. In the name of Jesus. Then we pray. Anything in my life acting as a ladder to the enemy. Can you shout that loud? Your voice is not loud enough. Be wasted now. In the name of Jesus. Command them to be wasted. Jesus name we pray the eaters of flesh drinkers of blood in my environment what are you waiting for die in the name of Jesus in your environment Makate setenda kaya bo shendera bo ko santa Ribo sopole kaya bo shendera bo santa ya ba Yes the one in your environment Jesus name we pray so powers postponing the days of my miracles I need somebody to shout that loud let your voice be louder than that in the name of 
Jesus. Postponing the days of my miracles, die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. The powers behind vampire spirit in Nigeria. Your time is up. Die in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray against them. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Eat us of flesh and drink us of blood. In my place of work. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, blood of Jesus. Can you shout his love? Write a new story about my life. In the name of Jesus. Write a new story about my life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Open your mouth and praise again. Write a new story about my life. In Jesus' name we pray. For the third time, open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' name we pray. So I recover all my blessings in Jesus name we pray Father we thank you Lord continue to lay your hands upon us open our understanding tonight in Jesus mighty name we pray bless our seed God bless you tonight is the conclusion of the program I plug my head into the socket of divine blessings. And we have covered various aspects. How to set our heads free. You need to listen carefully to me tonight. So that when the time comes to pray, you know how to pray very well. You pray very well from your heart and with everything that is in you. When that time comes. Thank you, Jesus. Evil hands on innocent heads evil hands on innocent heads 
even hands on innocent heads. Please listen carefully to this message. In Genesis chapter 48, we read some mysterious verses. Genesis 48, we read some mysterious verses. Genesis 48, I read from verse 8. If you are there, say yes. Everybody in Genesis 48, 8. Because I see someone here tonight. The place they say you will never get to. You will get there by fire. The house they say you will not live in. You will live inside by fire. The honor they say you will never have. You will have it by fire. Genesis 48 verse 8. And Israel beheld Joseph's son, that is Jacob, and said, Who are these? And Joseph said unto his father, They are my sons, whom God had given me in this place. And he said, Bring them, I pray thee unto me, I will bless them. Listen to verse 10. Now the eyes of Israel were dim for age. So that he could not see. He could not even see those children. Because his eyes were dim for age. But his prophetic eyes were sharp. And he brought them unto him. And he kissed them. And embraced them. May heaven embrace you. In Jesus name. And Israel said unto Joseph. Not thought to see thy face. And though God had showed me also thy seed. And Joseph brought them out from between his knees, and they bowed himself with his face to the earth. And Joseph took them both, a frame in his right hand, towards Israel's left hand, and Manasseh in his left hand, towards Israel's right hand. He positioned the elder on the right, positioned the junior on the left, believing the man would just lay his hands like this. And Israel stretched out his right hand and laid it upon the frame who was younger and his left hand upon Manasseh said guiding his hands wittingly for Manasseh was the firstborn and he blessed Joseph and said God before whom my father Abraham and Isaac did walk the God which fed me all my life long after this day the angel which redeemed me from all evil bless these lads and let my name be named on them and the name of my father, Abraham and Isaac. This is what you call generational blessing. He was invoking the blessing of Abraham, the blessing of Isaac, and his own blessing that the angel blessed him, is now provoking that blessing and imparting them upon those children. Generational blessing. Generational virtue. Generational benefits, generational virtues it was transferring into their lives by laying hands on them. And let them grow into a multitude in the midst of the earth. And when Jesus saw that his father laid his right hand upon the head of Ephraim, it displeased him. And he held up his father's hand to remove him from Ephraim's head unto Manasseh's head. And Joseph said unto his father, No, so my father. But this is the firstborn, put the right hand upon his head. And his father refused and said, I know it, my son. I know it. He crossed his hands like this. And Joseph was the father of those children. And when he saw the cross, he protested. He said, Not so, my father. This is the senior one. Not so, my father. I prophesy upon the life of somebody else. Every part that is saying not so to your blessings. Let them scatter now in the name of Jesus. Let them scatter now in the name of Jesus. Let them scatter now in the name of Jesus. Let them scatter now in the name of Jesus. Listen carefully. Jacob was a man that received blessing after warring with the angel. Isaac, his father, was a child of blessing. Abraham, their father, was a 
was a father of blessings. So this man carried, the man Jacob carried a, a generational anointing and laid hands on those children upon their heads. Likewise, just as Jacob transferred virtues, transferred good things, transferred generational blessings, the blessing of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob upon those children. Evil parents, demonic ancestors, wicked ancestors, wicked parents also transfer wickedness, evil, sickness, frustration upon their children by laying hands upon them. And the power on the right hand, according to this scripture, is different from the one in the left hand. It's greater. Herein lies the problem that many of our forefathers did not serve the Lord, they served the devil actively. Many too have gone to places where nobody should touch them at all, but they allowed the evil men to lay hands on their head. There was a woman that went to the marketplace. She was buying things. But she noticed that she noticed that somebody was playing with the baby at her back. When she would look, she found that the hand of the man was on the head of the child. So I went, Why if you want to play with the child, play with the child, why are you laying hands on the head? But it was too late. The fellow who had satanic eyes had been able to see the glory on that child and has cleared it off by laying hands on the head. That was many, many years ago. Later, the man who collected the blessings, the glory of this child, got born again. He comes to church, he rejoices, he does praise worship, he joins in the services. He was always the best dancer around, but one day he came to the service and he was down. He wasn't dancing, he wasn't singing, he was very sad. And the pastor noticed. Pastor, brother, what's wrong with you today? You're always very happy. I said, Pastor, I saw a boy sleeping under the bridge. And I know that it was the boy that I laid hands so many years ago to collect his glory. And that what that boy is suffering now was because of what he did. Therefore, I am decreeing from this pulpit that every conscious and unconscious laying on of evil hands on the head of anyone here or connected to this program be cleared away by the blood of Jesus. Be cleared away. 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 In the name of Jesus. A seven for the man. Sit for a little bit. The head. Is above the body. In the head, we find the beginning of senses and motions. The head, the topmost part of the body. The head is where the symbol of power, authority, and honor are displayed. The head is the habitation of your glory. Crowns are always placed on the head. The Bible says Adam was crowned with glory and honor. The head is a center of communication. It is a faculty of reasoning. All the sense faculties are inside the head. The brain is also inside that head. It's the brain that tells you what to do and what not to do. The eyes that enables you to see is in the head. The nose which enables you to smell is in the head. The air which allows you to hear is in the head. The mouth which is the point of entry of food is in the head. So without that head, parts of the body cannot function. Every part of the body is connected to the head. And like I told you before, when you want to get visa, you want to get a passport, they are only interested in your head. It's that picture that interests them. Because you can change any other thing in your body, but you cannot change that head. If you want to know what is going on in your body, you cannot, it is through the head. And that head, when an evil man laid hands on it and imparts evil thing upon that head, it swallows it. 
transfers it through the body and escorts the person through life. Some people will suffer from the cradle to the grave because evil hands have been laid upon them. When people lay hands on the head, it's a way of connecting the message with the messenger. It's a way of connecting the gift with the gift giver. The blessings of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob was transmitted through the right hand of Jacob to the head of that child. And those of you who are Bible readers, you know that hands are laid in the Bible on the head for physical healing to the verse is true. Hands can be laid on the person for sickness to enter into the life of the person. I had a friend, an evangelist, who laid hands on the woman to pray. As he lays hands on that woman, she noticed that something was crawling through the head into his hands. And the thing entered his hands. And the thing began to go towards his heart. Meanwhile, the woman, she... He... Amen. I want you to all actively connect to everything we're doing here. Sing your songs from the heart. Sing your songs violently. The Lord is going to start a series of miracles and signs and wonders now. <laughs> Depending on how you sing the following songs, the first series of signs and wonders will begin to happen as we are singing these songs. As we are singing, miracles that will shock doctors and shock your friends will begin to happen. <laughs> as we are singing, the power of God will begin to resolve long-term problems. As we are singing, the power of God will begin to bury every affliction. Make sure that you sing from your heart. Make sure nobody's voice is louder than yours. All power, all power belong to God. All power, all power, all power, all power. All power, 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 There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood of Jesus. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood of Jesus. Who can battle with the Lord? Who can battle with the Lord? Who can battle with the Lord? I say nobody. Who can battle with the Lord? Who can battle with the Lord? Who can battle with the Lord? Who can battle nobody? Who can battle with the Lord? I say nobody.
I said nobody. I said nobody. Thank you, Jesus. Things are happening now, beloved. Thank you, Jesus. Can you shout this loud and clear? Make sure that nobody's voice is louder than yours. Say, powers of the night attacking my breakthrough in the day. Can you shout this loud? Your voice is not loud enough. You are a liar. Damn. In the name of Jesus, the powers of the night attacking my breakthrough in the day. Deal with that power now. Masika tendeke abo shende raba. Jesus name we pray now with a violent voice pray this with all the strength that you have pray it with all the power that is in you pray it with the spirit of expectation there is no way we have prayed those prayers and men and women did not experience the supernatural touch of the angels of God can you shout this loud and clear shout it at the top of your voice positive angel bombard my life with blessings as a prayer can i hear everybody shouting that can your voice be a bit louder than that in the name of jesus Open your mouth and begin to ask for the ministration. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus name we pray Something is about to happen now All eyes closed Please don't let the voice of the next person be louder than yours in this second prayer Angels of my blessing Angels of my prosperity Angels of my deliverance can you shout that loud and clear? Let your voice be louder. Appear in the name of Jesus. Somebody is breaking through over there. Makate setela kaya bo shende raba. Ribo soponda kenta. Bakate nde kaya bo shente raba Santa. Ribo koponda kaya bo ko shente raba kapola baraba. Aha, 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 aha. then we pray now we have arrived at a critical point if you like say my business if you like say my family if you like say my career but you must put put something inside put something inside put it inside and do it aggressively 
If it's your business, you will say this. Multi-purpose angels. Arise! Visit my business. If it's family, say family. If it's your children, children. If it's your career, say career. But something must happen. Something has to happen. Can I hear you shouting this loud? Shout it again! In the name of Jesus! Jesus name we pray we're making fantastic progress the Bible says an angel appeared at the tomb of Jesus he rolled the stone away and he now sat on that stone and said if they burn your father well come and put it back that's why he sat on that stone say let me see the person who replace the stone you will shout this loud and clear Angels of fire, roll away the stone of problem in the name of Jesus. Command them to roll it away. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Begin to activate. The angels of the living God, activate them, activate them. Aha, aha. In Jesus' name we pray. If you are afraid, don't pray this next one. Don't pray this next one. Warfare, angel! Pass through my family. Disgrace witchcraft in the name of Jesus. Jesus. name we pray now with a violence that nobody around you can match that no one around you can match say danger killing angels appear in my life can I hear the sister saying it I want the sisters to shout it louder than that Brothers, let your voice roar like thunder. Everybody together now. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Angels that kill danger. Aha! In Jesus' name we pray. Every witch doctor divining against me, 
receive angelic slap can I hear you say that one in the name of Jesus open your mouth and begin to pray that prayer and I receive an angelic slap in Jesus name we pray angels of favor I am here locate me open your mouth and declare the angels of favor thank you Jesus in Jesus name we pray a louder amen stretch your right hand towards this altar here and as I pray now father in the name of Jesus let your amen be loud and clear father in the name of Jesus let the hands that are stretched towards this altar now carry uncommon fire carry uncommon anointing carry uncommon breakthrough Masika Pota Lika Ribo Senda Ribo Sependeka Ladies and carry the electric current of the Holy Ghost In the name of Jesus It is written These signs shall follow them that believe In my name they shall cast out devils They shall lay their hands on the sick and the sick shall recover Let the power of healing The power of deliverance fall upon those hands now in the name of Jesus let your amen be loud lay the hand on your head and keep it there don't say anything from the lane of that hand the current of God's power begin to move through your body that's right the rope around your waist that's sister Look at what is happening. The rope is on fire. The arrow fired into your chest. Look at what is happening now. As a result of that hand you are laying on your head, the arrow is going out. Keep that hand on your head. Angels that will move my life forward. Appear in the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray with a loud voice and let nobody's voice be louder than yours as you pray this prayer powers baking the bread of affliction for me can I hear you saying that as I said my Say it with a loud cry. Then you are going to shout threefold, die, die, die on it. Powers! Breaking the bread of affliction for me. Die, die, die! In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and deal with that power. Jesus, 
Jesus, Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Now with a loud voice, you will say, evil progress in my life. Make your voice to be loud. Expire! In the name of Jesus. Command evil progress to expire. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Can you shout this loud and clear? Power to pursue, power to overtake, power to recover. Can you say that loud and clear? Can you let your voice draw like thunder? Can you shout it again a third time? Come upon my life now! In the name of Jesus! Jesus. 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 My party are like a tender rubber. Jesus. Shout it loud. Hallelujah. Let's rise up on our feet, please. As we close our eyes and sing this song loud and clear. Oh, God, do it again, again, do it again in my life. Ah, oh, surely. Goodness that must shall follow us all the days of our life. I go forth in the name of the Lord of hosts, for he has conquered every foe. By his name, by his name, I will declare that he is Lord. I will believe. I'm not afraid, I will arise and go forth in his name. One more time, I will arise and go. I will arise. For he has conquered every foe by his name. By his name, I will declare that he is Lord. I will believe, 
I'm not afraid, I will arise and go far in his name. Let's raise up our two hands to the Lord and close our eyes as we sing loud and clear. Let the living walk let the Holy Spirit come and take control of every situation that has Jesus and sing to the Father. Father. Blessed Holy Spirit, I was loved Jesus. Hallelujah. What is loving bodies? Hallelujah. We are in to shout it out of God. Hallelujah. Coming upon you as you sing this song. of righteousness but by his grace alone it's not by works of righteousness but by his grace alone it's not by works of righteousness but by his grace alone oh i am complete in him oh it's complete oh. hallelujah complete 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 in Hallelujah. 
run, 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 run. Send that fire, the Holy Ghost fire. Send the fire again, the Holy Ghost fire. Oh, send the fire. Send the fire again, the Holy Ghost. Oh, send the fire. Send the fire. Oh, send the fire. Send the fire again. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. The fullness of thy God and bodily dwelleth in the Lord. The fullness of thy God and bodily dwelleth in the Lord. The fullness of thy God and bodily dwelleth in the Lord. Oh, I am complete in him. Well, it's complete. Oh. Hallelujah. Complete, complete, complete. In the Hallelujah. Run, 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 run. There is no mountain that I can climb for Jesus. Comes it all. There is no mountain that I can climb for. Jesus climbs it all. There is no mountain that I can climb for. Jesus climbs it all. Oh, I am complete in Him. Oh, it's complete. Hallelujah. Complete, complete, complete. In him, hallelujah. Complete in him. Shout a loud hallelujah. Shout a louder hallelujah. Shout this loud and clear. Every power. Swallow my virtues. Vomit them by fire in the name of Jesus. Let them vomit any virtue swallowed. Pierica Saponde Cantia Naribo Sapola Kayabo Shentera Bakayaba in Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you for a wonderful morning like this. We give you praise for what you have already started to do in the midst. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. This morning, open our understanding. Lay your hands upon us. Give us uncommon victory. Uncommon testimony. Uncommon breakthroughs. Uncommon success. In the name of Jesus. As many people as I gathered here this morning, and they have been wondering, when will my deliverance come? Right there where you are, receive your deliverance. 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 In the name of Jesus. As many people as I hear this morning too, and the enemy has boxed you to a corner. Right there where you are now, by the power and the blood of Jesus, pursue your pursuers. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's have a seat. God bless you. As we take our Bibles and open to the book of Revelation, chapter 3. And this morning, for a few minutes before we go on to our prayers, we are speaking to you on the open door that no man can shut the open door that no man can shut revelation chapter 3 i read from verse 7 sisters what did i say we're going to talk about brothers revelation chapter 3 verse 7 Revelation chapter 3 verse 7. Revelation chapter 3 verse 7. 
And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia, write, This thing saith he that is holy, he that is true, he that hath the key of David, he that openeth, and no man shutteth, and shutteth, and no man openeth. I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door. Say, God has set before me an open door. And no man can shut it. So for thou hast a little strength, but hast kept my word and hast not denied my name. The open door that no man can shut. Let me remind you a story I told you many years ago. There used to be this very, very fearful believer. Very, very fearful. So fearful that every night before he went to bed, he read at least seven psalms. Very fearful. The, this believer is very, very fearful. Seven psalms every night before we sleep. And anytime he does not read those psalms, he does not pray very hard. He had terrible dreams. This believer was so fearful that every little thing that went wrong in his life, even if his shoes fell off, it was the fault of wizards, witches, sacrifices, juju, magic, voodoo. Anything that happened to him. That man was what you can call a Christian crab. A spiritual crab. You know, you can keep a crab hungry for a whole day. If you just sit around and immediately the crab comes out of the hole, you just wave your hand. So just sitting and waving your hand is enough to drive the, the crab away. Immediately you wave your hand, the crab staggers like a drunken man back into the hole. That man was what you can call a spiritual crab. There are many Christians like they are crab Christians. The crab is not a very popular animal for taking risks. It doesn't take any risk. So there are many brother and sister crabs here this morning who needs to be delivered this man has never liked his mother-in-law because this mother-in-law had very big eyes and very flat feet so because of that he believed that the woman was a witch a crab christian i pray that the lord will deliver such people today in the name of jesus but one day the lord did something to cure this man forever from this situation the Lord took the man to a witchcraft meeting so that he can watch and listen to the proceedings. So after reading the psalm one night and praying prayers, all of a sudden he found himself beside an Iroko tree. And there was an angel in white garment by his side. And the angel said, we must attend a meeting. He said, where? The angel said, inside this tree. He said, in this place? The angel said, yes. He said, what kind of meeting? The angel said, the meeting of all the witches and the wizards in this area. The man said, ah, I can't go. The angel said, my instruction is to take you there and stand by your side. And as I'm going to take you there now, there are only two regulations. Don't move and don't talk. So they entered the tree. And there was, contrary to what he thought, there was a big meeting place inside the tree. And the people, the witches were arriving for the meeting. The first witch arrived. It was the most beautiful girl in the whole area. The man got very worried because he had thought that all witches were ugly. Then the second and third witch, uh, witches, they arrived. And to his own amazement, the second and third witches were his former girlfriends before he got born again. He got more worried. Later, the chairman came in. He did not recognize that one. Later, the assistant chairman came in. He recognized that one. That was a prophetess in his former church who had laid hands on his head several times. He wanted to cry, but he remembered what the angel told him. Then many people began to come, began to come. All of a sudden, too, he saw the mother-in-law. He said, huh? I know. I know. I always know that this one is unclean. She's in trouble when I get back. Suddenly, the next person came in. It was his own mother. Say, yeah, my mind's one of them. Then just said, Shut up. Then the meeting started. They began to talk what they were going to do, the destructions they were going to carry out. They began to talk. He began to listen to them. Then the, these witches began to discuss about Christians. 
then they add these witches themselves saying that if the Christians realize how much harm they could do to evil powers they will have finished all of them and that, they are, that one of their strategies is to keep the Christians from realizing the power they have and that one way they can do that easily is by caging their mind then they say that we know that God has opened doors for them that we cannot close that door but we can prevent them from entering and then the meeting closed the brother was amazed then he understood certain things that he ought to have understood as a Christian that the door of blessing that God has opened to his people cannot be closed by the enemies what they can do is to prevent you from going inside look at 1st Corinthians chapter 16 1st Corinthians chapter 16 verse 9 this is a strange statement coming from Paul the Apostle 1st Corinthians chapter 16 verse 9 1st Corinthians 16 9 says for a great door and effectual is open unto me and there are many adversaries for a great door and effectual is open unto me but <laughs> there are many adversaries what is the agenda of the adversaries to keep the believers from going inside they cannot shut the door because the bible says when he open it no man can shut down but they can only prevent you from moving in can you close your eyes where you are now shout this louder than anyone here enemies located at the door of my breakthroughs is that the loudest you can say this morning there is somebody that needs to shout this loud and clear clear away in the name of jesus enemies located at the door of my breakfast today is the day they must clear away no potas upon the candy ribos upon the kayabo shantayaba in jesus name we pray a great door and effectual is open unto me and there are many adversaries god has set before you an open door no man can shut it because once god opens no man can shut when he shuts no man can open that is the message he asked me to pass across to you this morning now what are you going to do with this opportunity as children of god we are entitled to the best in your business in your marriage god has set before you an open door i ask you this morning what will you do if you know that you could not fail what could you do if you realize that the door you have been waiting for has been opened you should do what is in psalm 118 verse 19 you should do what is in psalm 118 verse 19 psalm 118 verse 19 says open to me the gates of righteousness i will go into them and i will praise the lord i will go into them and i will praise the lord there will always be obstacles that the devil may present to you the obstacle may even be termination in your place of work maybe lack of capital maybe lack of education maybe inferiority complex it may be continuous business failure it may be bad health it may be poor family background the obstacles will always be there if the obstacles are not there it is unlikely that it's god that opened that door but once that door is opened by the almighty there will be many adversaries the idea is to hold you down and say no you can't enter into this place that's why they said the, the road with the least resistance will lead you nowhere you as in this morning what you should do is to arise and cancel those obstacles in the name of jesus and i'm telling you this now which i, you know, I think you should, you should understand it very well your greatest hindrance as a believer is not witches and wizards but you you yourself you are the greatest hindrance to what god wants to do in your life you say how 
is through your thoughts and imagination. Your thoughts are the regular things that crosses your mind. That which you meditate or think about. Those thoughts may not stay in your heart long enough, but they, they use it as a farmland. The second one is your imagination. That is the picture of things that come up in your mind. So your thoughts are the regular things that are crossing your mind. Your imaginations are the picture, the picture that mind is painting. More than any other enemy that pulls people down. Those are your thoughts and your imaginations are the first class ones. The greatest enemy that will hold you from entering the door open to you by God is your thoughts and your imaginations. Herein lies the greatest problem of most believers. Here we need what you call heart surgery. A spiritual heart surgery. Many of us need to be completely delivered from the kind of thoughts that are crossing our minds. Thoughts and, Im and imagination are so strong that the Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, he said, don't we walk in the flesh? He said, we do not walk after the flesh. He said, but the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty true God, casting down every imagination and every item that exhausts itself against the knowledge of God. And then putting into captivity all thoughts to the obedience of Christ. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 4. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 4. So for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. But mighty true God to the pulling down of strongholds. Casting down imaginations. And every eye thing that exhausts itself against the knowledge of God. And bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. So imaginations are so serious that what you need to do to them is to cast down the ones that are bad. Thoughts are so powerful that what you need to do to them is to bring into captivity every one, every thought that is against your life. The Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. That's what you find in Proverbs 23, 7. The whole creation is a product of thought. The idea of creating the earth was conceived in God's mind and planned out in his imagination. So your thoughts have the power to create for you the things you think. Unfortunately, most of the thoughts of human beings, they are soaked in fear, unbelief, and worry. And so very few people run through the day without bad thoughts. Your thoughts are the forces you send out to work on your behalf. Once you begin to fear that something bad will happen to you, something bad will happen to you, you are already creating it. And it will happen unless you stop. If you send out the thoughts of victory, you get victory. You send out the thoughts of success, you get success. If you think failure, you are failure. Fear is the wrong use of our imagination. And these thoughts now shape our lives. So the enemies that does not want a man to enter into the door already opened by God will start the attack from his mind. And if they defeat you at that thought level, then they move to your imagination. And once they defeat you in that one too, the person is unable to enter the door opened by the Lord. For example, the devil shouts a thought into the mind of somebody. Say, hey, look at you now. You are owing six months rent. The landlord will throw you out. That is a thought. If you don't deal with it at that level, if you don't throw it out, then the imagination will follow. Then you begin to picture your load scattered all over the street. You begin to imagine people laughing at you across the street. You begin to see your children crying. That is the imagination. Somebody is already taking an examination. And maybe he didn't do too well there. And the thought crosses his mind that he might fail. If he doesn't stop it at that level, very soon the imagination will take over. He will see himself at the examination notice board and reading FF at the front of his name and he will find himself crying. A lady wakes up in the morning. She felt a little pain in one of her breasts. And the, truck, the thought crosses her mind. Ah, cancer of the breast. If she doesn't arrest it at that level, very soon it will become an imagination. And she begins to imagine the breast being cut off. She will begin to imagine that she will die. Therefore, these thoughts and imagination are the greatest weapon of the adversary to arrest and to bring us under subjection. If you are always imagining failure, poverty, and frustration and disease, you are always thinking about calamity, setback, sorrow, accident, and afflictions, no matter the beautiful open door the Lord has given to you, those will prevent you from getting in. That's why when you arrest the thought 
and arrest the imagination, actions will not follow. So when you see us begin to pray here, let the imagination of the enemy begin to fail. It is the imagination that sponsors action. That's why we arrest the imagination. So I've said before there an open door that no man can shut. He said a great door and effectual is open unto me. But there are many adversaries. Your mind is a farmland. The thoughts you are thinking, they are the seeds that you sow. You cannot be thinking in terms of failure and then hope to succeed. You cannot be thinking about weakness and then you say you, be, you want to be strong. I visited an old man one day in his house and I found that he had a whole big shelf of books on asthma, asthma, everything, books on asthma, almost 200 books on asthma. I said, Daddy, why do you have, why do you have a whole shelf of books on asthma? I said, he used to have asthma attack and he's, he wants to read up everything about it. Eventually, it was the same asthma that killed him. When you begin to think fear, you cannot be courageous. It begins to think doubt, you cannot have faith. So the greatest prison you had really, is not those witches, wizards, and all those things. It's you, yourself, your thoughts, and your imaginations. Like that brother learned, even the witches and wizards were afraid of what he could do if he knew what to do. Your body may be caged, but your mind should not be caged. And our lives now is a product of all our thoughts of yesterday. You become what you allow yourself to think. And the ancestor of every action we carry out is a thought. So when you have clear and good thinking, the Lord uses it to move your life forward. Unfortunately, if our thoughts were written in a book and displayed, and everyone could take a look, many of us will not be proud of ourselves at all. Local thinking will keep you local. Restricted thinking will keep you restricted. So what you think greatly determines what you become. And therefore, what are we going to do about this kind of thing? The first thing to do is to censor what enters into your mind. Be the immigration officer at the door of your heart. Disband some thoughts before they have time to gain entrance. Two, concentrate on scriptures. Soak yourself in the word of God. Memorize your Bible. Three. Capture every bad thought and every imagination. Capture them. Don't allow them to cage you. And then replace them. Finally, replace them with the thoughts of the things of God. Like he said in Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. Philippians 4, 8. So finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these. Replace every evil thought with the thoughts of good. Throw evil thoughts out of your mind. Don't allow the birds of darkness, the birds of evil thoughts and imagination will take control of your heart. Don't imagine evil things against your own life. So the greatest weapon of the enemy is using us against ourselves. This morning we are here to do some prayers. Let's take our fasting booklet now. Let's take our fasting booklet now. All in the power of Jesus' name, let angels prostrate for bring forth the royal there, there and crown him Lord of all. All in the power of Jesus, and let's sing. All in. Jesus, my Lord, do me and release forever with. Shout it loud and clear!
Who art thou great? Before who? Before Daniel Lukoya. Thou shalt become a aha. Now listen. This morning we're just we're not just inside the service. We're here for a spiritual operation. The enemies might have been roaming around you for a while. We want to issue divine judgments against all powers that have refused to let God's children go. The Lord had to deal with Pharaoh and his forces in order to let his children go. The Lord had to send earthquake in the prison yard in order to release Paul and Silas. The Lord had to send down fire to destroy those who are asking prophet Elijah to come down. It is not in vain, the Bible says, the Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Meaning that God is not a civilian. He's a military person. Get yourself ready this morning. As we begin to pray here this morning, the mystery of closed doors shall give way. Not only this, there are people that have been put down all their days. The Lord will pull them up from the old. Not only that, there are those who have been ordained unto death. The power of God will set them free. Say this loud and clear. Father, I thank you for my victory here this morning. Begin to thank him first like that. Thank him from the bottom of your heart. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's have a seat for one minute or so. Exodus chapter 8 from verse 16. And the Lord said unto Moses, Say unto Aaron, Stretch out thy rod, and smite the dust of the land, that he may become lies throughout all the land of Egypt. And they did so, for Aaron stretched out his hand with his rod, and smote the dust of the earth, and became lies a man in beast, and all the dust of the land became lies throughout all the land of Egypt. In order to fight the Egyptians, Moses had to smite the dust with his rod. Meaning that the dust can carry positive and negative messages. Exodus chapter 9, verse 8. Exodus 9, 8. And the Lord said unto Moses and unto Aaron, Take to you answers of ashes of the furnace, and let Moses sprinkle it towards the heaven in the south of Pharaoh. And it shall become small dust in the land of Egypt. And it shall be a boil breaking forth with blains upon man and upon beast throughout the land of Egypt. Again, the weapon, this weapon of the dust is used. The sand you are bringing today, after prayer on that sand or whatever you use to represent your house, you go and drop it back into that compound. So what you to do now is to build a shield of protection around the house where you live. It will become like an envelope of fire, envelope your habitation. If you have a visitor coming to visit you and that visitor is possessed, his demon will come out of him and wait for him outside. It will not enter into your habitation. Then any thief or anybody that calls himself fire that's a sin or whatever that ventures to move close shall be electrocuted by the power of God. Not only that one, any flying evil power beginning from today your habitation becomes a no-go area because if they venture to move close the same dust will rise up like the dust of moses and become boils upon their bodies therefore you have to understand that this is a very serious affair we want to carry out here today and you must put the whole of your heart in it if a power is against your life and has made the place you live or your place of business the habitation to confront you. As long as that fellow, the man or the woman is made of dust, the dust will catch him. 
And as long as he will return to the dust, when he dies, the dust will still catch him. And as long as the person's feet is still touching the ground, the dust will catch the person. If you have a business that has you prospering, by the time you drop this dust there, all the chain of poverty around that business shall be broken. Even if you do have a business that is prospering, but you want it to go from increase to explosion, when the dust lands there, there will be an amazing explosion. Glory be to the name of Jesus. Rise up on your feet now. We are going to pray these seven prayers before I ask you to bring out this dust from your place or whatever you are going to use to represent it. These seven prayers should be prayed without any apology to any power. You know when the end of the year is coming like this, the devil becomes very desperate. He wants to settle his account for the year. Whatever tragedy has been programmed into this year shall not be your lot in the name of Jesus. This is a very, very serious matter. The power of God can enter into inanimate objects. The power of God can enter into water, can enter into handkerchief, it can enter into a mantle, it can enter into an apron, it can enter into inanimate objects. That's the operation we're going to carry out very soon. Meanwhile, close your eyes and shout this louder than anyone around you. Powers of the grave. Assigned to cut me off. Can I hear the sisters shouting this loud and clear? Is that the loudest the sisters can say? Brothers, shout it loud and clear. In the name of Jesus. Deal with those powers assigned to cut you off. Put a satin de candia. Naribo sapon de kayabo shentelaba. This is not a day to negotiate. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Not a day to negotiate. This is a day for victory. A day for great deliverance. Aha, 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 aha. Jesus name we pray I say sister here you you have physical hands but in the spirit realm there are no hands this is why nothing is working for you right there where you are things like small small hands hands they are running out of your hands now and your correct hand is being restored that's right that's right I see someone inside a mortar. They are pounding that person. You came here with these terrible headaches. The doctors have called it high blood pressure, but it's not. You are being pounded. Right there where you are. The mortar and the pestle are backfired on the pounder. And you are set for immediately. Yes. As the person over there. Shout this again loud and clear. Please don't allow anybody's voice to overshadow you. Termina diseases hear the word of the Lord yeah! in the name of Jesus that's right speak against them masika poya bo shendera bo konta la ria bo katande santia bo nakatera bo shendera bo koraba Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Sisters, say this loud and clear. The enemy shall not drag me on the ground. Sisters, can you say that again loud and clear? Brothers, shout the same thing loud and clear. Can everybody shout it loud and clear? In the name of Jesus. Yes.
They shall not drag me on the ground. In Jesus' name we pray. This is number four. Arrows of native doctors. Assigned against my life. I say, sister, I need to pray this very well. I need to pray it very well. Look at all these strange women going to native doctors because of you. Can I hear you shouting this loud and clear? Backfire! In the name of Jesus! That's right. Marabo Sandi Kapola Kaya Boshenta. Kotopo Sopola Kaya Boshenta Rabo Contenda Kaya Ba. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Jesus name we pray let me congratulate somebody here there's something you have been seeking for for years for years this week you shall possess it thank you Jesus let me congratulate another person this person has been crying practically every week that point of cry has now become a testimony. Yeah. Say so every power, yeah. gather to celebrate my defeat. Yeah. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Scatter them. Scatter them in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. You will now say this louder than anyone here. The more you want it to happen to you. Oh God, our eyes! And boast with my life. Can you shout this loud and clear? In the name of Jesus! Sakaya bo shende rabo konta, la sante kaya bo shente rabasa. Aha, boss with my life. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, my Father, advertise your power in my life. In the name of Jesus, that's right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Bring out your sample of sand now. And you're going to make this serious pronouncements after me serious pronouncement after me please when you close from this service and you finish with your group meetings don't roam from the house of one friend to the other go home straight and pour this thing there after you've poured it there you can go out and see your friend if you want to close your eyes now and say what i'm going to say after me say my father, my father. i present this sand before you let the Holy Ghost overshadow it. Let every particle of this sand become the extension of your power. Lose your angels all over the land of my habitation. I soak this sand. 
in the blood of Jesus. You son, hear the word of the Lord. You will destroy every demand of darkness upon my habitation. Let the heavenly law enforcement agents begin to pull down and scatter and cast out every stronghold upon the land of my habitation. Every former spiritual inhabitant, all the former landlord spirits, hear the word of the Lord. By anointing with this sand, I terminate your evil tenancy. In the name of Jesus. By the anointing of this sand, every strength of darkness upon my habitation evaporates by fire. In the name of Jesus, by anointing with this sand, let every blood sacrifice upon my land, contrary to the will of God, be cancelled. By anointing with this sand, I cancel every satanic priesthood that is walking upon my land. Oh, sand here now. Become fire to deal with witches and wizards upon the land. Become an instrument to destroy the abilities of wicked men and women. If there is the gate of evil upon my land, you son destroy them. I agree with the word of the Lord that joy shall be in my habitation. Sorrow shall not enter my home. I therefore revoke by fire every negative influence, every negative control upon the land of my habitation. In the name of Jesus, let this sun become a magnet of prosperity. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to pray now. Let your amen be dynamic. Father, in the name of Jesus. As commanded by you, we have brought this sand or whatever represents our habitation. Beginning from now, let this sand become sanctified. In the name of the Father, the name of the Son, the name of the Holy Spirit. As you enter back into our land, bring victory, bring deliverance, bring judgment upon the enemy. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Stretch the sand up and shout, Seven Goliath destroying, Hallelujah. Now pick a song of praises in your mouth and sing it loud and clear to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. Shout hallelujah! If you know that tonight is your night and that you will possess your possession, shout the loudest hallelujah.
thank you Jesus sing this song loud and clear to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords we give glory to the Lord he reigns we give glory to the Lord he reigns he reigns he reigns uh -huh. Walk. You have been in your walk. You have 
Eyes closed. Please don't say anything for now. Just keep your eyes closed where you are. As the angels of God are all over this place, you, the plantation of paralysis, you are a deposit from the coven. You cannot stay in that body anymore. You have made a tragic mistake by following this person here you the spirit of insanity hear the word of the lord you've made a great mistake to have followed this person here you the spirit of almost dear failure you made a huge mistake by following this person here you the spirit of cancer you have made another mistake by following anyone to this ground Right there where you are. Pack all your baggages. Everything that belongs to you. Begin to pack it away from this life over there. From that life over there. From this life over there. From that life over there. In that name which is above all names. Jesus Christ. The son of the living God. The swelling in the stomach. The heat in the head, the head feeling like busting, the heart feeling like busting. You can't stay there because the power of God is upon that person over there, and you have to lose your whole complete. Thank you, Jesus. Silence, beloved. Don't say anything for now. Father, I pull out from the well of darkness these 15 persons that have been put there for years struggling and struggling and struggling but not know where the problem is coming from let the first person receive the touch of your fire then the second person receive the touch of your fire number three number four number five number six number seven number eight number nine number ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen pulled out of the well of darkness listen to this beloved that wicked chain that has tied you down for years is broken now by the power of God in the name of Jesus the serpents and scorpions that trample upon your parents that are now trampled upon you they have been killed now in the name of Jesus. I have a word for somebody here. Every power that has padlocked your breakthrough. Yes. Every power that has padlocked your breakthrough. Shall release them by fire. Receive them now. 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 In the name of Jesus. You that you are flying in the sky of rejection and frustration, I command you to now fly to the firmament of dominion. In the name of Jesus. I have a word for somebody here. And also for somebody who can catch the overflow. I don't know who the word is for. It's for you and for anybody who can catch the overflow? The breakthrough you are going to start having now shall surpass every breakthrough of the past. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you for tonight. Lay your hands upon us by your power. Let there be no one who will come to this meeting 
and go home with a plastic experience. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's have a seat. God bless you. Say this to yourself if you believe it. The way I'm going to say my own. My nevertheless testimony. Can you say that and let me hear you? Let me hear the sisters shouting it. And the brothers. In Second Samuel chapter 5. Second Samuel chapter 5. From verse 6. Second Samuel chapter 5 from verse 6. And the king and his men went to Jerusalem unto the Jebusites, the inhabitants of the land, which spread unto David, saying, Except thou take away the blind and the lame, thou shalt not come in either. Thinking David cannot come in either. Nevertheless, David took the stronghold of Zion. The same is the city of David. In spite of all the threat of those who had Jerusalem, they told David that if the blind and the lame were to defend this city, you can't take it. Nevertheless, in spite of the protection around the place, in spite of their boasts, David took the city. In Luke chapter 5, from verse 4. Luke chapter 5, from verse 4. This message is for somebody here today. Luke chapter 5, from verse 4. Now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, Launch out your nets into the deep, and let down your nets for a drought. And Simon answering, said unto him, Master, we have toiled all the night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. What is the meaning of the word nevertheless? It is the word nevertheless is used after negative sentences. It is a word that marks the transition to a new thing. What is nevertheless? It means in spite of preceding events. It means regardless. It means in spite of that. It means notwithstanding. This means tonight for somebody here. That it means, it, it means no matter what has happened before. No matter what has happened before. No matter the past discouragement. No matter the negative background from which you are coming. No matter the past failures. No matter how terrible the symptoms of the infirmity have been in the past. No matter the human calculations. No matter the family background. No matter the seemingly impossibility. God is an expert at changing and rewriting history. So in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. All things were made by him. Without him was nothing made that was made. Because he is the creator. God is an expert at changing and rewriting family history. I prophesy upon the life of somebody at this meeting tonight. In spite of the fact that nobody in your family has made any impact. Right there where you are tonight. Receive power to change your family history. Receive the power. Receive the power. Receive the power. 
Receive the power. Receive the power. Receive the power. Receive the power. To change your family issue. Receive that power. Receive that power. Receive it in the name of Jesus. David was mocked that he could not take Jerusalem. Nevertheless, that same place became his international headquarters. His life disappointed his adversaries. Your life shall disappoint your enemies. In the name of Jesus. In the last half of this year, God shall write a nevertheless testimony in your history. It shall be said of somebody here that although born into poverty, nevertheless you have become stinkily rich. That although you have been disappointed and derided by men, nevertheless you became highly favored. That although you have been you are hated by your colleagues, nevertheless you became unbeatable. Although that marriage seems to be giving you stress, and they are even talking about divorce, nevertheless the Almighty shall restore everything. Although right now you are being attacked acidically by the enemy, nevertheless you will become the head and not the tail. Although you are here, some time ago you have attempted to even kill yourself, nevertheless you are going to the top now. Although they will say of you, you never went to any university. Nevertheless, you are employing graduates now. It shall be said that although you've been hunted down by witches and wizards, nevertheless, you became what they say you will not become. You were in great debt before. Nevertheless, now you are going to lend to many. Look at Peter in the Bible. Peter betrayed Jesus before. Nevertheless, he was mightily used by God. Joseph was sold into slavery. Nevertheless, he became a prime minister. They have hated you without cause. You are hearing me very well. They hated you without cause. Nevertheless, your God shall promote you above them. You have been through the rage of the storm. Nevertheless, your story has changed. I decree upon your life that your nevertheless testimony must appear. 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 In the name of Jesus, a sun will fall them out. My testimony will not die. My testimony will not be stolen. My testimony will not be captured. My testimony will not be buried. My testimony will not be exchanged. My testimony will not be manipulated. My testimony will not be swallowed. My testimony will not be killed. My testimony will not be wasted. My testimony will not be destroyed. My testimony will not be fragmented. My testimony will not be messed up. My testimony will not be dismembered. My testimony will not be embargoed. In the name of Jesus. A seven fold amen. Testimony, where are you? Up here in the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to declare it.
Something is happening here. Papa Tasetaya, Nina Kaponde Kayabo Shenteraba. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the death. The blood of the Lamb, the word of their testimony two weapons that overcome but there's there's a problem the problem that there are certain elements called testimony assassins that's the problem now Gehazi will have been a mighty testimony he will have been the most powerful man in the old testament something hunted down his testimony and killed it in this program you have been coming to what the lord is saying is that this program is just warming up warming up warming up and that there are going to be testimonies here in these programs that will go all over the world that there are going to be testimonies here that when your enemy hears the testimony he will faint. There are going to be testimonies here that a lot of people have never, never had before. This is why it's good for you to listen before we continue to pray now. What the testimony assassins are. Number one testimony assassin is when you are not a friend of God. You come to church, you did not surrender your life to Jesus. You have no relationship with the Lord. If you have been coming to this program and you are not born again, you need to get born again so that you can become a candidate of uncommon testimonies. Number two as a sin is living a life that is not holy. Your life is unclean, dirty. Sin is a testimony destroyer. So you must live a holy life. The third assassin of testimony is neglect of the word of God. You don't listen very well to the word of God. You don't memorize the word of God. You are not interested in Bible studies. You are not interested in listening to the word of God. All you want is breakthrough, miracle, breakthrough, prosperity, miracle. That's all you are saying. But you don't want to listen to the word of God. It's a testimony assassin. Four disobedience to God's principles you disobey divine principles they say pay tight so that windows of heaven can be open you are not paying at all you are paying incorrectly they say false fruit offering you are not paying at all you are paying incorrectly normal offering you are not paying at all you are paying incorrectly that disobedience of divine principle is a testimony killer five grieving the holy spirit when you are grieving the holy spirit it's a testimony killer when the holy ghost says son do this you turn it down somebody is insulting you say son keep quiet but you disobey that voice you are speaking so when you grieve the holy spirit like that it's a testimony assassin six ignorance about spiritual warfare you do not watch you do not pray you do not know how to fight spiritual war you don't understand the principle of the widow in the bible who kept going to that judge with only one prayer point avenge me of my grasps avenge me of my grasps avenge me of my grasps the judge said we better answer this woman because she will weary us with her constant coming so they had to answer quickly. Not embarking on spiritual warfare. It's a serious matter. 
and may the Lord help us in Jesus name I was listening to a Nigerian preacher yesterday who said if they prepare food for you to eat in your dream sit down and eat it well and even ask them to give you more that the devil is too wicked to prepare food for anyone in the dream and there are many people there hailing what he was saying what that we do that you will eat that food and eat it very well by the time the repercussion will start the preacher was making the noise will be nowhere to be found to help you ignorance on spiritual warfare a testimony killer are you here in this manner program you are still wasting them you are wasting time dancing your dancing everything away on sunday instead of listening to the word of god and praying once you start studying in, in our church she danced they dance for two hours on sunday and I, she would dance and dance until her waist was paining her but after the dancing when she gets home the spirit husband said welcome and the attack will start seven wrong location it's a testimony assassin if you're on the wrong location you must be relocated and the wrong house wrong environment wrong business wrong church you cannot testify nor progress in the wrong place you need to think about it quickly that one too is a testimony assassin it sexual immorality is a testimony assassin the bible says flee from every appearance of evil i know many people whose testimonies disappear through immorality it is actually the quickest way to eliminate testimonies i had a teacher many years ago a private tutor this my tutor very intelligent but he drinks like no man's business terrible drinker one day as he was drinking and drinking and drinking, and drinking he became blind and he remained a blind man for a long time until somebody took him to a crusade at Tafa Balewa Square and prayer started there and the Lord in his usual manner began to move all of a sudden during the prayers there was a word of knowledge the word says there is a man here you are presently blind within the next two minutes you will open down those eyes and see me at the altar here but once the lord has opened your eyes make a covenant with your mouth you will no longer touch alcohol to you that he didn't even know that the word was for him all of a sudden the eyes pop open he was glad he jumped up he came out to give testimony everybody was happy he started his private tutor again started again then one day somebody selling palm wine was passing by so they said alcohol they didn't say palm wine so the man said alcohol he didn't say palm wine he called the palm wine seller drank the first glass no problem drank the second glass no problem drank the third glass then all of a sudden the hide made phew and became blind again instead of him to say father i have sinned forgive me you know what he said that these preachers are deceivers they are deceivers look at the eyes they open now he's blind again and he was making noise until his son who took him to the Square, square daddy did they not tell you that don't drink same way when somebody does what he's not supposed to do he will assassinate his own testimonies i know so many their testimonies disappeared through immorality they almost got the scholarship almost got the scholarship the day the embassy was to take a decision to give them the visa and everything she fell into the sin of fornication and everyone changed their mind and as they were looking at the document man said he was tired he would do it tomorrow by the next day instruction had come no more visa no more scholarship i'm praying for anyone here any power that wants to destroy your testimony shall die in the name of jesus
Number nine is illegal business. If you are doing a business that is illegal, that is wrong, it's a testimony assassin. Ten, laziness. Laziness is a testimony assassin. Laziness has assassinated so much destinies and so much testimonies. I'm praying for somebody today that the power that wants to kill your testimony shall be killed in the name of Jesus. 11. Disappearance of helpers. You need to pray to be connected to your ordained helpers. And if you are one of those people fighting your helpers, you need to go for deliverance. 12. The assassinator of testimony. His marital strife. Quarreling. Husband is fighting wife. Wife is fighting husband. The whole family is fighting. It is a testimony killer. 13. Bad company. To keep the company with evil people. It kills testimonies. You cannot bless whom God has cursed. So if you join your business with somebody whom God has cursed, there will be trouble. 14. Discouragement and distraction. So you must always encourage yourself in the Lord. Encourage yourself in the Lord. 15. Ingratitude. Ingratitude. When you forget the words of that ancient hymn writer, so when upon life's billows you are tempest tossed, when you are discouraged, thinking all is lost, so count your many blessings, name them one by one, then it will surprise you what the Lord has done. How many people know that song? Okay, those of us who know it will sing it. If you don't know it, you follow us as we sing. When upon life billows you are tempted, when you had this courage thinking all is lost, can't your many blessings name them one by one, and it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Can the blessings be one by one? Can the blessings be what God has done? Count your blessing, name them one by one, and it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Amen. We are complaining that I don't have a TV set, but some are complaining. I don't have eyes to watch anything. Ingratitude. A man wanted to commit suicide and he climbed a tall building and wanted to jump down. In that part of the country, that part of that part of that country is common that people try to commit suicide in that place. So the man was there. But there was a man below who was looking at him. He said, Brother, you want to jump? You want to kill yourself? He said, ah, it's okay, please. I, I can see that um, you still have a wristwatch. I said, I have never been able to afford one. Can you please remove it and throw it down before you jump? Then you have shoes on. I couldn't afford to buy shoes. Kindly pull off those shoes. Throw it down. When he had what the man was saying, throw shoes. Throw this watch. Something said to him, your case is not the worst. Get, get away from here. And he says, okay brother, thank you. I will try and survive. And he left the place. Ingratitude, part of the signs of the last days. 16. Procrastination. Wasting opportunities by procrastination is a very sad thing. There are people now, I'm still going to say it over and over again. Instead of them to go to prayer city, to be under the raw anointing, they will start looking for television, internet to watch prayer city. But the major reason MFM beams those things on satellite and internet is basically for unbelievers. So his colleagues are fasting and praying at Bright City. He has a bottle of Coke. 
in the sitting room. He's sipping it <laughs> while others are praying at present. May domestic witchcraft not destroy your life. Is is abuse of divine privilege because so God has given you, give you some comfort. There you are now. They are wasting opportunities. They waste opportunities, and it's very very sad. Seventeen deception. Anybody who is dishonest and you practice deception, you stop your own testimony. Eighteen lack of godly fear. Is a testimony killer. My team, unbelief that God can do anything, a testimony killer. And finally, using God as a more powerful fetish is a testimony killer. You just, you just think God is a stronger native doctor, so that's why you are going to church. And it's a very, very sad situation. Many big people in Nigeria, politicians and all, they take church as another fetish power. Another one. God cannot be mocked like that tonight. You can say that I took time to explain these things to you. Why? Because of what God said he wants to start doing. And I don't want you to miss out of those divine agenda. Rise to your feet now. And all eyes closed. We're going to pray some testimonies drawing prayers. We're going to pray prayers that draws down testimonies. And the instant testimony power of God will begin to flow from person to person. I want you to be very serious with the prayers. Are you here tonight? You are being tormented by strange forces. Are you here tonight? There is a network of darkness troubling your life. Are you here tonight as a controlling power pushing you from fire into smoke? Are you here tonight? The enemy seems to have blocked everything. These are the prayers from block it. All eyes closed. You will cry to the evilies with a voice that roars like fire and like thunder. This prayer will bring heaven onto your life. Can you say, Evils over my prosperity. Open my fire. In the name of Jesus. Evils over my prosperity. Open my fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Beginning from this next prayer, the power of God will now begin to move from person to person in you. Powers! Oh, style to my testimonies. Can I hear the sister shouting it? Brothers, can I hear you shouting loud? If you are here, you are a businessman, can you shout it loud? Everybody together now. Day! In the name of Jesus. Your time is up. Jesus, then we will pray. If you come here with any sickness in your body, lay your hands upon that sick partner and let your amen roar like thunder as I pray. Your testimony is about to manifest now. 
Father, in the name of Jesus. It is written that you yourself bore our infirmities and took away our sicknesses. The chastises of our pieces upon you, and by your stripes we are healed. You infirmity, hear the word of the Lord. You curse of infirmity, hear the word of the Lord. Lose your hold in the name of Jesus. I bind you and I cast you out in the name of Jesus. Lose your hold. 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 In the name of Jesus. Receive your healing now. In the name of Jesus. Let strength begin to enter into weak parts. Let clarity begin to enter into cloudy places. In the name of Jesus. Begin to check your body now. Check it very well. Do what you could not do before you got here. If you cannot walk, walk. If you cannot bend, bend. If you cannot see, see. If you cannot hear, hear. Every swelling in the body. Every plantation of darkness in the body. Lose your hood. 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 In the name of Jesus. Aha. Check your body very well. Check it very, very well. If the Lord has healed you, run quickly to this altar. Don't wait. Just run quickly to the altar. Don't let the enemy put the problems back. Run quickly to the altar. All eyes closed. He has broken all the fetters. He has broken all the fetters. He has broken all the feathers. He has set me free. I will sing hallelujah. I will sing hallelujah. I will sing Hallelujah He has set me free At His name all sickness is bad Demons tremble at the sound of that name it is not an ordinary name, it is the name that's full of heart and The name, the name of Jesus is greater and higher than all names. It is not an ordinary name. Stretch your right hand towards this altar. Makapota le karebosa. Rima pia le katende kea. Da sentende kea woshanta. Baride katende sa. Father, let your power fall upon this hands now. In the name of Jesus. Let the power of the God of Elijah fall upon his hands now. In the name of Jesus. Let his hand become the hands of healing. The hands of deliverance. The hands of power. The hands of strength. The hands of glory. In the name of Jesus. If you have any infirmity in any part of your body, no matter how painful it is, smite it 21 times. Shouting, go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Let's go. Amen. Check your body now. Do what you could not do before. Yes, do what you could not do before. And run quickly to the altar. Once the Lord has healed you, quickly, quickly. Yes, check your body. Yes, madam. The enemy has left. Yes, that plantation of darkness in your body has just vanished. Just find a way to the altar very quickly. That's right. Yes. Use that leg. 
is looking weak, but strength is there. Run quickly to this altar. Testimony drawing prayers. Can you pray this prayer without any apology? Don't let anybody's voice be louder than yours. Wicked powers! Ringing satanic bell with my name. Can you say that loud? Expire! In the name of Jesus. Wicked powers ringing satanic bells for my sake. Expire, 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 expire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. I someone in this gathering. You have an interview this week. I have a word to you from the Lord that as a result of you coming here tonight, the interview shall be a walkover. <laughs> Glory wasters <laughs> of my father's house, you are liar. Duh! In the name of Jesus. of my father's house you are liars Duh! in Jesus name we pray thank you Jesus bring out your manna water please and let your amen roar like fire and like thunder this is not an ordinary prayer. And after the prayer, that water is not an ordinary water. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we commit this water unto your holy hands. You are the water of life. Father, in your power as the water of life, enter into these waters in the name of Jesus. Let this water become the water of power, the water of deliverance, the water of strength, the water of glory, the water of fire, the water of breakthrough, the water of prosperity. As many as will have contact with this water, their lives will no longer remain the same in the name of Jesus. Let your power flow into it. Let your anointing flow into it. You water, hear the word of the Lord. Receive the anointing of breakthrough. Receive it. 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 Receive it, 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 in the name of Jesus. Ribo sepina le katonda kaya. Baribo seponde kaya boshente. Da kapi ali kata. Dira bosepi ali ka. In the name of Jesus. 
the Lord blesses you from Zion. Make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Father, all the prayer requests are answered them by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Let us share the grace and fellowship. your work. You have been doing your work in my life. Father, perfect your work. You have been doing your work. Hallelujah. Father, perfect your work. You have been doing your work in my life. Father, perfect your work. 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 Within the next few minutes, a lot of people here are going to recover what the lion has swallowed. Oh no, It's important that you prepare yourself. The Bible says, as from the days of John the Baptist, until now. The kingdom of heaven suffered violence and the violence take it by force. You will not have seen that the situation surrounding us requires spiritual authority, spiritual power, spiritual aggression, spiritual violence. There are 14 prayers to pray. And we don't have too much time to pray them. But there are like 14 prayers, 14 miracles. To be a tragedy for coming out this morning and you're allowed 
the miracle to pass you by. If you strike when the iron is hot, can you shout this loud and clear? Say it with authority and with power. Sickness that will lead to death. I saw. I am not your candidate. You are not shouting it enough. Death! In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to decree. Yes. Bokapote Setelika. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence. Lay your right hand on your head. I'm going to count seven from here. And if there is any of such sickness in any life, don't jump out now. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Shout this loud and clear now. The louder, the better. That songwriter says, There shall be showers of blessing. Can you shout this loud and clear? My rain of blessings. I am available. Somebody is breaking through. In Jesus' name we pray. This one to the louder the better. Pray the way I'm praying my own. My prayers. Blow good things into my life. In the name of Jesus. Tell your prayer to blow good things into your life. Jesus name we pray any power that says my way will not open can you say it with only anger your voice is not loud enough Death! in the name of Jesus somebody is breaking through Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Yes, yes, yes. Bapokasa. Rimoko ponde kaya mosha. Thou power of God. In the name of Jesus. Move, 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 move. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Powers walking against my enlargement. What are you waiting for? Death. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Open that mouth, open that mouth, open that mouth. In 
Jesus' name we pray. Pattern of irregular favor. Sisters, can you say it loud and clear? Brothers, can I hear you roaring like thunder? Your time is up. Oh, In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Don't be afraid. In Jesus' name we pray. This is number seven. We are making good progress. Powers assigned to marry me to captivity. You are alone. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth. In Jesus' name we pray. Let your voice be the loudest as you pray this morning. Every curse of you shall not go far. Shout it with only a thread. Your voice is not angry enough. Backfire! In the name of Jesus. Something is happening here this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, Lion of Judah, appear, destroy my testimony killers. Lion of Judah, appear, destroy my testimony killers. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, In Jesus' name we pray. Shout this with authority. Any Jericho wall of darkness. Jericho surrounding my life. Say it loud and clear. I pull you down. In the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray somebody is breaking through in these prayers you can see what is happening already Sir, anointing of darkness backing my battles can you say it with only anger let your voice be louder Shout it louder than that. Make it louder than that. Dry up. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Destiny robbers. Glory robbers. Your time is up. The name of Jesus.
Open that mouth, open that mouth, open that mouth. Don't negotiate. This is not a money to negotiate. In Jesus' name we pray. Two more prayers. I told you there are 14 of them. See things that are happening all over the place. This last two. Make it okay. Give it everything in you. Say battle. battle. Of last minute disappointment. Can your voice be louder than this? Sisters, let me hear you shouting this. Brothers, let me hear you roaring like thunder. Dead! In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Jesus name we pray this is the last one the Bible says the king of Israel was captured so that he will no longer have a voice silencers were sent against the king of Israel and he was taken to captivity this prayer should be prayed with violence and with fire where is the Lord God of Elijah Allah. silence my silencers in the name Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. A louder amen. Now a sevenfold amen. Yes. 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 Father, we thank you for a time like this. We thank you because thine alone be the glory. Thank you for your mighty hand and power. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Father, visit your people today. And lay your hands upon our lives. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's have a seat. God bless you. The power of discipleship. Agbara ishe omolein. The power. Agbara of discipleship. Ishe omolein. This is a series you must not miss, and you must keep going over and over. It's when you, when you get it. To a core, Olo rote o kolo shala e ma wasi bere. Te osi ma lo te o ma ube yewo. Lati ba de ba. Unless Take our hymn books. If you have your hymn book with you. As we open to hymn 1092. If you have your hymn book with you. Hymn 1092. 1092. He said, Take up. Thy cross. The Savior said, If thou was my disciple be, and if you desire to be the disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ, take up your cross. Two, say, deny thyself. I'm still reading verse 1. Sir. 
Take up that cross to save yourself. If thou was my disciple be, deny thyself. The world forsake. And humbly follow after me. That single verse has captured what is known as discipleship. One, say, take up your cross. If you want to be my disciple, say, then deny yourself. Then forsake this world. And then humbly follow after me. Verse 2. Take up thy cross. Let not its weight. Because that cross may be heavy. Don't let its weight. Fill thy weak spirit with alarm. Don't be afraid that it's too heavy. Say, My strength shall bear thy spirit up. Embrace thy heart. Love thy heart. Verse 3. Take up thy cross. No, hit the shame. Don't care what people are saying about you. Calling you father of Jesus, mother of Jesus, strange person. Not dressing properly, looking one kind. Don't, don't, hit, don't, don't hit what they are saying. No, let thy foolish pride rebel. Thy Lord for thee the cross endured to save thy soul from death and hell. Verse 4. Take up thy cross then in his strength and calmly every danger brave. It will guide thee to a better home. It's when you are a disciple, you are assured of heaven. And lead to victory or at the grave. Verse 5. Take up the cross and follow Christ. Now think till that to lay down. Say, don't give up on following Christ. On don't give it up at all. For only really, these are the prayers to pray more seriously. Because how can it be said? That you are a servant of Jesus Christ. And yet at the end of the day, says, I don't know you. Your name is not in our register. You've been the register of the church. Your church is not in our register. Can you shout this loud and clear? That's a terrible spirit plaguing the world. It is called the spirit of death and hell. It kills and pushes people to hellfire. The voice of a warrior. I want you to bind that spirit. It's the spirit that is pushing men, pushing men, pushing men. And some don't know they have been pushed. Can you raise up your voice loud and clear? I bind every spirit of death and hell. By the power in the blood of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to bind it. I bind and cast out every spirit of death and hell. In Jesus' name, we pray. With the Lord, we say, Satan will not harvest my life. By the power in the blood of Jesus, open your mouth and decree it. In Jesus' name we pray.
Father, we thank you for your children that are brought to this place. Glory be to your name, Lord. I pray that you lay your hands upon your children. Make them true disciples. Lay your hands upon them. Let there be some people here today who say, Father, I'm tired of this kind of Christian life. I want to move higher into you. Lay your hands upon such people in the name of Jesus. Thank you, every Father. In Jesus' name we pray. I told you. I told you. I told you. Yes. Say, powers from my place of birth that has buried my virtues. Can you shout this loud and clear? In the word of the Lord, there, in the name of Jesus, Yes, 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 yes. Uh -huh. In Jesus' name we pray. So, blood of Jesus. Arise by fire. Pursue my pursuit in the name of Jesus. Let the blood arise by fire and let it pursue the pursuers in the name of Jesus. Jesus, let me pray. Yes, that's it. That is it. Wrap up, Itakana. My virtues as you feel me stolen by polygamous witchcraft that they know about you is that the light that sisters can find the sister that needs to pray this prayer with you and I'm going to call a day Brothers, can I hear you shouting this loud and clear? Everybody to come around! Be released by fire! But in the name of Jesus, may we pray for you. There must be a release here today. Yes. Something is happening over there. Yes. 
That's why Benny. that you inherited trouble and has taken your life. But as the silence now. That's right. Benny. The agent of untimely death that is giving you this one sided edict has been disgraced now. That's right now. Benny. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, sure, yes, you. So, polygamous umbrella. See what is happening now. Oh, yes, sir, honey. The arrow fired into your head as a baby. Oh, fat, what does it mean? One fire into your head as a baby. These arrows are coming out now. They 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 are coming That's right, Benny. As we begin to pray, but we are seeing that healings will begin to take place. I will you for you that is initially breakthroughs will begin to happen. And I tell you, my father, as someone here, any God be me, your brain was removed by polygamous witchcraft. I want you to know who you are, what you are, but the Lord has returned it now. As a woman over there, you have been praying about your husband. The hour of strange men fired into his life has been removed now. Do 
this particular prayer, pray it with merciless violence. Every curse. Man of God mentioned my own case today. This word is for you. But what you had in your mind has become mighty testimony. Yes, That's right, sir. As you pray this next prayer, if you are in this meeting now, and something has been telling you. Oh, because they will for take off your clothes. The boy should run into the streets. Jazzy Guru, the clothes. Boy should run into the streets. Jazzy Guru, you have been resisting it. Because it didn't bad. Resisting it. Oh, boy, you just got this. Go to the altar now. Ah, boy, you go and be on your knees. Yes, we will allow you to come. I pray with vow and holy madness. Oh, boy, I do not believe why you are at this. You know what? I see the Lord removing spiritual rags from somebody. Your poverty has been written off. I see somebody over there too. The Lord is giving you the miracle of counsel. I see somebody over there with a visa breakthrough. That's right. That's right. What a wonderful God you are. You cancer, I speak to you now. That place you are is not your habitation. Clear away in the name of Jesus. All the evil boys, the 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 lumps, the fibers, the kidney stones. Vanish now in the name of Jesus. Right there where you are. May your hands on any part of the body that is one day. It is written. Jesus himself bore our infirmities. And took away our sickness. He shall stand with our pieces upon him. And by his stripes we are healed. Receive your healing now. Receive it 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 now. In the name of Jesus. Yes, it's happening to you. That is the healing power of God. That is the healing power of God. I was a little bit of 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 Thank you, Jesus. 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 So every battle, God will program into my life. You want to go to Zimbabwe? My pony comes with God. Not a word. I want you to shout it to one another. 
Jesus name we pray. The power of grave and death. Get out of my way now. Can I hear the sisters shouting this? Brothers, let me hear you roaring like thunder. Everybody together now. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to command it to depart. Power, great and death. Command it to get out of your way. Aha. Something is happening already. Yes. Jesus, let me pray. Every poison inside my body. Blood of Jesus. Kill them. Every poison inside my body. Blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pronounce it. That's right. The power of God. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Things are happening here. In Jesus' name we pray. Check about another sister. But the heavy load placed on your head and your chest has just disappeared. That's right. Every power constructing coffin for me. Can you shout it with only anger? In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and declare it with all the anger. Maseka tena kaya bo shende ra bo kopola ba. Thou power in the name of Jesus. Begin to move from person to person. Move from person to person. In Jesus' name we pray. That's right. Somebody has just been healed from the spirit of stroke. Check that hand. Check that leg now. You find that it has come back to its original position. You, the spirit of cancer and migraine, hear the word of the Lord. That place you are is not your habitation. Lose your hole in the name of Jesus. Yes. Every arrow fired into the ears, fired into the eyes, fired into the intestine, fired into the heart, fired into the womb. Get out now in the name of Jesus. That's right. Somebody's been healed from evil ringing in your ears. That's right. The fiber planted into your womb by the spirit husband is being taken out by the power of God. Something is happening over there. Somebody in this is meeting. You have been completely swallowed and shared out by witchcraft powers. But right there where you are, everything they have swallowed from you is coming back to your body now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
Uh-huh. Say, eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood. Hear the word of the Lord. You shout it with anger. Jesus. Open your mouth. Don't be afraid. Aha, aha. Yes, be released. 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 Aha, aha, aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Every sickness sponsored by witchcraft. Hear the word of the Lord. Backfire! In the name of Jesus. Something is up over there. This is not the day to negotiate. Masika pola kaya bo shendera bo konte yaba. Aha, aha. That person that you have lost your sense of smelling, begin to check it out now. That person that came out with breathing difficulties, breathe in and out now. Your breath has been released. You, the spirit of goiter and arthritis, and the spirit that is troubling the bones and the burning feet. I cancel your power now. In the name of Jesus. Every problem with the heart, the one with the blood, the one with the breast, the one with the intestine, the one in the liver, the one in the intestine, the one in the kidney, the one in the bladder, that problem, bow to the name of Jesus. Bow to the name of Jesus. Bow, bow, bow. Jesus. Bow to the name of Jesus. You, the spirit of cataract, the spirit of convulsion and epilepsy, the hearache, the spirit of exhaustion, the spirit of fatigue, the spirit of heart enlargement, the spirit of glaucoma, the spirit of shortness of breath. That body is not your tabernacle. You have no right to stay there. So lose your hold. 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 In the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. It is written. You shall lay your hands on the sick and the sick shall recover. Father, it's not possible for us to lay hands on everyone physically. But right now in these hands that are stretched forth, let the anointing for total deliverance, anointing for complete healing, anointing for moving of the power of God, fall upon these hands now. Fall upon the hands, 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 in the name of Jesus.
Thank you, Jesus. Now, lay that hands on any sick part of your body. Lay it there. Immediately you lay it there, the electric current of God will begin to flow into your body. Yes, there is a power of God coming upon you. Thou power of God, in the name of Jesus, move. That's right. Yes. The arrow of infirmity in the head, in the breast, in the brain is shifting out. Yes. Masekaya Boshendera Bokonde. Ribo Soponde Keya Boshendera Bakapola Bakandara Bosanta. Yes, be released. Aha. Every pronouncement of satanic doctor upon your life. Every clinical prophecy issued against you. I cancel it now. I cancel it now. I cancel it now. I cancel it now. I cancel it. 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 Be cancelled. Be cancelled. Be cancelled. In the name of Jesus. Begin to check your body now. Check your body now. Do whatever you are not able to do before. Check your body. Whatever you are not able to do before, do it now. If you can't bend, bend. If you can't see, see. If you can't hear, hear. Continue, continue. That's right. If you can't use any part of your leg, body, begin to use it now. Something is happening over there. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody has been healed from an incurable disease. Yes, that smell of death and the spirit of death that has entered into you is getting out of you now. That evil swelling in your body is being melted away now. You, the plantation of darkness in any organ in anybody's body, be uprooted now. Be uprooted. 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 In the name of Jesus. This evil rope tied on your waist. Squeezing your womb. Whenever you get pregnant, that rope is broken now. Yes. Those legs that have been captured and taken to witchcraft meetings, and the legs are behaving as if they don't belong to you. Right there where you are, the power of God is coming upon you. And that yoke is broken now. In the name of Jesus. You will now shout this with boiling anger. Say, every power that wants me to die, you are a liar. Die in the name of Jesus. That's right. Now, 21 times the time I want you to shout this. It is not an advice, it's a commandment of the Holy Ghost. 21 hot times. Shout it with fire and with power. Even if you are not feeling anything, say shout it. 
Say, sickness. Go! In the name of Jesus. Shout it 21 times. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Go! Get sickness! Go! Thank you, Jesus. Let somebody shout your loud and clear. My Lord! Disobey every satanic regulation. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Every satanic law behind stubborn wall. I say law behind every Jericho wall. So you stand there, don't move. Can I hear you shouting this loud and clear? Break in the name of Jesus. Break the law. That's right. Aha, 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 aha. Masapo katana kanda. Ribala mo kesente ya mo shente ya mo kanda. Bakatanda. Something is happening here. That's right. In Jesus' name we pray. Please don't negotiate. There is no, it's not a day to negotiate. Is it those powers that came out from the grave? They went back in disgrace just now. Every law, Every law. tormenting me. Can I hear you shouting this loud and clear? Death! In the name of Jesus, let's break the tormenting law by the power in the blood of Jesus. Break that tormenting law in the name of Jesus. Aha! Uh-huh. Every law to my TV. Break! Sekatanda ya boshende na boshende. Rima sepande ke ya boshende. In Jesus name we pray. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Our Lord! Change my identity to fire! Can you shout it loud and clear? In the name of Jesus. That's right. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. You don't understand. Fire has no respect. Fire does not respect the law of gravity. 
No matter how tall the building is, fire can go from first floor to, second, to last floor without any assistance. Fire does has no regard for the law of matter. The scientist says matter is anything that has weight and occupies space. Fire is not liquid. Fire is not solid. Fire is not gas. No respect. That's why I say change my identity. That's why Elijah is known as a man of fire. He is the one who popularized the God that answered by fire. What I'm saying to you is this. When the witches gather against you again, or they bring their weapon against you, instead of seeing you now, they will not see you again. What is going to confront them is fire. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Allah! Change my identity to fire! In the name of Jesus! That's right! In Jesus' name we pray. So they have been coming to make scratches on your body. They have been coming to mark your body. They have been coming to strangulate you. Can anybody mark fire? Can anybody strangulate fire? If they try, what will happen? Where is the Lord God of Elijah? To fire in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Somebody's collecting the fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Say thank you, Jesus. Are you tired? We still have more prayers to pray. I need to fire the fallen arrows to the camp of the enemy. I fire the arrow of blackout on the camp of my enemies. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and fire the arrow of blackout. The arrow of blackout. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say the spirit of death and hell shall not overtake my life. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare that one. Jesus name we pray now you will cry out your name and you will say this after shouting your name you say disobey every satanic law in the name of Jesus can you shout your name and say the prayer disobey every satanic law in the name of Jesus Open your mouth and say it. Disobey the law. Disobey the law. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh God Allah! Align me to your divine agenda. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray. Align me, align me to your divine agenda. Masika ponde kenta, riyabo kote sepende ke yabo shanda, manaribo sepende ke yabo shanda. Oh God, Allah! And plug me into your 
your divine calendar. Plug me into your divine calendar. Open your mouth and pray. Plug me, yes, into your divine calendar. Plug me into your divine calendar. Something is happening here this morning. Something is happening here this morning. Plug me into your divine calendar. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Pasikaya Moshenka. In Jesus' name we pray. Arrows shot at my position while I was in the womb. Damn! In the name of Jesus, kill the arrows. Kill those arrows. In the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, move to your next level. 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 By the power of the Holy Ghost. Move to your next level. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Move, move, move to your next level. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Dragon of frustration assigned against me. Kill the dragon of frustration. I refuse to be frustrated in the name of Jesus. position <laughs> oh yes every evil wind blowing me out of position in the name of Jesus oh yes he without evil wind Serious business. I see Kaya Moshen. In Jesus' name, we pray. My Father. Yes, 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 
That is it. Watch it, watch it, watch it. loud and clear. Every operation of darkness in my family life. 
every oppression of darkness in my family life. Yeah! In the name of Jesus, the king's oppression of darkness. Yes. Beloved, silence the evil hand that is turning somebody's intestine up and down has been taken out of the way. Somebody has been operated with a part of the body cut off. But right there where you are, a new one is coming into position. You child of the devil. Occupy my seat. Clear out! In the name of Jesus! Clear them out! Clear them out! Clear them out! Clear them out in the name of Jesus! Clear them out in the name of Jesus! Masika Potana Karaboshendaraba! Something is happening, something is happening, something is happening. Get them out. Masikayaba Shendera Bakondaraba. Beka Santaya Bakayaba Shendera Bo. The river Sampanda Kayaba Bakayaba Shendera Bakasanta. E. Jesus, when we pray. Strange power of my father's arm. In the name of Jesus, deal with the strange part. Masika kena ya boshende ra boko ponte kaya ria boko ponte kaya ponte kaya boshende. Anything in my body programmed against my destiny. Can you say that loud and clear? Can you make it louder than that? Your time is up. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Don't be afraid.
The Bible said the strangers shall fade away and they shall be afraid out of their close places. Every power kicking my glory. Can you say this loud and clear? Is that the loudest you can say? Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Powers that ate my progress. Power in the name of Jesus. Yes. Makate seko ya boshe mera karaba. Walking against me. Dry up in the name of Jesus. For many people to dry up. Say, 
Say, my brain, my brain. receive divine fertilizer. <laughs> In the name of Jesus, pray on your brain now. My brain, receive divine fertilizer. In the name of Jesus. Say this after me, sisters. Every power spending the night to pull me down. And the sisters said this with only anger. Brothers, can you shout it louder by the sisters? Throw them away. Can you say this loud and clear? Uh huh. In the name of Jesus, let this one throw them away. In the name of Jesus, that's such a kind of shelter. Ribos upon the Kayabo Shinter of the Polaba. If you are spending the night to put me down, let the sun throw you away. Basso Kayabo Shinter of Alaba. Yes, continue, 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 continue. Aha, 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 Ribala baka panda santa yaba. Jesus, let me pray. You open your mouth like fire again. All day. All day. And give me my portion. In the name of Jesus. Your portion in the name of Jesus. Okay, all right. Give me my portion. Give me my portion in the name of Jesus. The path has such a diaba. Jesus, let me pray. Say, so, oh, day, oh, arise and curse any power stealing my portion. Oh, day, oh, arise and curse any power stealing my portion. In the name of Jesus. Any power sit in my portion. Let it be cast them. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes. Jesus, let me pray. <laughs> I wish you could see what is happening now. There is confusion in the heavens. That's right. Raise up your voice like fire again. Every wicked power in the second heavens that is representing my family. Can you say this with hot anger? Uh huh. In the circle. Da! In the name of Jesus. Ha 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 ha. Open your mouth, beloved. 
second heavens break in the name of Jesus break the Lord of affliction in the name of Jesus masika chaya bo shente ya bo koraba ribo soponde kaya bo ko shente ya bo koraba matala bo ko shente ya bo ko shente we are poor like a shente ya ba Yes, 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 yes. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Break the run of affliction. 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 Masika teya bo shen teya ba. Say it loud and clear. Brothers, shout it louder than the sisters. In the name of Jesus.
Jesus name we pray every arrow of ancestral witchcraft can you say it with all the anger in the name of Jesus Jesus name we pray everything stolen from my life by the powers of the night I will repossess you by fire in the name of Jesus whatever they have stolen repossess it The power of polygamous witchcraft. The In the name of Jesus. That's right. name we pray affliction of the day in the name of Jesus deal with that affliction affliction of the day command them to be dismantled and to be destroyed in Jesus name we pray Stretch your two hands forward now and let your amen be super dynamic. Within the next few minutes, some transactions will begin to take place here. Listen, what some people have lost for years, as I pray now, will be put right back in their hands. As I pray right now, the power that has totally refused to give way for you for your breakthrough shall be completely cancelled. As I pray now, the terrible battles you have been going through and people have been laughing at you, all of a sudden there will be a change. As I pray this prayer now, all those things that are yours, that the enemy has been playing around with, you shall repossess them. You shall repossess them. You shall repossess them. You shall repossess them. And then, the agent of reproach assigned to pursue you shall cease from pursuing you. And they shall pursue themselves. Thank you, Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you because you are the King of Kings. We thank you because you are the Lord of Lords. Father, I decree right now that every destiny robber, every blessing robber, every breakthrough robber that has stolen from your people, right now, let there be a recovery. And as many people as are saying amen now, let them possess their possession. Possess your 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 possession. In the name of Jesus. By the power of the God that answered by fire. Every challenge the enemy is bringing away. Let the challenge be scattered now. In the name of 
Jesus. I'm beginning from now. You have good news begin to locate you on every side. In the name of Jesus. As many people as are here today, and wicked powers are toying with your destiny. I bury those powers now. In the name of Jesus. The river Seponda. In the name of Jesus. Everyone hearing my voice now. Right there where you are. Right there where you are. Let your angels of blessing begin to locate you. Be located. By your angels of blessing. Let the angels locate you. Right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I pray that anyone in this meeting and already your life is going through an evil pattern, I command the pattern to die. Now! In the name of Jesus. And whether it is convenient for the enemy or not, you must receive your deliverance today. In the name of Jesus. Right from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence. And the violent ticketed it by this. Oh God, Allah! Use me to change my family history. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray now. Now, power of God, in the name of Jesus, Thank you, Jesus. 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 Aha! Aha! Jesus name we pray Shout this loud and get every curse in my bloodline Can you shout this loud and clear Die by the blood of Jesus Open your mouth and pray like that Years. Your day of deliverance has come. Be 
And the enemy has denied you your rightful possession. You are possessing them now. <laughs> Say, ancestral Pharaoh, <laughs> let my family go in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. We release. We release. Be released. 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 Ah 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 ah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Please pray with reckless violence. Satanic dedication of my family. Pray in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and break that satanic dedication. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Aha, aha, aha. Thank you, Jesus. Basepo katonga kaya boshanga. Break the dedication. In Jesus' name we pray. Aha. I'm making progress. Sisters, shout this with with your loudest voice. That pursued my parents and is now pursuing me. Can I hear the sister shouting that? I want your voice to be loud and clear. Your voice is not loud enough, my sister. Brothers, let your voice roar like thunder. Everybody together now. What are you waiting for? Damn! In the name of Jesus. Oh yes. Today is your day. This is not a day to negotiate. Must be no negotiation. Masete kaya bo shente la bo kopola ba. Bana kanta la bo sopola bo koya bo shente la ba. Rapa le katende ya ba. In Jesus' name we pray. Everybody shout this after me loud and clear. Anything buried by anybody. That is dragging my family down. Can I hear you shouting this? I want you at the front to roar like thunder. Everybody shout it loud and clear. Jesus. Now, power of God, in the name of Jesus. 
Jesus move. In Jesus' name we pray. So where is the Lord God of Elijah? Allah! And increase my speed. Can you shout that loud and clear? In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and decree it. In Jesus' name we pray. Any power that wants my family to suffer, <laughs> let your voice roar like thunder. Let your voice roar like thunder. You are a lawyer. Tell in the name of Jesus. Oh yes. Something is happening here this morning. Masa kantela kaya bo shendela ba. Aha, 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 aha. Jesus name we pray my father release unto me the angels of power do you understand that prayer one single angel dealt with 185,000 of Sinakarib soldiers one 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 said my father Release unto me the angels of power in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to say. That's right. Release unto me the angels of power. Jesus name we pray Amen Say inherited battles Hear the word of the Lord In the name of Jesus That's right Jesus name we pray problems assigned to disconnect me from my destiny expire in the name of Jesus yes you cannot disconnect me from my destiny You cannot disconnect me from my destiny. In Jesus' name we pray. <laughs> this next one. Say every battle against my sunshine. Sisters, can you shout it? Sisters, is that the Lord who can shout up? Brothers, can I hear you worry like thunder? My 
sunshine. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Angels of war. Say that loud and clear. Pursue those who are holding what belongs to me. Cover them for me. Angels of war. Pursue those holding what belongs to me. And recover them for me. By fire. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. You are breaking through. You are breaking through. That's why Jesus brought you here. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Documents of darkness. my information can you say that again catch fire in the name of Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus Jesus name we pray this next prayer is also for three times make sure nobody's voice is louder than yours powers cursing my future please don't joke with this prayer can I hear you shouting it loud Shanda, ribo soponda kaya bosha, makantenda ribo sopo, lani katenda rabo soto. In Jesus' name we pray. Open your mouth and pray it again. Yes, 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 in Jesus' name we pray. Open your mouth and shout it again. In Jesus' name we pray. Everybody shout this loud and clear. Arrows of witchcraft in my body. Can you shout it loud and clear? Is that the loudest you can shout it here today? Come out now! In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to declare it. Something was happening here today. 
Makapola kaya bo shende ra bo shende. Moka setende kaya bo shende ra bo kopola bara ba. Bada kasopola kaya bo shente ra ba. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Aha, aha, aha. It's coming out. It's coming out. It's coming out. The one in the head, the one in the chest, the one in the stomach, the one in the legs. Out, out, out. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Every witchcraft padlock assigned against my life. Is that the loudest you can shout this particular prayer? Shout it with only anger. Break! Break the padlock in the name of Jesus. That's right. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Receive the torture of the power of God. Receive the torture of the power of God. Receive the touch of the power of God. Receive the touch of the power. Receive the touch of the power of God. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Every agent from the covenant in the body of anyone now, catch fire. Catch fire, 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 in the name of Jesus, catch fire, in the name of Jesus, say every invisible chain, binding my hands, break, in the name of Jesus. Break the invisible chain. Break it. Break it. Break it. In Jesus' name we pray. I clear my goods out of every witchcraft we have. In the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray any power calling my name in the coven let me hear the sister shouting this prayer is that the louder the sisters can say and let me hear the brothers shouting it louder and clear you are a liar da. in the name of Jesus that's right Power now by the power in the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, can you say this loud and clear? Oh God, arise! Dissolve the power of the wicked. 
assigned against my destiny. In the name of Jesus, let the Lord dissolve their power. That's right. In Jesus' name we pray. Say so every program of the wicked to finish my life. Back in the name of Jesus. There is somebody here who needs to pray this loud and clear. That's right. Masente Kayabo Shandarabo Santa. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, waste us. Assigned against my life. Hear the word of the Lord. Waste yourselves. Can I hear you shouting this loud and clear? That's right. In the name of Jesus. Command the wasters to waste themselves. Jesus, then we pray. The next three prayers, they are specially vomited by the Holy Ghost to meet some specific needs in the midst right now. And so it is dangerous to keep quiet. Covenant register. Containing my name. Catch fire! In the name of Jesus. Set the cover register ablaze in the name of Jesus. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, Jesus name we pray that's good every wicked hole dog for me can I hear all the sisters here shouting this let the brother's voice sound like fire let everybody shout it loud and clear catch your digger in the name of Jesus, it's up there already. Jesus name we pray say the jaw and the backbone of the wicked assigned against me can I hear somebody shouting this let your voice be louder than that Let your voice still be louder than that. Break my fire! In the name of Jesus. Break the jaw and the backbone. In Jesus them pray lions of darkness roaring against me is that the loudest who can shout up 
In the name of Jesus. Basanta kaya mo shenteraba. Sister, saying this after me. Wherever I go, agents of darkness will not steal my portion. Can I hear the sister shouting out? Let your voice be loud. Brothers, let me hear you shouting like fire. Everybody together now. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare it now. In Jesus' name we pray. Pray this next prayer with only anger. Say, blood poured on the ground against me. Swallow your own Can you say that loud and clear? Is that the loudest you can charge it? In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. name we pray. Say so every fetish power poured on the ground to subdue my life. Can I hear you shouting that loud and get catch your head up in the name of Jesus. That's right.
thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Every curse of darkness upon my life. Pray in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Aha. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Say, anyone who has accepted witchcraft for my sake. Can I hear you saying this loud and clear? Be disgraced by fire. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray it loud and clear. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say aggressive elements. Aggressive elements. Targeted to disgrace me. Can I hear your voice roaring like thunder? In the name of Jesus, deal with the aggressive elements. Piata sa ni katanda na bokanda, ribo soponde ke ya boshente. Aha. In Jesus' name we pray. So every evil power. That has established authority in my family. Can I hear you roaring like fire? Your time is up. Die! In the name of Jesus. Yes, you have established authority in my family. I cancel the authority. Aha, 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 aha. Pata Abo Shanta. In Jesus' name we pray. We're making fantastic progress. Every biting demon be silenced. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare it. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Every alignment of witches to steal from me scatter scatter the alignment in the name of Jesus yes scatter thank you Jesus Jesus name we pray I remove my name from the register of the wasted can I hear you shout it is loud in the name of Jesus open your mouth remove your name 
from the register of the Western. Ah, ah. In Jesus' name we pray. Super blood of Jesus. Super blood of Jesus. Super blood of Jesus. Come and deliver me. 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 are happening now father Baba, let your healing and deliverance power descend in the midst now in the name of jesus let your healing and deliverance power descend in the midst now in the name of jesus 
things are happening the power of God is moving from person to person you the spirit of arthritis I bind you and I cast you out that problem with the backbone and the bone marrow I bind you and I cast you out the problem of the burning feet the high blood pressure the terrible breathing problems the lumps in the body I bind you and I cast you out in the name of Jesus Father let your healing power descend in the name of Jesus let your healing power descend let it 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 descend in the name of Jesus right there where you are power to overtake pursue recover what your enemy has stolen receive that power in the name of Jesus receive it 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 in the name of Jesus There are seven people here. You have been fasting and praying. God said, I should tell you that before 24 hours, you shall see God's hands of power. Before 24 hours, read a cassette. Father, as many of your children as are gathered here, every power assigned and delegated and that are determined to make your enemies laugh at you, those powers shall die in the name of Jesus. Let your amen rule like thunder. Any power that is staying awake to attack you, they shall attack themselves in the name of Jesus. Let your amen rule like thunder. And any power holding anyone down to an evil bus stop, I dismantle that power now in the name of Jesus. And I speak unto you by the spirit of the prophet. If your amen can be volcanic, I speak unto you by the spirit of the prophet. That wherever the enemy has stopped you, get out in the name of Jesus. Get out. Get out. Get out in the name of Jesus. Get out in the name of Jesus. Ah, ah. Yes. I can see the healing power of God flowing in the mist. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Every problem in the blood, every problem in the heart, every problem in the womb, every abnormal blood pressure, every irregular heartbeat, get out of your hiding place in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing, receive your healing, receive your deliverance, receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Stretch your right hand towards this altar. Father, let your power of healing and deliverance fall upon this hands now in the name of Jesus. Your word says we shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. As we lay hands upon ourselves, let your healing power begin to manifest in the name of Jesus. Now, if you have any infirmity in any part of your body, smite it aggressively. This time, 40 good times. Make sure it's 40 number. By the time you finish, every owner of evil load will have carried their load. All the clinical professors will be cancelled. 
are you ready now? As you smite yourself, shout fire of God. Fire of God. Let that fire begin to melt away every plantation of darkness. Are you ready now? Let's go. Do it well. Do it well. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. See what is happening now. Ribo Sape. your body now. The healing power of God has descended on so many people. If you brought an infirmity here, it has disappeared. Quickly run to the altar here. Don't let the devil put it back on you. They overcoming by the word of the Lamb. They overcoming by the blood of the Lamb. And by the word of their testimony. Yes, something has happened to you, that sister. Don't, don't be afraid. It's gone. What in law? Don't be afraid. Yes. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, I want you to lose your temper in the Holy Ghost. The manner of prayers, I want you to pray now. It requires violent anger. It requires really, really violent anger. If you are not angry enough, it won't work. Shout this after me loud and clear. Enemies seeking for the help of other enemies to fight me. Can I hear the sister shouting it? Sisters, I want you to be more aggressive. Brothers, let me hear you worry like thunder. You are alone in the name of Jesus. Jesus' name we pray. 
whether you are married or not whether you are a parent or you are not yet a parent pray this prayer let all the parents lift up their voices like fire and like thunder and pray like this wind of God that will make my children excel be activated now in the name of Jesus open your mouth and pray that prayer something is happening as so I pray the prayers Jesus name we pray the powers holding me down from getting to the next level can you shout it loud there is a woman who needs to shout this prayer what are you waiting for in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth and pray it. That's why you are here. Jesus name we pray this next prayer will address so many things if your dream life is a battlefront pray like fire if currently now you are having a very bad medical report pray like fire and thunder if you have noticed a change of untimely death in your family pray like fire and like thunder the enemy has been introducing problems into your womb problems into your heart problems into your brain pray this one like fire can you say this loud and clear everything that has been wounded in my life can you shout his love? Receive divine recovery in the name of Jesus. Receive divine recovery. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Now with the loudest voice you can gather You need to address this year 2021 Year 2021 Hear the word of the Lord You will not swallow any of my blessings In the name of Jesus Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Madura. be silence now. Please don't say anything. Perfect silence. Woman. Arabian. Recover your children. That are in the waters. Captured by the waters. Recover them now. The satanic crown. Put the enemy upon the head. By which they are calling you a princess of darkness. I set the crown ablaze. I set it 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 ablaze. In the name of Jesus. All these satanic delays that have been harassing your breakthrough. All the power that fails at the edge of breakthrough. I divorce you from that demon now in the name of Jesus. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. In the name of Jesus. A son will fall the back. Say thank you, Jesus. For beloved, bring out your implements of labor. Whether it's a biro, whether it's a pen, it's a key, whatever it is. Whether it's a Bible, bring it out now. So bring it out. Say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, I commit my implants of labor, career business, unto your holy hands. It is written that I know whom I believed, and I'm persuaded that whatsoever is committed unto him will keep against that day. Father, let these implements of labor become a battle axe to move my life forward in the new way. In the name of Jesus, power of resurrection, power of restoration, power of divine favor, power of prosperity, power of breakthrough, power of excellence, fall upon my implements of labor. In the name of Jesus, a loud amen. By these instruments of labor, let me experience net breaking testimonies. Let me experience uncommon breakthroughs. Let me experience cost enlargement. Let me experience divine acceleration. In the name of Jesus, I soak my instruments of labor and business in the blood of Jesus. I soak them under the canopy of the fire of the God of Elijah. Beginning from now. Beginning from now. Beginning from now. Let my instruments of labor begin to yield uncommon profits. Uncommon testimonies. Uncommon breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus. In loud amen. Now with the instruments Amen. Amen. As you have decreed and prophesied and prayed, so shall it be sevenfold in the name of Jesus. Let's take our Bibles. God bless you. During the last palm was changed hands, we began to look at a very crucial topic. 
confronting the rage of the vampire spirits. Today is a day to pray the concluding prayers which we could not finish last time. This is a matter that requires serious prayer. But Curative prayer, preventive prayer, barricading prayers. We learn from Psalm 27, verse 2 that day. Psalm 27, verse 2. If you were not here last Palm of Changes, get the CD. Or go and listen to it online. Psalm 27, verse 2. It says, When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumble and fell. Can we all read that scripture together? Let's go. When the wicked, Can you read it again loud and clear? And in Isaiah chapter 49, verse 26, we read that last month. So. Isaiah 49:26. And I will fill them that oppress thee with their own flesh. They shall be drunken with their own blood as with sweet wine. And all flesh shall know that I, the Lord, am thy Savior and thy Redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. And I began to explain to you last time that there is a terrible rage on now. The rage of the vampire spirits drinking blood. Human blood, wasting human life, cut, cutting short in a lot. They cut short a lot of destinies. They disgrace so many lives. They cause the wars, the chaos, the looting, the famine, the tragedies. And like a vampire does, they are interested. In only one thing, blood. And so, anywhere you see blood being shed, there is a spirit behind it. It's the spirit of the vampire, the eaters of flesh and the drinkers of blood. It is unfortunate, but it is true. There are so many possessed human beings now. They are possessed with this spirit. And they don't mind wasting lives. This is why I'm praying for all who are listening to me here today. That any power that wants to use you as a sacrifice shall destroy themselves in the name of Jesus. They shall destroy themselves in the name of Jesus. Their major interest is the blood they want to shed. The blood itself is an incredible material. Responsible for so many things in our lives. The blood is very, very complex and important to our lives. Blood up to now cannot be manufactured. We only get blood from donors. The human is body, soul, and spirit. The human is a spirit living in the body, having a soul. That body is now divided into three compartments. The flesh, 
the bone and the blood the flesh the bone and the blood so that blood you see is a living liquid it's alive so the eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood they head for this very important part of human life and when they are hungry for this kind of blood when they are hungry for blood they are seeking for blood to put in their blood banks they cause unexplainable accidents where blood is spilled anyhow they are responsible for strange deaths mutual sacrifices murders assassination they are responsible for drying sicknesses that doctors cannot explain the eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood are responsible for wounds that refuse to heal they are responsible for many miscarriages, stillbirths, abortions, and all kinds of maternal deaths. All the kidnappings, genocide, civil wars, terrorism, all these activities that lead to unnecessary shedding of human blood. That was like they are behind it. Unfortunately, we have modern day vampires now. People who actually are interested and they enjoy human blood being shed. This is why I'm decreeing right now. As in every life gathered here, in the whole of this nation, and any part of the world, any part of the world where the vampire spirit is operating, we bind and cast them out in the name of Jesus. We bind and we cast them out in the name of Jesus. So it is disaster to be ignorant of these things. Like I was sharing on Wednesday, there is always a spirit behind all these activities we are seeing. And if you don't deal with that spirit, it will continue. We now have to rise up as Christians and use our most potent weapon which is the weapon of prayer to stop them before they stop us to stop them before they take us over to tell them this is how far you can go you cannot come close to our environment here we have the power to decide that we will not allow our environment to be overrun by the powers of the vampire it is important to pray that they must destroy themselves it is important to pray that their medicine their fetish power their magic will not work it is important to pray that these people will be put to shame these kidnappers and ritual killers let me share if you, let me share with you the testimony of that brother that was kidnapped if I was in a bus he slept off by the time we wake up he found that he was far far away out of Lagos the march jammed into some deep deep forest he told me stories of woe he told me that jail those who police are those bushes doing these things they are not illiterate See, where he was taken to there was a doctor 
as a nurse they are caterers that they kept there so the ones they could get money out of they keep them alive until they get the money they even serve continental breakfast inside the bush if you are in the category of the big fish but for some people they just slaughter them slaughter them and he told me that are people coming to request for hearts to request for breasts to request for wombs and they cut it out and give it to them I want you to raise up your hands in anger and shout this loud and clear powers behind ritual killers arise Fight them in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Jesus name we pray they operate in the spirit realm using the weapon of oppression infirmity spirit of death and hell witchcraft powers evil pronouncements Familiar spirits. They activate tragedy. They bring in the spirit of murder and assassination. Spirit of suicide. The curse of family destruction. Evil summon and environmental bondages and poisons these are weapons they are using to waste human beings to drink blood today we need to wage war against this power and that's what the rest of our prayers today will concentrate on a barricading prayer that you will not be a sacrifice in their hands an attacking prayer to dissolve their powers we wage war against them where they are and cancel their effect environmental prayer to, be, to ensure they don't move close to where we are rise to your feet now and all eyes closed in case you are here you are not born again you are not just surrender your life to Jesus do so very quickly now by saying what I am going to say after me say Father in the name of Jesus I come before you now Lord Jesus come into my life take control of my life in Jesus name Amen if you said that short prayer with me immediately we close don't rush him just find a way here to the altar my promise will not waste your time so that the counselors can talk to you or you can take our numbers on the screen and get across to us today we are going to pray that all the eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood shall stumble and fall they must vomit what they have eaten and all the good things that they have swallowed they must vomit them in the name of Jesus 
all eyes closed. The first prayer is for yourself. Pray for yourself. Pray for your family. Don't joke with this prayer. Can you say this loud and clear? Of the God of Elijah, envelop me now in the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray anything in my life acting as a ladder to the enemy can you shout out loud your voice is not loud enough be wasted now in the name of Jesus. Command them to be wasted. Jesus name we pray the next three prayers they are to be prayed without any apology say eaters of flesh drinkers of blood in my environment what are you waiting for in the name of Jesus He wants in your environment. I want to pay me. 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 Yes. The one in your environment. Jesus name we pray the powers postponing the days of my miracles I need somebody to shout that loud let your voice be louder than that there in the name of Jesus Spoiling the days of my miracles. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. The powers behind vampire spirit in Nigeria. Your time is up. Die in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray against them.
Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Eat us of flesh and drink us of blood. In my place of work. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Now with a loud voice. This prayer is to be prayed three times. And there are massive testimonies attached to the three times you are going to pray this prayer. Blood of Jesus. Can you shout his love? Write a new story about my life. In the name of Jesus. Write a new story about my life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Open your mouth and praise again. Write a new story about my life. In Jesus' name we pray. For the third time, open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Now begin to recover any of your blessings still left in this year. That the year must not swallow them. Miracles can still happen. Great things can still take place. So I recover all my blessings left in this year by the power in the blood of Jesus. Begin to recover them. Begin to recover them. Begin to recover them. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh -huh. That's good. Very good. See what is happening. See what is happening. Don't negotiate. Don't negotiate at all. That thing crawling about in your body, particularly in your lower abdomen, is coming out. Thank you, Jesus. Uh -huh. Any affliction assigned to overtake my life you are a liar in the name of Jesus make sure that your voice is loud Jesus is here thank you Jesus Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, this prayer. Can you shout this louder than anyone here? Any power 
assigned to use my life as a sacrifice. Can your voice be louder than that? That voice is still not loud enough. You are a liar. Die! In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You cannot use the life of God as a sacrifice. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, I pray right now. And anyone in this garden tonight, and you are in conscious or unconscious covenant with familiar spirits, by the power in the blood of Jesus, I break that covenant now. Let the covenant be broken. Break, 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 Aha. Silence again. Silence again. You, the spirit of chronic arthritis. You, the spirit of chronic backache. You, the spirit of internal rottenness. Your time is up. Lose your hold in the name of Jesus. That's the power of God. All the evil medical reports hear the word of the Lord by the overruling power of the Holy Spirit. We cancel you now. That amen is not loud enough. That your amen roar like thunder. In the name of Jesus, a 21 fold amen. Tonight is tonight. You rise your name.
Jesus, you are the pillar of hope. Hallelujah. Sing it again loud and clear. You are the pillar that holds my life. You Silence, beloved. Silence. Please don't say anything for now. Father, I'm praying for those who are here tonight. And anywhere they turn, there is hardship. I'm praying for those who are here tonight whose prosperity has been diverted. I'm praying for those who are here tonight who are being used as footmat by the enemy. I'm praying for those who are here tonight who, if things had worked normally for them, they are supposed to be some of the richest people around. But for some strange reasons, the enemy has stolen from them. Maseka pola katenda raboshanda. Ribo pia le katende ka. Narabo sependa kaya boshanda. Marabo sepia. Wherever such people are in this gathering, let the power of the God of Elijah fall upon them now. And let them be set free. 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 In the name of Jesus. Silence. Uh, some people here after tonight's meeting that wish you have been begging and begging for they will come and beg you to take it thank you Jesus thank you Jesus close your eyes now beloved and shout this prayer louder than anyone here. Every yoke of bad luck scatter to pieces. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Every yoke of bad luck scatter to pieces. In Jesus' name we pray. All eyes closed. Can you shout this loud and clear? Strong man of bad luck, trouble my destiny. Death. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Aha, aha, aha. This is not a night to negotiate. We are here for serious business. Serious business. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Don't negotiate. Open your mouth. Jesus. Jesus. The power, the power, the apostle power is just the same today. No matter what they say, the power, the power, the apostle power is just 
they say to them, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Papadikata, riboka pandekaya, nakandara bo shenta, dekatera koya bo koshenta raba, mana kampande kera bo santa, de ribo sopande kaya bo shenta raba. Open your mouth, open your mouth. In Jesus' name we pray. You can't continue like this. You must make a difference in your generation. And you must possess your possession. Aha. Aha. I withdraw my name. From the book of bad luck. By the power. In the blood. Jesus, open your mouth and declare that. Like that. Yes. Withdraw your name from that book. Aha! In Jesus' name we pray. Can you shout this? with a commanding tone bad luck power pursuing my life backfire in the name of jesus Yes. In Jesus name we pray. Uh, uh, those are hopefully now. I'm happy. That's good. Can you shout this again loud and clear? Why stamping your feet on the floor? Because the Bible says He has given you power To tread upon serpent and scorpion And over every power of the enemy Serpents and scorpions Of bad luck I trample upon you now In the name of Jesus Trample upon the serpent and scorpion In the name of Jesus Trample upon this now In the name of Jesus Trample upon it now. In the name of Jesus. Crush it. Crush it. Crush it. In Jesus' name we pray. Aha. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Say this again loud and clear. This is number three. Owners of bad luck. My life is not your candidate. Carry your Lord. In the name of Jesus.
Just Jesus command them to carry their load. Enough is enough. Father, Father, any curse under which anyone here labors, as they raise up their voices now, let the curses be converted to blessing. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Say, any curse. Laboring my life. Break in the name of Jesus. Jesus, them we pray. Raise up your voices like thunder and fire in merciless violence. So every power assigned to turn my glory to shame. Can you shout that loud? Your time is up. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Makatenda Yabo Shende Rabba Santa. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Serpents and scorpions from the coven. I am not your candidate. Can you shout that loud? Dead! In the name of Jesus. Deal with the serpent and scorpion from the coven. Makapotika tarabo sente aba. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, padlock power assigned to stop me. Stop your owner. Can you say that again? Your voice is not loud enough. By fire. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus name we pray now get yourself ready you have been empowered now to pray with serious fire shout this louder than anyone here my internal enemy we die in the name of Jesus Command them to wither. Bopia le kata santa. Dan arribo soponde. Yes. Oh yes. This is not a death to negotiate. Don't negotiate. Makaten sepe la kaya bo shendera ba. 
My eternal enemies. Wither. 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 Your voice is not loud enough. It's not loud enough. Aha! 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 aha. We there! Thou power of God, in the name of Jesus, move! Aha, aha, aha. Yes. There must be no negotiation. No negotiation at all. Amen. In Jesus name we pray. <laughs> Look at how this man is standing. Oh, la, la. Stretch your right hand towards the altar. Father, let the liquid fire of the Holy Ghost Fall upon these hands now. Your word says, Smite the enemy, and the enemy shall flee. As we smite, let the enemies flee. Get yourself ready. Don't feel sorry for that chest. Though. We are going to smite it seven times. One, two. Uh huh. As you are slapping the place, it is the serpent you are slapping. And they are coming out. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Now your stomach. Your stomach. If you have any problem in your womb, slap that womb area. Don't feel sorry for that stomach. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Shout this with boiling anger. Train just in my body. Hear the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray <laughs> can somebody here tonight who is serious with his destiny raise up his hand and say I shall not miss my time <laughs> by the power <laughs> in the blood of Jesus <laughs> shout his seven times
Say, my father, have mercy on me in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree. You need to cry for mercy tonight. Mercy, mercy, mercy. In Jesus' name we pray. The second prayer is like it too. My father, give me open heavens in the name of Jesus. Open heavens. Jesus name we pray say I recover my past losses by fire in the name of Jesus everything you have lost in the past recover them now Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. The prayers, you will shout this loud and clear. Anointing that breaks the yoke. I am available. Incubate my life. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and ask for the anointing. The anointing that breaks the yoke. Makapota sechi la kayaba. In Jesus' name we pray. Thou power of satanic delay. Can you shout that loud? You are a liar. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, deal with the satanic delays. Something is happening here already. Jesus. Bakato satenda kaya boshanda. Ribo soponde kaya boshentera ba. Jesus name we pray. Say power. 
powers assigned to kill my joy. You are a liar. Die. In the name of Jesus. Oh, put your mouth, put your mouth, put your mouth. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus name we pray so oh God Allah raise an enemy against my enemies when God raises an enemy against your enemies they will have no time for you anymore can I hear you shouting this in the name of Jesus Raise an enemy against them. Jesus. Bakato sepela kaya busha. Daribo suponte nde kaya bushenta. Riapali katalaka. Yes. In Jesus name we pray. Now this prayer should be prayed three hot times. Powers assigned to derail my timing. Can you shout it loud? Die! In the name of Jesus. Oh, put your mouth, oh, put your mouth, oh, put your mouth. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Second time, open your mouth and pray. Aha! Something is happening right. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Number three, open your mouth and pray. Yes. Makatera Koshenta. In Jesus' name we pray. And writing of the serpent. Oh my Lord! Die! In the name of Jesus, kill the dragon of the serpent. Jesus. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Boka tenda kaya bo shende rabo sapola ba. Deri bo saponde kaya bo ko shente raba. Papola kaponde katende rabo soto laba. Ribo saponde kaya bo shenta. Makaponde katende rabo sapo. Dira bo sapila katanda ka. Bakatendi kaya ba. Ribo sapia ni kaya bo shente raba. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, now, now. Hey. This prayer, you will shout. When you say die with your load, you now convert the die with your load to machine gun. Strong man! Bringing evil load to my life! Die with your load! In the name of Jesus!
Aha! Die with your load. I shall not carry the evil load. Die with your load. Die with your load. Die with your load. Die with your load. In Jesus' name we pray. That's very good. Very good. Can you say this loud now? In my sleep tonight. Face yourself in the name of Jesus. He might sleep tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Continue, continue, continue. He might sleep tonight. Oh God, arise, manifest yourself. Manifest yourself. Manifest yourself. Manifest yourself. Manifest yourself. In Jesus name we pray. Raise up your right hand to the heavenly and declare this with boiling anger. Arrows fired into my star. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Arrows fired into my star. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Makate sepeli kaya boshendera basanta. In Jesus' name we pray. With a voice that will not give God an alternative. With a voice that is expecting something to happen right here. You will shout this loud and clear. Powers of my father's heart. Assigned to rubbish me. The powers of the father's house of Moses. Rubbish Moses. Can you shout it again? Your voice is too low. In the name of Jesus. Pata Satya Ribo Satanda Kaya Boshenta. Something is happening here tonight. refuse to be rubbish aha in Jesus name we pray if you must break through you have to be more focused than this your aggression is too low it is not like that of blind but it must be yet. Neither is it like Jacob yet. With a violent voice again, you will shout this loud and clear. Wall of Jericho! Blocking my next level! Damn! In the name of Jesus! Masa Patella Kaya Boshenta Riva Poli Katanda Santa De Katanda Yaboshenta Rabocopola Baraba Jesus Opu Yamata Puyamata Puyamata God, in the name 
name of Jesus. Move, 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 move. In Jesus' name we pray. That's better. That's better. That's better. Now with a more violent voice. Say demoting powers. Commonizing powers. Can you shout that loud? I am not your candidate. Can you say that again? Dad! In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Bakate sente yaboshenta. Da katenda rabo sopola kaya boshenta. Deri boko pola kapolika. Bana kanta rabo sopola kaya boshenta raba. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Enough is enough. Your life must change. Your story must change. Your story must change. Your story must change. Your story must change. Jesus name we pray we are now in a realm where everyone will respect the most aggressive where everyone will respect the most aggressive my life changing angel can I hear your voice beloved that voice is not loud enough. Appear in the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray say failure assigned to slaughter my destiny you are a liar in the name of Jesus failure assigned to slaughter my destiny Command the failure to die. Papota se peti la katende kea. In Jesus' name we pray. You will shout this loud and clear. Holy Ghost fire! Your voice is not loud enough. The voice is still not loud enough. Baptize me in the name of Jesus. Bapioli Katasata. Open your mouth, open your mouth. That's why Jesus brought you here. 
We are here for a special encounter. In Jesus' name we pray. <laughs> Just warming up. <laughs> warming up, warming up. When the fire strikes you, if there is anything in your life that has been pushing the anointing away, it has to give way tonight. Holy Ghost fire! Incubate my life! In the name of Jesus! 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 The power of God! In the name of Jesus! Move! 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 Aha! Aha! Somebody is breaking through! Jesus! 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 Aha! He's coming upon you now! Now the power of God! Now the power of God! So, it's moving me around. It's moving me around. It's moving me around. It's all over me. It's moving me around. The Holy Ghost fire moving me around. That's a fire. That's a fire. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Bapota kasepola kaya bo shentera baka. Bana kantara kapola katera ba. Enough is enough. Of powerlessness. Aha, aha, aha. Aha, 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 aha. Bapola kapola basatendeke. Yes, 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 yes. This is not a night to negotiate. There must be no negotiation. Aha, aha. Holy God's fire. He could make my life. 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 Amen. I'm moving close. I'm moving very close. Bakate satenda kayaba. Riba sapiale katanda. Aha. With a loud voice, you are going to shout, Holy Ghost fire, 21 hot times. The louder, the faster the fire will come upon you. Open your mouth and call it. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. right. Fire. Fire. Aha! 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 Yes! Aha! 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 Bakapata Satiala. Enough is enough of powerlessness. Enough is enough. Twenty-one times. Shout Holy Ghost fire again. Holy Ghost.
Yes. You can't hide. The fire is exposing the serpent. And the serpent is coming out. Palakata Satayaba. Ribo Saponda Kayabo Shenteraba. Say this again. Holy Ghost fire. He could bash my life. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decline. He could make my life. 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 Papota kasapola kaya bo shentera baka. Bana kantara kapola katera ba. Aha 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 aha. Bapola kapola basa tende kaya. Jesus name we pray. It's a fire that cannot be insulted. Come upon me now in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and cry. Jesus, bossa pati la kata, da riba sapon de kayabo. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Receive it, 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 receive it. In the name of Jesus. Don't keep quiet. Don't keep quiet. Thou power of God, in the name of Jesus, move, 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 move. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Declare this loud and clear. Oh, wind, oh, wind. that blow it away. Red sea. Can I hear you shouting that? In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Blow away my Red Sea. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, oh God, oh God, that do it hard things, manifest your power in my life. Can I hear you saying that again? Let your voice be louder than that. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Every power judging me in the dark. Scatter 
in the name of Jesus. Power that judges me in the dark. Scatter now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Can you shout this loud and clear? Oh God, all us! Break me! Can you say that loud? Shout it again! Your voice is not loud enough! In the name of Jesus, Masapiali Katandayaba. Jesus. Somebody ought to shout this loud. Bosente Katiaka. Riba Sapanda Kaya Boshenta. Bapala Kapola Bakapola Katanda. The river Sapanda Kaya Boshenta. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, you will clap your hands. You will sing this song loud without any negotiation. Don't worry what is happening around you. Just focus your attention on Jesus. Turn me to fire. Turn me to fire. Turn me to fire. Oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. 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 Turn me to fire, oh Lord. Turn me to fire, oh Lord. Turn me to fire, oh Lord. Louder, 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 louder. Loud, louder, 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 louder. Masopola kaya bo shendera bo sopola kaya ba. Ribo sopola kaya bo shentera bo sente. Mana ribo soponde kaya ba. Ba kaya bo. Louder, 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 louder. Aha, aha, louder, louder, louder. That is a fire. Fire. Receive it. 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 Aha! Aha! It's up the line. It's up the line. It's up the line. Aha! 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 Fire! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Say, fire! That terrifies the enemy. Can you shout it loud? Come upon me now! In the name of Jesus! The fire that will terrify them.
Jesus' name we pray. Can you shout this prayer loud and clear? Every cauldron chain fighting my destiny pray in the name of Jesus open your mouth and declare broke it the cauldron chain masika tenda yaboshenta aha in Jesus name we pray Say good things good that, is that is mine in the earth be released. That's the prayer. Can I hear you say that one? Say it again. I want you to declare that seven times and add in the name of Jesus. Let's go! Good things. Good things. Good things. Jesus, a louder amen. amen. Say, as from tonight, as from tonight. no which shall prosper in my environment. No in the name of Jesus, open your mouth and declare. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. 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 Amen. Praise God. Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. Say thank you, Jesus. Now, with a very great anger in your soul and with merciless violence, with a violence that does not care what happens in the camp of the enemy with a violence that owes no apology to any negative power pray the following prayers particularly because of the rage of the enemy these days can you shout this loud and clear any power planning to announce my obituary this year Can you shout with it boiling hunger? There is somebody here who needs to shout this prayer with boiling hunger. You are a liar. Duh! In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree it. Loud and clear. Don't negotiate. This is not a day to negotiate. Aha, aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Shout this louder than anyone here again. Grave digging powers. Assigned against me. Dig 
your griefs. Can I hear the sister saying this? Is that the best the sisters can do here today? Brothers, can I hear you shouting it loud and clear? Everybody together now. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to declare it. That's right. Bible says you shall not die but live to declare the works of God. Aha, aha. In Jesus' name we pray. So any power embarking on a wicked journey to destroy me. Can I hear everybody shouting this loud and clear? You will not come back. Can I hear you shouting this loud and clear? Aha! In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and declare it loud and clear. Let their wicked journey backfire. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Makate sente ya bo shende rabasanda. In Jesus' name we pray. Something is happening here already. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Say anything inside my body assigned to kill me. Can you say this loud and clear? In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and declare it. It is dangerous to keep quiet. Masakaya Boshanta, Rapali Katanda Kayaba, the power of God. That's right. That's right. You, the agenda from the waters, we can't see you now. You, the agenda from the seas, we can't see you now. In Jesus' name we pray. Aha, that's better. That's better. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Let us be silence now. I somebody over there. Something like a fresh dew is falling upon you where you are standing. It's as if a personal rain is falling upon you. If you are that person, I have a word for you. Your days of sorrow, they are over. Thank you, Jesus. Let there be silence now. If you are in this meeting now, and you are pregnant, but you have been having strange dreams of terrible attacks, find a way to the altar here. If you are a mother here, and your daughter is pregnant, Come out and stand in gap right now. Everybody will shout this loud and clear. Pray with power and pray with fire. Garment of sorrow. Catch fire. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to declare it. Garment must catch fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Pasata Kapola Bokora Bo Senta. Ripiani Katenda Yaba. Mashanda Rabo Sopola Kayaba. In Jesus' name we pray. Lay your hands on your tummy, sisters. Father, I commit all your daughters here unto your holy hands. I soak them and their babies in the blood of Jesus. I stand as the servant of the Most High God. 
and I decree that all of them will enter into the envelope of fire where no weapon form against them will prosper every agenda of darkness for yourself and for your pregnancy I cancel the agenda now I cancel it now I cancel it now I cancel it now I cancel it now in the name of Jesus and any witchcraft power project into your dream I bury them alive in the name of Jesus and it shall be well with you and you shall have testimonies every pronouncement by any doctor that is negative any clinical prophecy I cancel you now in the name of Jesus and right now I decree that any baby that is facing the wrong position should be repositioned correctly now in the name of Jesus thank you heavenly father in Jesus name we pray you can go back now to your seat rejoicing glory be to the name of the Lord thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus father we thank you for your money like this and we thank you for your grace and power we thank you for your loving kindness we thank you because you are our rock our strength you have never failed your people and you will never fail your people thank you for this particular edition of prayer day thank you for what you have started doing already and thank you for what you shall continue to do accept our thanks in Jesus name father I pray that by the time we leave this place today let there be no one who will go home without mighty testimonies in the name of Jesus to you father be the glory in Jesus mighty name we pray a louder amen. amen go to seven person and be a prophet unto them tell them my friend kill your Goliath by fire in the name of Jesus say to seven persons Amen. Be seated in the presence of the Lord. God bless you. Kill your Goliath by fire. That is the title of our short message. And straight away that takes us to First Samuel chapter 17. A story we know very, very well. First Samuel chapter 17. I just read a few verses from that chapter. First Samuel chapter 17. From verse 1. Now the Philistines gathered together their armies to battle and were gathered at Shoko, which belonged to Judah, and pitched between Shoko and Azekah in Ephesidamin. And Saul and the men of Israel were gathered together and pitched by the valley of Elah and set the battle in array against the Philistines. And the Philistines stood on one mountain on one side and Israel stood on, Israel stood on one mountain on the other side. And there was a valley between them. And there went out a champion out of the camp of the Philistines named Goliath of Gath, whose height was six cubits and a span. Six cubits and a span. Meaning that if you arrange myself and my interpreter together on top of each other, you still add a little bit extra to get the height of Goliath. One camp was on one mountain. Israel was on one mountain. Philistines were on the other mountain. There was a valley in between. And Goliath will go to this valley with very, very fearful credentials and will begin to talk. Let's look at a few of the credentials. It was very tall, about 14 feet tall. It was five, and he had an element of brass upon his head, and he was armed with a coat of maul, and the weight of the coat was 5,000 shekels of brass. And he had grips of brass upon his legs and a target of brass between his shoulders. And the staff of his spear was like a weaver's beam, and his spear's head weighed 600 shekels of iron, and one bearing a shield went before him. What a terrible credential. Very fearful. Verse 8. And he stood and cried unto the armies of Israel. He was not quiet at all. He was shouting. 
Why are you come out to set yourself to battle in array? Am I not a Philistine and ye are servants of Saul? Choose you a man for you and let him come down to me. If you be able to fight with me and to kill me, then we will be your servants. But if I prevail against him and kill him, then shall he be our servants and serve us. And the Philistine said, I defy the armies of Israel this day. Give me a man that we may fight together. The Bible says, when Saul and all Israel had those wars of the Philistines, they were dismayed and greatly troubled. They were dismayed and greatly troubled. Goliath was facing the children of Israel. Goliath ridiculed the children of Israel for 40 good days. He was coming twice a day for 40 days. The man had come out to boast 80 times. It was on the 81st time that he met David. He said, choose a man for yourself. He said, let him come and fight. The army of Israel continued to gather and to shout war cries. But God's presence had been withdrawn. I decree today, whatsoever will make the Almighty to depart from your camp, shall die. In the name of Jesus. Parading in very nice, diligently iron military uniform was very easy. But defeating Goliath was a serious problem. You only call yourself a professor or a president or whatever name you have when there is no Goliath facing you. When Goliath appears at the battlefield, we will know who the professors are. Goliath looked at the children of Israel with contempt and disdain. And it was very, very serious. But then Goliath made a serious mistake. He was not aware that there was another factor to be taken into account. He was not aware that he was confronting a covenant people. He was not aware that somebody was going to come who understood that covenant. David understood that he was a covenant child. He knew that he bore the covenant mark of circumcision in his body. So regardless of the strange knowledge, intelligence of the enemy, David knew he had an advantage. That's why in verse 26 of 1 Samuel 17, verse 26, And David spake to the men that stood by him, saying, what shall be done to the man that killed this Philistine and take away this reproach from Israel? He said, For who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he should defy the armies of the living God? David was not impressed and was not, was not scared of what the fellow was saying. I'm sure that by the time when, when, whenever Goliath woke up in the morning, he would go to the mirror and check himself. He would see that he's a giant. He said, today I'm going away to, I'm going to trouble the Israelites again. I'm going to shake them again. I'm going to shake their confidence. However, David did not see Goliath the way Goliath saw himself. Fortunately for David, Goliath had a very big head. So when a Goliath confronts you, you should be happy that it's so big so that when you throw your stone, you can't miss. Instead of fearing before the Goliath. So as the giant came and roared out his challenge again, David was not impressed. David turned to the people around him and said, Who, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? Just as a believer, you too can ask, Who is this uncircumcised native doctor? Who is this one threatening us here? Yeah. David said, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? The Goliath was seeing himself as one thing. David looked at him from another perspective. As far as David was concerned, he was uncircumcised. He was a hidden. He was not a child of God. And because of that, there was nobody to worry about. David knew that because, because he was uncircumcised, he, God cannot be with him. David had a big view of his God and is trusted in that God. He was not saying, ah, too big, I will run away. But it's too big, I will not miss my target. To him, Goliath may be a big giant, but as far as God is concerned, he must fall before the living God. Unfortunately, many of us see our Goliath before we see God. Many hide before the enemy expecting certain defeat. David said, but who is this uncircumcised Philistine? 
The same question I'm asking you today, who is the uncircumcised finishing trouble in your life? He shall fall down before you in the name of Jesus. I want you to understand this factor very well. There are powers and there are powers. Anytime you read the Old Testament, what you see there is a shadow of what you now see as substance in the New Testament. If you see some establishment in the Old Testament, but you don't see them again, the spirit behind them is still in existence. Babylon is, of the Old Testament is gone now. The spirit of Babylon is still with us. Jezebel is gone. The spirit of Jezebel is still here. All kinds of those establishments, they are gone, but they are still here. There is a spirit known as the spirit of Goliath. And that is what we are here to confront at this particular edition of prayer. What is the spirit of Goliath? Number one, giant problems. I pray that any giant problem harassing anyone here today shall be buried alive in the name of Jesus. What is the spirit of Goliath? Number two is boasting problems. Boasting that I will finish you. Do this. I will do that. What is the spirit of Goliath? Persistent problems. Much as you try to run away, the problem keeps pursuing you. What is the spirit of Goliath? Problems that instill fear into your heart. What is the spirit of Goliath? They are the well-trained enemies. They've trained them well. We call them the spirit of Goliath. This is a serious matter. That's why Saul told David, say, ah, the thou art but a youth. But this man had been a man of war from his youth. He had been trained to destroy. I pray that every well-trained enemy assigned against anyone here shall scatter in the name of Jesus. Shall scatter, 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 shall scatter in the name of Jesus. What is the spirit of Goliath? It is the cursing enemy. Issuing curses against you. Powers hired to curse you. What is the spirit of Goliath? They are the threatening enemies. Threatening people. What is the spirit of Goliath? They are the confident enemy. They are so confident. What is the spirit of Goliath? They are the armored enemies. What is the spirit of Goliath? It is the unrepentant and stubborn strong man. What is the spirit of Goliath? It is the loud enemy making great noise about it. What is the spirit of Goliath? That the powers define our faith and mocking our prayers. What is the spirit of Goliath? It is the enemies with very fearful credentials. What is the spirit of Goliath? It is the, it is the spirit of destruction. Perhaps you are here now. You notice that no matter how hard you try, you have been denied to your rightful position in life. Kill that Goliath by fire today. Perhaps you are here today and there is a long time anybody has congratulated you for anything. Kill that Goliath that is stealing your testimony today. Maybe you are here today, already some people are advising you to go to the enemy's camp. Or physical and spiritual doctors have destroyed your body. You need to deal with the Goliath by fire. This is why we are gathered here today. A lot of people who should have moved forward in life were prevented from doing so by domestic Goliath. The picture of this man shown in scripture, the spirit of it is still in existence now. And we need to deal with it prophetically the way David dealt with it. David prophesied against the Goliath. He ran towards the Goliath. The first thing that shocked Goliath was that he wasn't used to people running towards him. He was used to people running away. When he saw this small boy running towards him, that shocked him. Fortunately, he had a very big head. And David threw the stone. It was not David that guided the stone to his head. Evans just took the stone from the sky and looked at Goliath very well. Then the unprotected place in his forehead 
was where the stone just went in. I pray that today you will locate the unprotected head of your Goliath. And your prayer stone shall go inside. In the name of Jesus. No matter who the Goliath is. No matter what personality or force they represent. One thing is certain. There is no power that can contest against the power of the living God. All powers, all associations, all organizations, all personalities that have ever tried to confront the power of the almighty God were ruined by the power of God. That's why I know that any negative power conf- confronting your life as a Goliath shall be ruined by the rock of ages. In the name of Jesus. What do you need to do? The first thing you need to do is to surrender your life to Jesus. Second thing is to wage war against this Goliath by praying prophetic prayers. By using the authority that God has given to you as a child of God. A lot of us have been running for Goliath for a long time. It's now time for you to run towards that giant and deal with that giant. Let me share with you some, one of my favorite testimonies of a man who was not afraid of Goliath. He was at Ido bus stop. This old man boarded a bus. Molue. This man of God too boarded the same bus. The bus was going to Kurudu. As they were going, the conductor in the bus began to insult this old man. The old man said, no problem. When we get to Kurudu bus stop, you will see. And the man didn't talk again. Although the conductor was talking all kinds of rubbish against the man, like they normally do. When they now got to Okorodu, the main garage, the old man got down, put his hand in the pocket of his abada, and brought out a horn. In the inside the horn was a viper tooth, and it began incantations. Blah, 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 blah. And he faced the conductor. He said, remove your shirt. And the conductor took off his shirt and put it down. He continued the incantation. He said, remove your trouser. And the conductor unbuttoned his trouser and removed it. Remaining only a singlet and his very, very dirty pound. And you know Lagos people? They were already gathered. You know in Lagos, even if two cocks are fighting, the people gathered. They gathered. They were watching this. A display of Goliath power. As he started the incantation again to ask the young man to remove his singlet, the man of God in the bus now moved in. Because gradually he was turning that conductor boy to a mad person. The man of God now stepped in and said, Baba, sorry now. If we need somebody offense, God, God forgives. So please forgive this little boy. Ah. He looked at the man of God. Ah, ah, ah. Who called you into this matter? Now? Why are you putting your mouth in what does not concern you? I will teach you a lesson. Put his hand into his pocket again. Brought out the horn with the viper tooth. Began the incantation again. After the incantation, he said, remove your coat. Man of God said, in Jesus' name, I will not remove my coat. And he did not remove his coat. The man said, oh no. Because these Jesus people are always causing trouble. Straight away, the man of God turned to the conductor. Say, said, I command you in the name of Jesus, wear your trousers. He took his trousers and wore it. He said, I command you in the name of Jesus, wear your shirt. The people were dumbfounded. Because in one hand, they saw one power turning somebody mad. In another hand, they saw another power reversing it on the spot. And they, they could not move. They were, they were stuck. At that moment, the man of God began to preach. Everybody gave their life. Everybody. The beauty of this testimony that the man with the horn and the viper tooth is now a pastor. What happened that day proved to him that there is a power that cannot be challenged. There is a power that, is, that you cannot contest with. It is the power that killed Goliath. The power that divided the Red Sea. It's unto that power you need to call today. But if you are afraid, 
I, de- I advise you not to pray. Because the arrow can, be, can go to anywhere. This arrow. This arrow can go to anywhere. That was a brother. He lived in a house. And every night, every night, immediately he sleeps. Gunshot. Gunshot. B, B, Bo, Bo, Bo. If he closes his eye, they'll be shooting him. If he opens his eye, they'll be shooting him. Sarah, what kind of thing is this? So he went to his pastor to complain. I said, Pastor, this house that I've just moved to, every time I sleep, it's shooting, shooting throughout the night. If I close my eyes, they're shooting. If I open my eyes, they're shooting. Immediately, it's 12 midnight. B, 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 B. It's very funny, Pastor. I said, Well, they are shooting at you, shoot them back. I said, Pastor, is that all you are going to say? Oh, yeah, they're shooting. You two shoot. Okay. He went home. That particular night, 12 midnight again, they started their shooting. The brother now stood up, away from his bed, and he raised his voice loud and clear. You the shooting powers. I shoot you back. I shoot you back. I shoot you back. In the name of Jesus. That was the prayer was praying. All of a sudden, he heard noises of people climbing the staircase. Guri, 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 guri. They're climbing the staircase. Plenty of noise in the house. Hey, hey. Landlady, oh landlady, 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 landlady. So he now came out. I said, What's the matter? He said, We don't know. Something's wrong with landlady. We want to take her to the hospital. She's screaming, she's screaming. I've been shot, I've been shot, I've been shot. But there's no gun. We don't see this any gun. It didn't occur to the brother what was happening. He to rush upstairs and saw the woman rolling about. He said, Mama, let me pray for you. Let me pray for you. I said, Don't move close to this place. Don't move close. Don't touch me. You are the one that caused the problem. When Goliath has decided to become a human being, anything that happens to them is their fault. Rise up on your feet now. All eyes closed. We have plenty of prayers to pray in a short time. All eyes closed. But you see, if you are here this morning and you are not born again, you've not just surrendered your life to Jesus. Please, don't hesitate. Come forward very quickly so that you too can be able to deal with your Goliath today. You want to surrender your life to Jesus? You've not done so before. Just run quickly to the front here. Jesus is waiting for you here so that you too can confront and defeat your Goliath today. Just come to the front very quickly. Jesus is waiting for you here. Thank you, Jesus. Those of you at the front, I congratulate you. Just bow down your heads and say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children here who have surrendered their lives to you today. Let your power fall upon them. Keep them standing by your power. The decision they've taken today, make it permanent in their lives. Write their names in the book of life. Today they have surrendered their lives to Jesus. Let any Goliath confronting them be destroyed. In Jesus' name we pray. Those of you at the front, open your eyes and look at us here. You've taken the most important decision in life. Please just follow this pastor for a few minutes. God bless you as you do so. The rest of us should remain standing now. And we should close our eyes. The first thing I'd like you to do is to talk to the Lord. The Bible says, Do your sin be as red as crimson, they shall be as white as wool. 
Confess your sins to the Lord. Any sin that will make your Goliath to still be walking about after this prayer, in, confess that sin to the Lord. Make today a day of great warfare and victory in your life. You have a great opportunity now. Use it very well. Thank you, Jesus. Ask him to forgive you of any sin, any iniquity. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says, that the words of my mouth and meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O God. Confess all the unacceptable thoughts. Amen. Now, we need to make up our mind whether we are interested in comforting Goliath today or not. Once your mind is made up, then get ready to pray. The prayers are not gentlemen prayers. These are the last days. Gentlemen prayers don't work no more. With fire in your voice. Without any apology to any power. You will shout this loud and clear. Shout it with all the force you can gather within you. Goliath of my father's heart! Assigned to waste my life! There is a sister who needs to shout this prayer with boiling anger. Goliath of my father's heart! Assigned to waste my life! Your time is up. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to declare. Yes, kill the God by fire. Aha, aha! The power of God. In the name of Jesus, move. Aha. Yes, 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 yes. Something is happening there. Spirit of the living God. Move, 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 move. Aha, aha, aha. That's the power of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Let there be silence. Silence, beloved. Something has to be addressed right away. You, that python power, the serpent power, that has already been inserted into the body of this person, the internal Goliath, your time is up. Now, by the power in the blood of Jesus, come out of that hiding place. In the name which is above all legs. In the name of Jesus. Come out of the hiding place. Silence now. It's coming out. The Goliath from the waters. Loose your hold now. In the name of Jesus. The Goliath from the forest. Loose your hold now. In the name of Jesus. The Goliath of house of witchcraft. Loose your hold now. In the name of Jesus. It's happening. Aha. Somebody has been healed from deafness in one ear. Somebody has been healed from impotency. The arrow fired against you has just gone back to the senders. There is a rope joining somebody to an evil tree. And this tree has been controlling your life. The rope has been broken now. Somebody has been set free from internal body odor. The enemy is trying to destroy favor in your life. That one is happening over there. There is somebody over there too. You have been down all your life. The Lord said, I should tell you that you have been lifted up now. Ah. Ah. Say Goliath magic. A sign against me. Deal with 
the magic. That's right. Basete kaya bo shende rabo konta. Do with the magic. In Jesus' name we pray. Goliath fetish power. A sign against me. Backfire. In the name of Jesus. Tell the fetish power to backfire. Jesus. Jesus. Aha, aha, aha. In Jesus' name we pray. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Goliath, spirit husband. If you're a man, say wife. Shout it loud and clear. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth. That's why Jesus brought you here. Yes. Yes, yes. In Jesus' name we pray. The power of God is about to come upon the sister now. When that power of God comes upon you, you will not be able to stand on your feet again. But then the infirmity in your blood will vanish instantly. Yes, that's the power of God coming upon you. That's right. Aha. Goliath infirmities. Death. In the name of Jesus. Aha, aha, aha. Masekaya Boshantara Boraba. In Jesus' name we pray. Seventeen persons are about to receive instant deliverance now from the Goliath of domestic witchcraft. Your enemies are members of your own household and they have been troubling your destiny. Right there where you are, the power of God is coming upon you in the name which is above all names. In the name of Jesus, let the power of God move upon these 17 people. That's number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And that's number 17. Masika Pushendera Bokontondaraba. Riboselia Caponde Kayaboshenta Goliath from the waters. Death! In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Pacapota Safala Kayabashanda. Rabo soponda kaya bo shente raba kaya ba, bana kanta rabo soto laba kaya ba, ba shente ra. In Jesus' name we pray. As we pray this next prayer, if you are that person here, a fellow human being came to you, and he said, "I will destroy you." Find a way to this altar. And be on your knees as you pray this next prayer. Pray the prayer with anger and with violence. Busted Goliath! You are a liar! Dead! In the name of Jesus! Aha, 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 aha! Posate kaya bo shantara bo kopa. Bana kanda rabo koso pola bakaya boshanta, bakatenda rabo soto lakaya boshanta, bakapo rapo la santia, makapea likasanda. Yes, let the arrows backfire. In Jesus' name we pray. I 
decree by the decree of heavens. Uh, any power that wants to destroy you shall be destroyed. 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 In the name of Jesus. And you shall not die but live and declare the works of God. In Jesus' name we pray. You may go back to your seat rejoicing now. Makato sepe la kayabo. Boraka sentendia. Riapolia kayabos. Yes, that arrow already fired into your brain. The one fired into your leg. The one fired into your womb. It's coming out. It's coming out. It's coming out. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You will say this loud and clear. Go lie out of poverty. Die! In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare it. In Jesus' name we pray. If you know that your Goliath has been dealt with here today, pick any song of praises, sing it loud and clear to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen. Let us share the grace in fellowship. silence now. Within the next few minutes, the power of God without dilution 
will flow into everyone whose heart is ready to receive from the Lord. So wherever you are and you are connected to this program or you are here physically, wherever you are, connect to the power of the God who created the heavens and the earth. Connect to the power of him who has no respect for impossibility. Connect to the power of him who goes from country to country, city to city, village to village. Connect to the imperial power. As I pray now, let your amen be super dynamic. Father, in the name of Jesus. That amen is not loud enough. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we are gathered at this program. Plugging your head into the socket of divine blessings. Father, I'm praying right now. That as many people as are here. As many people as are connected to this program. Every evil personality troubling the destiny of anyone should depart right now in the name of Jesus every double personality triple personality troubling anyone here multiple personalities that place you are is not your habitation for it is written that every tree that the father has not planted shall be rooted up and thrown into the fire so any force, any personality, any power that is troubling the destiny of anyone here or anyone connected to this program in the name which is above all names, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, lose your hold now. Lose your hold. 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 In the name of Jesus. Father, as many people whose spirits have been imprisoned and so they cannot achieve their potential whatever such people are now let the power of deliverance fall upon them in the name of Jesus receive your deliverance receive your deliverance receive your deliverance receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus let your amen rule like thunder Let there be silence now. Father, as many as are connected to this program, and the problem they are having is a problem of envious witchcraft. Let the arrows of envious witchcraft upon such people backfire now. In the name of Jesus. Father, something is happening right now. There are ten persons, like this personality that follows you about, spoiling everything you are doing. Right there where you are, the hand of fire is coming upon you to release you from that grip. That's number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can't follow her anymore. Let her go. 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 In the name of Jesus. I address that personality that covers your correct self up. Demoting your correct spirit and representing you in the spirit realm. Myself in Akatia. Be released from that grip now. In the name of Jesus. Ah, that's right. Silence. 
the power of God is going to follow some people. Two categories of people. The first category, some birds have been assigned to your environment to form a covenant. And the target is you. Very soon the power of God will fall upon you. And their mission shall fail. Jesus. Second category of people. Your sickness started suddenly. Due to a spiritual attack. Right there where you are. The power of God is going to fall upon you. As I call the name of Jesus seven times here. On that seven call of that name. The spirit responsible for the problem. Will be hit by the volcanic power of God. And will depart from you immediately. Jesus. 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 That's right. Return to her. What you have stolen from her in the womb. Return to her. That you shall have stolen from her in the womb. Return to her. That you shall have stolen from her in the womb. Silence. If you are the person here and your name is beating me, right there where you are, there's an angel of God by your side that has recovered everything you've lost and putting them back into your head from where they were stolen. That's the power of God coming upon you. Stretch your right hand towards this altar now. Father, this hands that are stretched forth. Put your liquid fire upon it. Fire to remove every infirmity. Fire to burn and cast out every plantation of the enemy. In the name of Jesus. The one said we shall lay our hands on the sick and the sick shall recover. Let the recovery power fall upon these hands in the name of Jesus. Now, anywhere you have infirmity in your body. Or you were attacked in your dream. Smite it 21 hot times. Even if it's pending, you smite it. Get yourself ready now. And as you smite it, say, go back to your senders. In the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders. In the name of Jesus. Let's go! Amen. Check your body now. If you discover that you have been healed, the pain, the problem you brought here has disappeared. Run quickly to this altar. Don't allow the devil to put the problem back. Run quickly to the altar. Thank you, Jesus. Shout this louder than anyone around you. This is not a negotiating prayer. For we are not here tonight to negotiate. You will ask a question. My virtues. What are you doing in the valley of witchcraft? Can you shout this loud? Jesus, that's right. Recover your virtues tonight, 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 tonight. Recover your virtues in the name of Jesus. Papila Katende Kerabo Sopola Kayabo Shanda. Recover your virtues in the name of Jesus.
Jesus name we pray the powers assigned to kill me before my testimony can you say that with holy anger let that voice be louder than that you are a liar in the name of Jesus deal with those powers now Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Then we pray. The Bible says, No man likes a candle and go and put it under the bed. That's why I want you to pray this prayer with boiling anger. Powers assigned to push my candle under the bed. Can you shout this loud? In the name of Jesus. Cover the testimonies, we cover the signs and wonders with the blood of Jesus. I decree that affliction will not rise again in your lives in the name of Jesus. The power of God will arise and fight all your battles in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Now raise your right hand to the heavens. I would decree like this my blessings hanging in the heavens. Can you shout this loud? Drop upon my hand. In the name of Jesus. Command you to drop upon your hands. then we pray Father we thank you Lord continue to lay your hands upon us open our understanding tonight in Jesus mighty name we pray grace of God we are starting a new series of very powerful teachings these are the last days and we need to be able to identify all the operations of the enemy within and without and deal with them. So for the next few months, directly ending at the time we're going to start our 70 days prayer and fasting, we're going to be looking at a general theme called witchcraft in the church. And we're going to be dealing with these various aspects of this topic. So what I want to do tonight is just to give you a general introduction then various lecturers will come and deal with various aspects in more detail. If you take the hand out of your hand, you'll see the memory verse. First Samuel chapter 15, verse 22 to 23. Let us read this memory verse slowly together. Let's go. And Samuel said, And the Lord has great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices, 
as in obeying the voice of the Lord. Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice, and to hearken than the fat of rams. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. Because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, he hath also rejected thee from being king. That is the memory verse. This particular memory verse was taught to someone like me when I was very small at our children's Sunday school in those days. That obedience is better than sacrifice and hackening than the fat of rams. And that rebellion is the same thing as the sin of witchcraft. And stubbornness is the same thing as idolatry. And this was what dealt with Saul in the Bible. Look at the introduction in your handout. As we approach the close of the age, we see that many terrible things have found their way into the church. Unless an acidic surgery is carried out to cut off these things, the present generation may not witness a revival. Among other things like seduction, worldliness, backsliding, falsehood, merchandising, witchcraft has taken over many congregations. The purpose of the current study is to identify, isolate, expose, and radically banish witchcraft from our midst. And that leads us directly to the first major question, which you see very clearly in your under What is witchcraft? From the hand out to your hand, you see various definitions. The reason those definitions are there is for you to know that witchcraft is more complicated than what we think. It's not as simple as some people think. Witchcraft is a highly organized demonic entity that covers so many aspects of human life. Witchcraft started right back in the Garden of Eden when God told Adam, Thou shalt not. And he disobeyed. Immediately Adam, Adam disobeyed, he went into witchcraft. You can see various definitions there. Witchcraft is conference with the devil to carry out wicked acts. Anytime you cooperate with an evil voice in your life to go and do something bad, you are a witch. Person becomes a witch entirely. Witchcraft is the use of evil power to undo or subdue another. Witchcraft is the use of satanic weapons to cause evil to others. Witchcraft is the summoning of evil powers to carry out evil assignments. Witchcraft is counterfeit spiritual authority. Witchcraft is wanting to be spiritual without submitting to God or regarding his words. Any power that you get, any spiritual power that a man gets outside the Bible, outside the Holy Spirit, outside the Word of God, is witchcraft. Something is wrong somewhere when there is a resident power in you that is achieving something and that power is not derived from God. A woman said, I don't know what's wrong with me. Anywhere I go, men are just falling over and dying for me. It's witchcraft. But another version of it. Because it's definitely not the Holy Spirit, that one. Witchcraft is assessing wicked powers from the earth and from the heavenlies. Witchcraft is moving in the realm of the Spirit without the Holy Spirit. Anybody who prophesies without the anointing, you begin to speak as if God is speaking to you when nothing is talking to you. It is witchcraft. Witchcraft is domination, manipulation, and control using any spirit different from the Holy Spirit. Witchcraft is the coordinating center of the operations of the devil to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Witchcraft is an intercourse with evil spirits to carry out wicked desire. Witchcraft is the use of everything in devil's armory to destroy the chance of a human being fulfilling his divine destiny. Witchcraft is the existence of supernatural powers by possessed persons in league with the devil or evil spirit. Witchcraft is the practice of magic, sorcery, or wizardry. Witchcraft is the act of causing continuous 
relentless torment, oppression, dullness of the mind through the use of satanic instruments. Witchcraft is the highest point in satanic programs. Witchcraft means to bend. I purposely went through those definitions with you one by one so that you can know that witchcraft is a terrible thing. Witchcraft is when a person is doing Satan's will. And anywhere you go in the world, as you go from one geographical location to the other, you find the spirit of witchcraft operating, but it is in a different format in every area. The devil has repackaged that witchcraft to suit the taste of man. You go to the Arab world, they have their own version of witchcraft. You go to the black world, you find their own version. You go to the white man's country, you find their own version. Many times in this country, they will find, will find people stoning witches outside who were confessing. And this is a very serious matter. And therefore, the Bible goes into some serious issues. And the Bible is very aggressive anytime the issue of witchcraft is mentioned. So the Bible doesn't take it easy at all with any little dot of witchcraft particle in any area. And therefore, you find those scriptures written down there which you should read when you get home. But there are two of them we must not fail to read here. They are saying essentially the same thing. In Leviticus chapter 20, verse 27. Leviticus 20, 27. What does this say? Leviticus 20, 27. A man, also a woman, that hath a familiar spirit, or that is a wizard, shall surely be put to what? Death. They shall stone them with stones. Their blood shall be upon them. There are very, very few things in the Bible where the Bible will talk about death sentence. Witchcraft is one of those few. So God has passed both physical and spiritual death sentence on all forms of witchcraft. In Exodus chapter 22, verse 18, Exodus 22, 18, a scripture we all know, Exodus 22, 18 says, Thou shall not suffer a witch to live. Don't let them remain. Because they are remaining is problem. And they will cause trouble. That's why we have these terrible facts about witchcraft. Because witchcraft is more complicated than we think. And many good people are being controlled and manipulated by it. Many are battling with witchcraft right now, but they don't know what is happening to them. Others know that witchcraft is attacking them, but they do not know how to break free. Many nations are having problems now because they are receiving witchcraft powers that were once buried by the missionaries. And witchcraft is so serious and terrible now that it has infiltrated churches, schools, love relationships, entertainment, drama, recreation, television, movies, medicine, government, law, business, it has penetrated all this. In fact, from the names given to some products, you will know that this is witchcraft. And a lot of modern men are suffering from this kind of trouble. Many years ago, one of my friends, an evangelist, was sent to a church to go and minister. It was a very strange message the Lord sent him. The Lord said he should go and hold a seven days revival in that church. And that he has only one message the seven days. That he should go to the pulpit, pray the opening prayer, and say this single sentence. For all you witches in this church, hear the word of the Lord. The Lord said you have been doing your own sin so he will start his own very soon. Rise up and let us pray. That was the sermon. Day one, day two, day three. He comes to the pulpit and that's all he said. On the second to the last day, people were coming for counseling. Then one woman came for counseling. 
who was a church mother. She was vibrating and said, Man of God, pray for me. That there is a bone of a child stuck in her throat. And that the man of God should pray for her. Man of God said, Have I not been warning you here? There is no prayer. You must die. And more people followed who were into this kind of thing, but they were hiding under the cover of religion. If you are here tonight and you are into witchcraft, familiar spirit, and all those things, I have an information for you. You are wasting your destiny. And the earlier you jump out and run to Jesus, the better for you. The devil has no good plan for your life. Or what good plan is it when the devil asks a mother to kill her only child? Why should you want to kill those who will look after you when you are old? So if you are here, you are under that category. You better repent very quickly and run to Jesus. Witchcraft is a terrible, terrible thing. And uh, if you look at your Bible very well, you find that there are different categories of witchcraft. Look at it in your under different kinds of witchcraft. Number one kind of witchcraft is witchcraft by evil powers. What do you mean by witchcraft by evil powers? I mean, th these are those who have strange powers who go to meetings at night, fly to witchcraft covens, and destroy lives. This is witchcraft by evil powers. And under witchcraft by evil powers, there are four categories. There is inherited witchcraft. There is witchcraft by decision. There is witchcraft by force. There is blind witchcraft. The, the person is into witchcraft and the person does not know. He said, man of God, is it possible to be a witch without knowing? Oh yes. You can be anything without knowing. If the enemy blocks your spiritual monitor. The people I feel sorry for most are those who are into forced witchcraft. They are not interested. They don't want to belong. But a strange power has gripped them. And the strange power is saying, you are one of us whether you like it or not. And this is usually the situation when somebody is very careless. You eat anywhere at any time. You take food from this, take food from that. And they give you witchcraft food and you get initiated. Somebody is licking sweet and you ask him to break the sweet into two and throw it into your mouth. You now realize that after licking that sweet, you keep finding yourself in a strange place in your dream. And you don't want to go there. You don't like it. You keep finding yourself there. I feel sorry for such people a lot. There are some who are witches and they know they are witches and they know they are wicked and they want to be wicked. That is one category. The second category where there are many, many candidates and members is witchcraft as works of the flesh. Which you find in Galatians chapter 5, 19 to 20. The scripture is already written out in your hand out there. Now the works of the flesh are manifest. Which are these? Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulation, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies. There is witchcraft as evil power. There is witchcraft as works of the flesh. And this is where many, many people belong. This is where that scripture now comes in. That rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. Rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. And stubbornness is like idolatry. To be stubborn is to refuse to take instructions. To be stubborn is to be rigid. To be stubborn is to wish to have one's way all the time. To rebel now is not only to refuse instructions, as in stubbornness, but to rebel means to actively oppose the authority behind the instruction of us that was given. Rebellion says, I will not do it. Stubbornness says, I will do it my way. 
I will do it my way. You reject the authority behind that instruction. So what are we now saying? We see that one does not have to belong to a coven to be a witch. One does not have to fly at night to go through conscious and unconscious process of witchcraft initiation in order to qualify as a witch. A rebellious child is a witch. A rebellion and stubborn wife is also a witch. A rebellious and stubborn husband is a witch. And herein lies a serious problem. Right now, there is a growing consciousness against the satanic forces of witchcraft in the house of God. A lot of Christians seem very conscious and cautious about witches and their activities. But the tragedy is this, beloved. Many of us who are looking so often for witches outside the church, we do not realize anything about witchcraft inside the church. Many of the so-called witch-hunting ministers and witch-hunting pastors are witches and wizards themselves. It is frightening to know that many Christian gardens are gardens of witches and wizards. Many years ago, we prayed our hearts out for somebody here. And God delivered her at that time. Then she ran away from Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries because she said all the women are looking dull. And she wanted to look bright. By the time she would come back here, she had received terrible injury in the church she went to. They made her the chair lady of one woman's league, league association. There were 36 members in that group. In the whole of that group, this woman was the only one who was not a witch. But she was the chair woman. Trouble started in her life. The first son died. Second daughter died. Then she too became sick. Was at that level, she ran back. What? Madam, you are back? Say yes. When I saw her, she couldn't know why, whether there was lipstick anywhere again. Beloved, it is when there is no problem, you are talking about painting your lips. She said, Man of God, pray. I said, No, you take this prayer up and begin to pray. She started praying. The way she was praying here before she left, as she was praying, God opened her eyes. And she found herself inside that same church on the day of their last anniversary. Normally, as the chair lady, she's the one who will carry a big porcelain plate with money inside and will be dancing forward. All the other group will be dancing after her. What a wonder. A woman is carrying a plate of money and dancing and there are 35 witches dancing after her. And they were singing, Mommy Johnson, it is your time to shine. It is your time to shine. It is your time. It is your time. It is your time to shine. That's what they were thinking after. In real life. But when God opened her eyes in that vision, what she was hearing was this. Mommy Johnson, it is your time to fly. She said, yeah. So this is what you were saying. Beloved, it is a tragedy if you get to the gate of the kingdom of God. You appear outside the gates of paradise and you say, I want to get in here. You say, no, you can't enter this gate. So so what's, my, what's the reason? So because you're a witch. So I say, no, I, no, I, I'm from a Bible-believing church. I did deliverance. I don't fly at night. I don't drink people's blood. Are you calling me a witch? No. Rebellion is as the sin with God. God put a rebellious person in the same category as witches and wizards. A lot of people are in this category without knowing. Simply because rebellion is the same category, the same thing as sin of witchcraft. A lot of us need to, first of all, pray fire prayers against the witch in us. So that, that when that witch in us dies and rebellion to the Almighty becomes zero, then we can move and climb higher into our destiny. Beloved, this is what we are saying, which you should understand very well now. Witchcraft 
in the two forms that we have mentioned, evil powers, works of the flesh, has penetrated practically all churches. It has, it has penetrated. Now, there are many churches who don't pray at all. I feel sorry for them. There are some churches who don't even believe that you need deliverance. I feel sorry for them. Because what will happen is that eventually witchcraft will take over the control of that church. They take control of that church and they will control the place. When witchcraft as works of the flesh has reached a maximum capacity in a church of God, then witchcraft as evil power finds it so difficult to finish up people as praise. Unfortunately, many born-again Christians are practitioners of this kind of witchcraft. I know that many of you here don't know my daddy. Many, many years ago, they invited him to come and preach at a harvest, church harvest. He didn't know that the purpose of harvest is to collect money. He thought the purpose was to tell the truth. He prepared himself seriously with prayer and with fasting and everything. They brought a vehicle to come and pick him to the church. He got to the pulpit. He read a passage from Sephaniah, which says, The day of the Lord is coming, and the mighty man shall cry there bitterly. Five minutes into the message, the general overseer ordered that he should be picked up from the pulpit and thrown out. They pulled his coat from behind and threw him outside. So what? We're here to collect money. What do you mean by the mighty man shall cry there bitterly? Witchcraft in the house of God. The sad part is this, which is very, very sad. When somebody is internally stubborn, the stubbornness may not show on the outside. When somebody is rebellious to God inside, the rebellion may not even show in the house of God. For example, if God wakes you up at night, say, daughter, I begin to pray. But you refuse to do the prayer. You slept. It's rebellion. You're already a witch. And immediately a person lives in rebellion. Death is already at work. Because death sentence had been passed on witches and wizards in the Bible. In many of such Christians, the dead works more slowly than the others. They will be dying quietly and softly. You find some of these believers, they are just losing weight and melting away, and you don't know what is wrong with them. Others are attacked by incurable and strange disease, and they die suddenly. Others do not look sick, but the dead is already at work in their bodies. Some of these holy and Pentecostal witches have died suddenly and we have wondered how can this happen to a prayer warrior? How can this happen to a prayer warrior? How can this happen to a powerful evangelist? How can this happen to this lady evangelist? How can this happen to this powerful man of God? But when the powerful man of God was anointing women's breasts, you didn't know at that time. When he was putting his hands into strange places in people's bodies, you didn't know at that time. When I was collecting strange money, you didn't know at that time. Many of us will not know that there have been witches and wizards for years, and they will be doing all kinds of things. As a believer, I was in one church one day. I was a young Christian at that time. That day, beloved, I was very scared. Really visibly shaking. Visibly shaking. I was at this powerful early morning prayer meeting. In those days, I didn't have the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And I used to envy and admire those who prophesied, who spoke in tongues, who spoke for God. And we were in this beautiful morning prayer meeting. All of a sudden, I noticed that the person beside me began to vibrate. And he began to flow in beautiful tongues and gave powerful prophecies. The whole of the building was shaking under that voice. You could feel the anointing in his voice. I said, oh God... How will it be so nice if I'm like this brother? we we'll close the service. I gave the conductor money. After some time, the conductor faced him again and said, where is money? Hold up. The man said, I've given you the money. The conductor said, you're a thief. You didn't give me anything. The driver, stop, stop. I must throw this man down. All of a sudden, I had, ah, what? Idiot, nonsense, rubbish. And he began to tie his fist. And he began to fight. Ah. It was as if watching an angel fighting. I was discouraged and scared. 
that this man that prophesied powerfully like this could degenerate into this. It worried me for many years until I grew in the things of God and I began to learn about disposable vessels, permanent vessels, began to learn about two spirits in a man, two spirits are sharing a person for use. I began to learn those things. Then I began to learn about the works of the flesh as witchcraft. I began to learn about bus conductors for the Almighty, the Agbero people. Those who just say, come here, come here, come here, but they won't go themselves. The day I heard that the brother had died, I was shocked. Ordinary malaria. And that was it. We lamented. We wept. But we didn't know that that sentence had already started demolishing him. Demolishing him. Demolishing him. Demolishing him. I want you to understand. Anytime you begin to do things that you yourself know that it's unscriptural. And the Spirit of God within you is protesting that this is bad, this is bad. Anytime you do it, you feel depressed, you feel unhappy, yet you see go and do it. You're already becoming a senior witch. And that sentence will already be at work. And the person will be dying slowly. Slowly, slowly. Even if you have a whole cupboard full of drugs in your house, the moment you swallow the drug, the demons will swallow it too. The moment you swallow your concussion, they will swallow it first. So when somebody begins to disobey God, what you do is that you align yourself with Satan. By choosing to disobey God, a brother or a sister will fit into Satan's plan against God. In several homes, Christian homes, the wives are witches and the husbands are wizards. Why? Because both of them are living in disobedience. The wife is saying, no one is going to control me here. In the name of Bible submission, I cannot submit. And the husband will say, you must submit because I'm the head of this house. And the man that is insisting that they must submit to him does not pray, does not read the Bible, has no work. So there are many wives and husbands who possess all the comforts their hearts desire, but they are dying internally. Because they are already witches as far as heaven is concerned. So there is a redefinition of witchcraft in the Bible. Some of these people, they have cooks, they have stewards, they eat the best food. They visit the best pedicure, manicure, and beauty saloon, but they are still dying inside. It's because death is already at work in them. Because they are, they are witches. We have Pentecostal witches. Plenty and plenty of them. We will say, does say the Lord when the Lord says not. We have the prophesying witches. We have the tongue-talking witches. We have the ordained witches. We have the quarry study witches. We have the usher witches. We have the Sunday school witches. Rebellious people. We have Reverend and Mrs. Witch and Wizard and Pastor, Pastor Wizard. Because in their disobedience to God's demand of righteousness, they have become wizards. The sons of Eli were killed by God because they aligned themselves against God in disobedience and they became wizard priests. And since witches and wizards should not be suffered to live, God killed them all in one day, including their father. All pastors, prophets, and ministers sleeping with counselors are wizards, and God shall kill them. There are so many sisters who are quick to see witchcraft in other people. And all they fall down and die prayer, they are praying against witchcraft. If God should bother to answer that prayer, they will be the first person to fall down. Because they have refused to repent. Go back to your hand, that beloved. The hand that talks about the weapons of witchcraft used in the church. These are manipulative powers that you can know that this is witchcraft in operation. Fake prophecies. Soulish prayers. Prayers that have no scripture meaning. Fake visions. The Lord showed me when the Lord did not show anything. Negative dreams. There are some people, they are always dreaming negative. Always dreaming negative. Negative. Negative dreams. Fake trances. Offering manipulation. I want time people to give me one million naira. Nobody stood up. Okay, time people to give me 50,000. Nobody stood up. So now, where I'm standing now, the Lord said, if some 10 persons here do not quickly rush 1,000 naira to the front, they shall die within seven days. And you find people rushing to the front. Offering manipulation. 
A friend of mine invited a minister to his church in London. He was surprised when the man, instead of preaching his message, brought out his briefcase, opened it, brought out many envelopes. And all those envelopes have mark of anointing oil on them. Said, so you see this envelope? They said, yes. It has been anointed. If you put 200 pounds inside this envelope and you bring it back to me, the Lord will multiply it hundred ways. Those who need the envelope now, before I start my message, let them come forward. People rushed forward and they were collecting it. They were collecting it and putting money. Everything was going on well until somebody saw a person who owed him 50 pounds and has not paid for six months. He's now putting 200 pounds inside the envelope and he wanted to go and submit it. He dived at the envelope in his hand and the struggle started. It's witchcraft. Witchcraft manipulation. Seven. You have stage managed miracles. Somebody came to this council room and said, I should pray that God should forgive him. He gave a testimony which was widely published in Christianity. In fact, the testimony was published in some Christian magazines. Later, he came to me in this council room here and said, Man of God, pray that God should forgive me. So because the pastor of that church gave me 25,000 naira and asked me to say those things. It's witchcraft. Anointing oil manipulation. There's plenty of manipulation in that area now. People are selling prayer oil. Number nine, manipulation of spiritual gifts. Fake word of wisdom, fake word of knowledge, fake prophecies, fake tongues. It's all witchcraft. Domination. Just wanting to dominate others. It's witchcraft. Intimidation, trying to scare people into doing your own way. Control, fear, prophetic divination, sacrifices and rituals, holy water, holy perfumes, singing and dancing in order to seduce people, satanic healing, lying and deception, splitting the church of God. Any pastor you see splitting a church of God, has a curse hanging upon his head and that curse goes into generational lines. If a pastor is not happy in a church, all he needs to do is to resign, carry his Bible and leave. When the pastor comes to the pulpit and grabs the microphone, and says, oh, oh, are you members of this congregation? Do you see what our general officer have done? Yeah. And immediately they start that kind of crying. Immediately, yeah, started crying like that. Of course, the church members who start crying. So because of that, I'm starting my own church next Sunday. It's witchcraft. Such churches don't prosper. Seduction. Rebellious and stubborn attitude. Excessive control. Threats. Violation of rules. Refusal to submit to authority. Refuse to submit to God's authority. Finding fault in pastors, church leaders, and church policies. When you set up yourself as a referee to the church and to the word of God, you are the one who you criticize this, you criticize that, you criticize everything. You're a witch. Using prophecy to control, manipulate, or impose his will on other people. When you are agreeing with members who are complaining of church authority, it's witchcraft. Questions that undermines and finally judges authority is rebellion. When a person is rebelling against parental authority, it's witchcraft. When you are promoting mixed spirits in the church, it is witchcraft. There's a lot of people who come to Mountain of Fire. You see, being a member of Mountain of Fire should mean that you are as bold as lion. Bold as lion. Sometimes I will say, pray with your neighbor. Pray with this. Pray with that. No, people are afraid. I, say, I don't know the person they say I should pray with. You. I don't know now. That's your fear. It's witchcraft. And you should understand that one very soon. It is this kind of spirit that leads to lack of love, hatred, and this witchcraft of the highest order. If 
you are where God wants you to be. If we shake the arms of a witch, it is that witch that should have a problem, not you. If you shake the hand of a witch or, or a witch shakes your hand or touches you and you have problem, then you yourself, you are a witch. It means there is something in you that welcomes witchcraft. Jesus said, the prince of this world commented unto me. He findeth nothing in me. But if there is a witch in you already, of course it's to magnetize the outside one. One pastor friend of mine prayed for somebody. He said, as he laid his hands on, on top of the head of this person and was praying, he noticed that something was crawling from the head of the person to his hand. And the thing moved to his hand and went to his shoulder. And by that time he had finished the prayers. And the man was going away and said, thank you, sir. He now noticed that the thing that entered his hand was vibrating like a living organism. So what did he do? He called back the counselor. Come, 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 come. Kneel down. Let us pray again. So he laid the hands back on his head. Mary said, back to the center, back to the center, back to the center, back to the center, back to the center. Back to the center. So when he told me this, I said, Pastor, you have a problem. The fact that that thing could get in and it's already going inside your body, it shows there is something in the body of that person which is also in your own body. There is nutrient, food for that thing to eat in your body. That's why the thing is going inside. But if the thing means an iron block in your hand, it won't bother to climb up your hand. Beloved, I want you to understand this. The very serious matter witchcraft in the house of God. 35, trying to use money to control what is preached from the pulpit. It's witchcraft. Trying to destroy the anointing through sexual perversion. It's witchcraft. Unteachableness. Hatred for correction. Suspicion. Persistent confusion. Unrepentant gossip and slander. If you are a gossiper and you slander people, you are a witch. Judgmental attitudes. Instigating action to go ahead or say or do things on their behalf and then they hide in the background as though they are totally innocent. They will talk to A, talk to B, talk to C, wind them up. Then when the thing comes to the light, they will hide in the background. And you will know it was the one that caused the trouble. It's witchcraft. If witchcraft is not dealt with in the church of God, it will lead to serious demonization, spiritual dryness and loneliness it will lead to curses of every kind it will lead to untimely death it will lead to confusion and every work it will lead to deception and it will create l bound membership there are people who wear the latest suits they use the right perfume they wear powerful ties they have a holy heart that sits on their religious head on Sundays their clothes are well dry clean and stashed but who are dying inside because of rebellion I know many people who will smash your head with prayer thunder if you say you're a witch but many of them are insubordinate, rebellious and arrogant they are too sophisticated to reference those who are in authority over them you need to talk to yourself and address your own life. Let's rise up on our feet. The first prayer I want you to pray is for yourself. Lay your hands on your chest. Immediately, Adam went into rebellion to God. Adam started another religion, which is witchcraft. Are you here tonight? There are things you are doing and God has been telling you this is wrong. Your heart is telling you this is wrong. Even each time you do it, the peace of God leaves your heart and you have not stopped. You are a witch. There is a witch in you. That your fiancé or the person you call boyfriend or girlfriend. Both of you might have become witches or wizards now because of rebellion to God. You will open your mouth like fire and like thunder. And you pray this one prayer point louder than anyone around you. Every rebellion in my heart.
Yeah! In the name of Jesus. Father, let every power of rebellion in the heart be destroyed tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Listen beloved. I want you to pray this one even harder than that last one. Saul started his journey as a prophet. He ended it in open witchcraft. The prophet of yesterday became the consultant of witchcraft today. His prophecy and prophetic anointing became history while he was still living. This is a serious matter. Anything in my life making me an easy target for the enemy. Can I hear the sisters who are here shouting this loud and loud? Brothers, can you shout it louder than the sisters? Everybody to get down. Down. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes. In Jesus name we pray. You and fire. Hear the word of the Lord. You will not harvest my life. Can you say this loud and clear? In the name of Jesus. You will not harvest my life. In Jesus name we pray. I fire back. Every arrow of backsliding. In the name of Jesus. Fire it back. Every arrow of backsliding. Fire back every arrow of backsliding in the name of Jesus. I fire back every arrow backsliding. I refuse the backslide. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. A loud amen. Castle Africa TV.